Well, good morning to you, good day, the guy, Peter Martinique, the rest of the Eastern Caribbean, to you wherever you are. Welcome to the picture. It's the beautiful Kirani James Athletic Stadium in the best place there is on earth, Grenada. It's day two, session one of Whitsuntide Games 2023, and we want to invite you to today's broadcast. Joseph Cadeau, um, Davis Adams. Adams, we're here. It is day two. Yesterday was quite exciting. Um, today promises, promises to be just, just, just as engaging. Well, I mean, those who want to down at the Kirani James Athletic Stadium for Whitsuntide 2023, um, yesterday you would have missed a really, really wonderful um, day of athletics. We were proud to be able to bring it to you. We really are happy with what we have been seeing. Um, all things being equal, it was a wonderful um, time in Grenada, and I think the Athletic Association must be proud of what they were able to put on. And we um, were able to, we were privileged to be able to bring it to you live and, and in, in full color, um, and all of the sights and songs at the Athletic Stadium. It was really wonderful yesterday, and today, I believe we are setting ourselves up for another tremendous day of activities. Indeed we are, indeed we are, and I certainly want to let you know that this, uh, it's a, this the this is a TNR communication production, and certainly we want you to make sure you share the feed and be part of the conversations. Adams, some 40, 40 plus clubs, um, some 900 plus athletes. Uh, there is some, some 200 at least coming out of neighboring St. Vincent alone. I mean, yesterday it was really, really spellbinding. We saw some excellent performances, individual performances, and we saw some perf excellent performances from clubs, the like of Concord out of Trinidad and Tobago, PTC, and uh, Mustang as well. Locally, we saw Ace, the Trailblazers, and certainly there were some standard moments. Uh, for those of you, let's, of course, before we go into that, Adams, we'll give them an appreciation as to how today is actually going, going to pan out. Um, on the field, on the track, we kick-start things with the, the boys under 17 um, 3,000, yes? Yep. That's going to set the tone for what's going to be a really, really, really great day. But what we are, we are, going, go, are going to do is to send you down track side for what is the first of a series of medal presentations and um, ceremonies. Liebert, Liebert from British Virgin Islands. Medal presentation for event 13, the boys 400 meter dash under 20. Third position from the St. Davis Track Blazers. Elijah Williams, a time of 48.57 seconds. Second position, also from St. David's Track Blazers, Rikhail Telemark, a time of 47.31 seconds. And the winner from the 473 NVP Track Club in a time of 47.29 seconds, Jaden Phillip. The winners of the 400 meter under 20 male. Medal presentation for the 400 meter dash open and international men. Third position from Finnish Track Club, Reginald Morton, 48.21 seconds. Second position from the East number one Track Club, Troy Mason, a time of 47.80 seconds. And your winner, also from ace number one, in a time of 47.20 seconds, Michael Francois. Medal presentation for the winners of the 400 meters Open and International. Medal presentation for event 23, the girls 200 meter dash under 17. In third position, from the 473 NVP Track Club, Alina Dikoto, a time of 25.26 seconds. Second position, from the Classic Lightning South City Rising Stars, Shefana Hostin, 24.76 seconds. And your winner... And the winner from Concord Track Club, Symphony Patrick, 24.72 seconds.
The winners of event 23, the girls, 200 meter on the 17. Medal presentation for event 24. 200 meter dash on the 17. In third position, Colin Joseph finish Phoenix Track Club. A time of 22.13 seconds. Second position represented St. Andrews Anglican Secondary. Kyle Ned. A time of 22.07 22 seconds. And your winner from the 473 NVP, Ethan Sam, 21.90 seconds. Medal presentation for the girls 4 by 100 meters under 15. Third position, 473 NVP. Second position, Abilene Track Club. And the winner for the 4 by 400 meters under 17 relay. Concord Track Club in a time of 48.88 seconds. Medal presentation for the 4 by 100 meter under 17 relay. Boys. Third position, Grammar School. St. Vincent Grammar School, third position. Second position, Karakou Athletic Committee, CAC. And the winner for the 4 by 100 meter under 17, 473 NVP. Medal presentation and the winners for the 4 by 100 meter under 17, male. Your winners. Medal presentation for the 4 by 100 meters open and international. Men. Medal presentation 4 by 100 meters open and international men. Third position, Concord Track Club. Second position, Grenada International B, the team of Rikael Telemach. Elijah Williams, Emilio Bishop, and Samuel Green. And winning the 4 by 100 meters Open and International, Grenada A, the team of Michael Francois, Kyron Charles, Troy Mason, Aiden Peters. The winners of the 4 by 100 meters Open and International. Medal presentation for the men high jump open and international. In third position, Kazim Lewis, Westerhall Secondary School. Second position from the Classic Lightning South City Rising Stars, Kenny Hosford. And your winner from XL Track Club in a height of two, two meters flat. Vorel Sam. Medal presentation for the men shot put open and international. In third position, Jamar Jamau Compton, Exceed Track Club. A distance of twelve point seven zero meters. Second position from the South City Rising Stars, Devon Augustine, 12.87 meters. And your winner from the Caracol Athletic Committee, Adrian Thomas, 15.04 meters. Medal presentation for the women javelin through Open and International. Second position. From the Exceed Track Club, club track, Exceed Track Club, Nimba Pompey, 16.82 meters. And the winner from the St. David's Track Blazers, 
Serena Alexander, 37.92 meters. Medal presentation for the men long jump open and international. In third position, Cedric Stevens, High Performance Track Club. A distance of 6.71 meters. Second position, Anson's Moses, Trinidad and Tobago. A distance of 6.84 meters. And the winner from Excel Track Club, Varel Sam, 7.05 meters. The winners of the Men Long Jump Open and International. Medal presentation for event 38. Women 3000 meter run Open and International. In third position from the South City Rising Stars, Shania Nelson. Second position from the Finish Line Track Club, Annalisa Brown. And the winner from the St. Davis Track Blazers, Kenisha Pascal, 11 minutes, 16.12 seconds. Medal presentation for the 3,000 meter run open and international. This concludes the medal presentation for the first session. And these medals, these events were completed in the second session of the of day one. Thank you. Welcome back. What we're looking at was a medal presentation ceremony uh, for, and in case you were wondering if you missed any activities, that was certainly from Events Adams uh, that took place in the latter half of this eve of day, session two, day number one. That was certainly, um, among them, there's certainly a lot of highlights to be spoken of. When we started the conversation, we did intimate that there's so much that we can, that we can focus on the club's individual performances and certainly if starting with the clubs Adams um, one of the standard or two of the standard clubs um, was that of Concord out of Trinidad, out of Trinidad and Mustang from St. Vincent are your thoughts um, on some of the, perf the performances from yesterday but what springs out of mind immediately from um, Concord Athletic from Trinidad and Tobago their standout athlete Symphony Patrick who had a, a real jewel with our own uh, under-15 girl, under-17 girl, um, Shefonia Houston, in the 200 meters. Um, that was a tremendous um, battle. Um, and, and as we would have spoken yesterday, it would, I think it places um, Shefonia Houston in, in that frame of mind where she understands what it takes to be at the top mm -hmm. because Symphony came with a, a mission um, to accomplish what I believe she, her talent, um, tells, and she was able to to lay down a marker. Um, um, Shefonia competed, and she competed extremely well, but was just edged out again by um, Symphony, and I, I believe that augurs well for for her. But that was one of the standout duels that we would have had um, in terms of competitiveness um, for the 200 meters under um, 17 girls. Well, there's so much that we can that, that we can itemize, and we. We shift our focus to what's happening on the track, uh, which is in fact the first event on the track, um, which is, should be the boys, the the 3,000 meters, uh, 3,000 meters. And Adams, those are the race we saw yesterday. Um, um, Kenisha Pascal, she 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 put on a clinical, a really clinical performance in in that event. And uh, so certainly we hope now as the we start action down here at the Kiwani James Athletic Stadium. Uh, they had a battle with a little moisture, a little bit of rain earlier. Uh, but certainly, you would hope, with a little rain, it uh, addresses some of the concern of the humidity um, in the air. And certainly, we see how these young ones, they, how they navigate through um, this next couple of um, seven-plus rungs, um, around laps around, around, around the track here at the Kiwani James Athletic Stadium. Um, we did say the, the expectation for the 
patrons today? You expect them yeah. to come down? Well, I am hopeful that the patrons will come down in their numbers to the Kirani James Athletic Stadium um, today. I am hopeful you can find that time. Um, because I, I, I do believe um, one of the ways that we can encourage growth and, and, um, and uh, in Grenada, in, the, in track and field, and in all sport um, with our young ones is showing them that you are behind them. You support them. Yesterday while we were going out, Joe, we had a mom telling her, her child, hey, whether you come first, second, or third, I yes. support you 100%, so I'll be there. And that for us sounded like music to the ears. And I was really happy to see that. And basically, that's the attitude we need um, as we um, able to, to encourage our young people to um, participate in, in sport and to get the best of, out of themselves. In the United States, you have what they call the hockey moms. Um, the hockey moms are those who, whatever time they have training, whatever time they have the, the activities, whatever they have to put out, these moms whom we hold so dear and near to us, these moms are going to be there. It happens with baseball. It happens with soccer. Um, why they call them hockey moms, I, I really don't know. But these moms and these parents, they follow the students. They follow the children. They, they support them. They go with them. They bring the water. They bring, get the, the shoes. They get everything that's necessary, um, all the resources that it takes to, uh, to um, bring the children to a level of um, um, showing them that we support them. Um, that's what the hockey moms do. So if parents are going to be there, if the public is going to be there and to show support for the, the students as they um, achieve potential, um, this is one of the ingredients um, needed for advancement of our sport in Grenada. As we look at the track in the 3,000 meters for the under 17 boys, you see two young men, they have taken up the running um, of course, we said it's seven and a half laps around the track, 3,000 meters. And we, we, we look at international running. Um, those um, athletes from Ethiopia, Kenya, they didn't get there without hard work and support and, and, and all of those that it took to, um, to get to the top. And if our young athletes will work hard, if, they sh if we show them that we can encourage them, if, they, if we are there to support them, I believe we can achieve the same results as those athletes that we see right at the top in, in, in the world of um, track and field. The 3,000 meters to stick is on track at present. Uh, just to give an appreciation as to how the first um, half of the morning is going to pan out. Um, we're expecting final events. So this 3,000 is the finals. There's the girls. There's the girls 100 meters dash on the 11. There's the boys on the 11 finals. And there's also the girls on the 13, right up to the on the 17 in the 100s. There's also the boys long jump, girls high jump. And then there's the women's shot put open international. And then we continue this morning with a number of the shot, the sprint events um, involving Adams, the under nine up until the under 20, um, 150 meters, 400, and even a, a, a couple of 200 meters. So this morning, um, it promises to be quite an exciting one. And the one of the, in the early stage, the organizers did say so, that the way some of the, the events are interspersed, it allows for a constant flow of excitement, field events, sprints. Yeah, yes, Joe. And um, if, if we were to go by what happened yesterday, if yesterday was a mark of whatever is going to take place today. It was really an intense, <laughs> packed schedule of activities, really packed. And um, I, I, am, I, I am saying if we are going to have a similar day, which the program is showing, um, you are not going to miss anything for excitement and competition. As we look at these two young men, it's a pity we don't have the names of, the, of those two young men up front. Um, we would have loved to see, um, let you know who they are. It seems as if one is from um, Concord um, I, Athletic. I, I, I'm almost sure um, one of them is from Concord Athletic. If not, then you, I, forgive me if I made an error, but we do not have the names of the athletes that are participating in the 3,000 meters. But as soon as the results come in, and if any information come in prior to, we'll let you know ASAP. So those two guys are really, they're really doing well. They've taken up the running, and I, I believe they're giving it a really good shot. They're really competing in a very um, strong and, and um, honest, earnest manner. 
Indeed, indeed. And uh, what we have on screen are some of the athletes from uh, the performance <laughs> track club. Out of Barbados. Out of Barbados. <laughs> and that's the, that is the sort, of, the sort of excitement. I think the, the facial, like the expression says it yes, all. Yes, it does. It you does. see the energy, the camaraderie, the friendship. Mm. And certainly they would have missed the official medal presentation ceremony. But certainly they got an, they got a, they got an, uh, an opportunity <laughs> for at least to be part of the to of do the a photo up. <laughs> and, and, and they, they probably they, they probably was better. They probably think, oh, we, we got to shine all by ourselves. Yes, yes, all it's by, beautiful by to see. And it shows that it was well worth the trip coming to Grenada. Uh, we're looking at the athlete because for some reason the, the starting list doesn't doesn't have a fall. But we have one athlete based on uniform is from definitely from front line. Um, finish, uh, finish, finish line. Finishers. Yes. Uh. Um, we probably will be hoping that they will provide us with uh, the full complement of the athletes that is there. Um, but certainly, it is in case you're just joining us, it is early days yet. It is session one, day number two of the 2023 edition of the Whitson Tides game inside the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. As we speak 3,000 we certainly can't help but reminisce on the performance of the Iron Lady. The Iron Lady, <laughs> as you saw, Doctor. <laughs> Yesterday, she put on a clinical performance. Some, yes, it some was. might say it was. I it mean, was. it was one of those exceptional performances. It was exceptional from Kenisha Pascal. I mean, Kenisha has been doing that for many, many, many moons, and we have not seen any slowdown in her. Um, and she reminds me of people like Merlin Artie, who ran into her 40s and, and was competing at a very high level. Um, you also, if you can remember, Linford Christie um, yes. from, from the United Kingdom. But even closer to us, you have Collins, Kim Collins. Out, out of St. Vincent. And they Saint competed Kitts. at uh, St. Kitts, yes. They competed at a very high level into the latter stages of their lives. So, I mean... We sometimes we, we, we feel surprised, but we should not be surprised. It's all of the, the mentality the person has um, in terms of what they want to do or what they want to accomplish. And if they would not give up, then the sky's the limit. And it shows that Kenny Pascal is competing at the top of a game, really put down, as you said, a clinic in, in 3,000 meter running and was able to come through um, winning. Um, that in a time of 11 plus minutes. Really another, well done. Another of the duos that we saw yesterday um, is two of the local clubs, 473 M MVP, a local club, and um, Phoenix Track Club, a club, PTC, out of, out of Antigua, that between Dowling and Shanti Augustine. Those, those two, they went head to head with each other yesterday. Yes, and, and, and that reminds us of the battle between Houston and Symphony Patrick. Yes. Again, you have your peers and, and those who can lift your, 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 your performances. Yep, and that was really, really, really nice to see Shanti Augustine um, running and running well, um, performing at a pretty high level. And again, she has a, another marker in which to. to to put herself against, you know, you look in the mirror and you see where you're at. And, and, and I think the fact that Dorich is Dorich or uh, from um, that club is able to show her, well, look, well, here is where I'm competing. This is where you are. We can only iron sharp iron. We can only make each other better. So I hope Ashanti uses it for positive growth and development in her track and field career. Ethan Sam yesterday continued to, sh to shine on what has been a splendid... Um, season for him. Ethan has been, <laughs> this, I think this is one of Ethan's um, finest season and we hope that this is going to be um, what you might call the watershed moment in his life. Um, that paradigm shift that would take place. He's, been, he's really dominated the landscape in Grenada in the under 17, it's the under 17, under 15, under 17 boys. Mm -hmm. He's dominated the, the, the landscape 100, 200, 400, and he has continued to, to, to do that, not just in Grenada, but in the region. And so it means that um, um, Ethan Sam has the, the, a, a world ahead of him to conquer. And again, as we would have spoken so much about yesterday, the fact that he has examples to, to look to, he has a mirror in which he can place himself in Kirani James, Anderson Peters, Lyndon Victor, um, Kurt Felix, uh, um, all of those. Are, and then, of course, we cannot forget um, um, Aline Francique, uh, to name a few of those who he can 
place himself against and say, if they can get to that level, um, I can do. So Ethan Sam, we really rooting for you to, to turn the next corner next year, move to a higher level of performance and show the world what Grenada can offer. Burnley, another club yesterday out of Trinidad and Tobago that shows great prospect and show that track and field is alive in the Caribbean. Yes, Burnley again out of Trinidad. I mean, we, we are making, I mean, those that they came with athletes who are, who are performing at very high level. They look well organized. They look well coached. Um, and the fact that they're able to, to mingle and, uh, with our athletes, it shows that they will be, they will be able, able to, to, um, to do well in the future. Jael um, Peters, for sure, being able from Burnley to do so well, uh, getting the, the, the better of people like Kaya Swan of, um, uh, of Fusion Athletic, Sophia Stephen, Rennie Smith, Leah Campbell. All of those are good athletes, and to, to see Jael do so well, it says well of the club, Burnley, what they're doing, and we hope to see them back next year, of course. Uh, not to exhaust, because there's so much that we can talk about in the summarizing yesterday before we get into full stream on the track here. The, one of the, the exciting moments, uh, 400, we had the likes of Elijah, Elijah Williams, Telemark, um, Philip, and these three, they put down a, they put down a stellar performance yesterday. Yes, it was. It was. A, um, Some say it was. A, it was. A, it was. A, it was an upset. <laughs> well, depend uh, on who you ask, of course. Depend on who you ask. Um, the truth of the matter is, um, we know the qualities of of Telemac and um, and uh, the athlete from Saint David, um, Elijah. Elijah. We know the the qualities that they have. Um, maybe less of the the winner. That's Philip. Yes. Uh, yes, maybe less of Philip than of Telemark and Elijah Williams. So for me, I am really, I mean, I love the story of underdogs. So I, I, I'm really happy that Philip came through and was able to peep both of them who represented us at, at um, Carifta Games. Um, and I think they would have to ask themselves a question. Um, it was really exciting. It was really good. It was a stunner for performance from him. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I think we, if we were to pay attention to what happened, Telemark in Intercol 2023 pulled off what you might consider Odini in the 100 <laughs> meters. Right. Yes, um, Pippin, uh, I think, is it Bishop to the finish Emilio, yes. Emilio um, Bishop Blanco to the finish line um, with just about two meters to go and he thought maybe he still thinks he could do it so he thought he would do it in that 400 meters but to alas he was not able to accomplish another Houdini at the Kirani James Athletic Stadium <laughs> and the only goes to show you folks this, the quality of the excitement the quality of what's been the delivery yeah. uh, here for Whitson Times 2023 and certainly it's early days yet we're encouraging you um, as you go through the day if you can make some time to be part of the conversation and uh, those of you that's following us via the TNR communication platform as online be sure that you um, share the link uh, so others can be part of the con part of the con um, conversations so it, it's a really 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 packed day um, certainly on the outside it doesn't seem to be as windy as it was yesterday at this time but what we will do we will go focus our attention on the track as we get ready for action in event number 39 at the girls 100 meters dash under 11 and we started with a full cast starting out of lane one i'm destiny destiny arnold from burnley as out of trinidad um peyton batiste from south city rising star grenada dominic joseph from fusion a local sprint club there's Raina hosford and there is kino mary Monroe from Fusion, there's Nikwan Ned from Fusion, um, Zari Barrett from F MVP 473, and the, the one we were keeping our eyes on, Adams, nothing to do with you because she's from South St. George, but Leah Rose Childs, she, of course, we did not speak specifically to her yesterday, but she was one of the premier athletes that stood out yesterday. Yes, yeah, she was one of the standout athletes at the under 11 category. Um, she's really doing well, strong. Um, um, both physically and mentally, um, and she's showing that she has what it takes to be a top-class runner, um, following in the footsteps of people like Shanti Augustine and those um, athletes who are doing Shifonia Houston. Uh, if she can see them as her, as her example, she can only go from strength to strength. So Leah Rose, 
Um, we, she's doing well, and we wish her all the best because, again, at the end of the day, Grenada benefits anyhow. Grenada benefits. So we're looking at the lineup for the event on track. The girls, the under 11 girls, 100 meters dash, Burnley, South City Rising Star, Fusion, Sprinters, Fusion, Fusion, MVP 473 under lane 7, and for South St. George, Lear Rose Charles. Your lane assignment for what is heat one of four. Um, there's some 29 athletes um, in that um, under 11, the under 11 category. And so certainly, and it's good at this to see these young athletes. You know, yesterday we spoke of it, being able to be here, participate, and history would record it. Their own memory would, for some time, would record, would remember that they were part of a really, really great event at the Kirani James at the stadium. Those are the experiences. I mean, you can think of when you were eight years, nine years, 10 years, 11 years at school, and the experiences that you had, what you participated in, those that helped to shape you and make you, those are the things that, that, that strengthen us as we grow up in life. Um, and so those experiences will help them. Um, they remember the errors, the mistakes, the cries, <laughs> the laughs that they had, you know, all the embarrassing things that might have happened to them, all those things that were, you know, do, if we don't go through them, I don't think we'll have a life. <laughs> so the, the, those are really, really important that we carry our students through those situations where they learn to compete, where they learn to collaborate, where they learn to cooperate. All of those are values that we have to instill in them. Indeed. The girls 100 meters dash as they waited for the instructions form. Um, the field of field or field officials. Again, it is early, date, early days yet. You to make your way down here at the National, National Stadium uh, to follow your little nieces, nephews, cousins, brothers, sisters, and to be part of the, part of the conversation. In case you're just joining us, uh, we're coming to you live from the Kirana James Athletic Stadium in the Spice Isle of Grenada, and we're getting ready for the girls' 100 meters dash in the under-11 category. Just remind you of the lane assignment. Arnold for Burnley out of Trinidad runs out of one. Batiste for South City Rising Star is in two. Joseph for Fusion runs out of three. Hosford for Springsteen runs out of four. Monroe for Fusion is in five. Ned Fusion runs out of six. Barrett for 473 MVP occupies lane number seven. And nestled in lane number eight on the outside for South St. George, Leah Roche Charles. They're looking, the weather has, it has improved so beautifully, Joe. Um, outside is looking absolutely fantastic. It's not as windy as yesterday, of course, um, which means that the, the wind factor, factoring into times uh, may not be very um, much, of a concern. much of a concern. And um, it really looks, now. outside looks beautiful. If you're home and you're thinking of just occupying your mind in a different way, seeing young people, um, compete. Um, why not um, join us down at the Kiriani James Athletic Stadium? Indeed, there's nothing to lose. The experience will be one that we will speak for forever. And for many, it will be etched on our minds. And you always want to be part of something, the anticipation, as they go get on the, the status orders. The girls, 100 meters dash. That's Burnley, South City, Fusions, Fusion. MVP, South St. George. And they are off. Nice, clean start for, for all of them. We're looking at Arno from Burnley on the outside in lane number one. But we're also keeping our eyes on Charles on the way on the inside on the, off of your screen. Out of lane number eight, Leah Rose Charles. And certainly, it was almost a lane one, lane eight competition. Uh, but I think, looking at it, it eventually, it was Leah Rose Charles from South St. George that, that took the first, the first position in this one. And you can see the smile on her face. She knows it. You know what? I'm here, and I'm making my name. Yes, she's done well. Um, I mean, this morning, if I were to just let a little bin out of the bag, um, she came into the stadium with a determination to compete, but not really in the best of physical health, and probably catching a bug, a flu or something. But she just said, I'm not, going to, um, I'm not going to not run, I'm going to run. So she looked pretty good, even though she has, um, she has a little bit of um, niggle with her in terms of her health. 
but um, she just came and she ran, and her time was really good, 1381, um, to Destiny Annals of Burnley Athletic Club, 1424, out of Trinidad, and Connor Marie Monroe Fusion, um, 1443, Rena Hosford, um, followed by Dominic Joseph Fusion, Naquan and Ned Fusion, Xavier Berat, MVP, and Peyton Batiste, South City Rising Stars. Um, so, good start to the day. Good start to the day as we get ready for heat two of two of four, and the we now give you the lane assignments. And when you recognize that this is a reduced feel, so so running of lane number eight for Burnley out of Trinidad and, and from the Trinidad is Willow Spencer, occupying lane number four for Shamika. Uh, my mom was assuming this has to be an error. Shamika, Shamika, maybe. I'm not sure if that is, that is, that, uh, that is the name, but she's for runners. Um, she occupies lane four. Out of lane number three it is Adania George from Track Blazers. In lane number two, Lamia Francis from Track Blazers. And Tavisha Joseph runs out of lane one for runners. The lane assignments for event number, he two or four, event number 39. The girls 100 meters dash in the under 11 category. And the time to beat 13, 13, 84. I did not write it, but we're going to pay attention to the times. 13, 81. I, 13, 81. Um, the, the truth of the matter is I think those are timed um, hits, Joe. I'm not so sure there's a final. I assume that is because it says, it says they're all finals. Uh -huh. So I guess it's the best time of all of the heats. Of all of the heats. Yes. We had a two uh -huh. reason I mean, that's what yeah. it is. Because that's what it, is, it, it indicates here. Yeah, we so. did not necessarily get instructions as to the exact nature. But we are assuming, based on what happened yesterday, that those are timed hits. And hence, the best time from all the four hits, um, the winner would come from that. So you're getting your lane assignments that are out there on her own by her lonesome self in lane number <laughs> eight. Uh, Willow Spencer from Burnley out of Trinidad. Um, nestled in lane number four, representing runners is um, Shamika. Then Adania George runs out of three for track blazers. Lima Francis out of two for track blazers as well. And in lane number one, Tavisha Joseph out of lane number one, yes four runners. If ever you, you do feel lonely, it's a little willow on the outside. <laughs> maybe that gives her a chance, you know, to concentrate, zone in, you know, not w maybe worry too much about who's, because there's no left or right for her to, wor to worry about. That's true. Just run. Just run. Just run. Yep. Just run. Yep. Just, Just run. run. But it's good to see them at his, at, at his delicate ages. Yeah. But we get ready for heat. Those are my favorite, Joe. Um, just come pay attention to them and mold them. That's what I enjoy most. And they are officially off. Willow out in lane number eight. On the inside in lane number one is Tavisha Joseph. Motoring away in lane number two is Lemia Francis from Track Blazers. It's in fact Francis from Track Blazers that's going to run away with this one quite easily. Quite easily. Francis out of Track Blazers and um, Joseph out of runners in lane one and would have cap, um, captured second place. We wait for the official results um, from the ground. Uh, but from where we, we from our point, vantage point, as we look at the replay out of lane number two, Lamia Francis from track places would yeah. have cut this one quite easily. Yeah, she just dominated from start to finish. Um, she did an excellent job and ran right through to the end. <laughs> it was really nice to see how she was able to just power through to the end. Lemia Francis of track places, 1538. Um, Travisha Joseph of Runners Athletic, 1610. Dana George, St. David's track places, 1622. Shamika of Runners Athletic, um, 1644. And Willow Spencer in lane number eight, Burnley Athletic out of Trinidad and Tobago, 1689. Your results there for event two or four of event number 39, uh, the under 11 girls, 100 meters dash. And up next would be event, she would be heat three or four. And so, they, so as I said, it's a total of 29 athletes. So 
you can well appreciate. And I'm happy with what they've done with the flow of the program. They get the younger ones out quite early. Yes, yes. yes. And for me, because I'm involved with the younger ones in so many ways, um, what was able to happen is parents were able to communicate and, and um, when the, the, the child or children are completed their running, they were able to take them and go home with them at an appropriate time. So that for me is beautiful. We need to treat our young ones the way they should be treated. The lane assignment for the next event on the track, heat three of four. Running out of lane number two. Out of lane number two for finish line, it is Kasija Klein. Lane number three, occupied. Sorry, I'm, I'll take that. For finish line, out of lane number two is Emily Rages. She runs out of two. Klein runs out of lane number three for St. David's Roman Catholic. Sierra Joseph occupies lane four for finish line. VTC, that's Velocity Track Club. She is Zariah Abraham. Hosford, that's Jemiah Hosford. She runs for Sub St. George. Um, she occupies lane six. Lane seven is occupied by Arian Francis from Salt City Rising Star and Kenesha Kalise from Pr Sprinters. She runs out of lane number eight. And I get to let you that Velocity Track Club is, in fact, comes out of, just to confirm for you, um, VTC. I'm going to confirm for you, VTC should, in fact, be a club out of, out of Barbados. Um, but we're going to confirm that for you. Uh, but that's your lineup for the next event on the track. Runners, finish line, St. David's Roman Catholic. There's finish line again out of lane four. VTC, South St. George. There's the South City Rising Stars. And there's Princeton's, Sprinters completing the lineup in lane number eight. They are on the status orders. On the 11 girls. Bit of. I'm noticing, though, that the officials, they have been a bit light, I would say, <laughs> on the junior athletes. Well, let's put it this way. Um, if you're not light on the junior athletes, I mean... There's something missing here. <laughs> you know, you know me <laughs> with all, all there, young ones. There are those that would argue <laughs> in, in the reverse order that if you don't get it right now, <laughs> but all things being what they are, um, I just say we'll give the, they've been given a pass. Yeah, but they they, they must be given a, 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 the lighter end of the stick ever so often. You know, we got to. Um, Train them with, you know, as you say, with gloved hands ever so often. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Got to work with them with gloved hands. On the 11 girls. Yeah. He's three of four. Yeah. And they're off and they are running. We're keeping our eyes on them. Um, Andrew is out of lane one, making a push for it. So too is Rangers out of lane number three. Uh, but it is um, Adams. I know you smiled. It is young Hosford out of lane number six that comes through. For South St. George in this in this final, in uh, this event. Yes, she, of course, the only one running without a, a, a spike, but she, you could see her determination. Um, she was given really good competition, but you could see she decided she was not going to give up, and she really powered her way through with the last 15, 20 meters to go, um, and she really wanted to win. You could see it in her um, um, to get there. So 15.10. Not the best of times, again, but not a bad time. Probably about the second best time so far that we have seen. Indeed. So it's 15.10 for Hosford. Kelly's from S. 15.0, 15.0, 1539, and White, 15.47 um, at the times. So we move to the boys at this time. Well, that's interesting that we've moved to the boys. Um, well, I'm assuming the officials on the field, they would indicate because we were expecting another, the final batch of young ladies. Yeah. We were um, expecting the final maybe batch. Maybe quite a few um, pulled out DNSs 
And so um, that's what the field probably would have now um, collapsed into. Well, let's take, let's to make use of what we have here. Event 40, it's the, in the, still in the under 11 category, boys 100 meters. The lane assignment, Tyler Clark runs out of lane number one for, for South City Rising Stars. There's Tariq Pilgrim in two, Isaiah Samuel, Labrie, it runs out of four, and they're off and they are running. We're keeping our eyes. There is Kodre out of lane number eight. Clark out of lane number one. Running for fusion down the middle of the pack is Jonathan Labrie. Clark on the outside, Labrie on the inside. We'll take the replay and we'll give you to get the final to the confirmation and exactly how this one panned out. Um, but it was Clark on the outside that was motoring away for South City. And and there's Labrie, that's Jonathan Labrie for Fusion. And we look at them as they make their way down. And both extending each other. And I think lane if you ask me, lane, and lane four, one. And that's Labrie, Jonathan Labrie from, from Fusion that would have done it there. So, Jonathan Labrie for Fusion, 13.94 in second place out of Burnley. It was Carrie John. Again, we're noticing, um, I'm not sure what's responsible for that, though. We just had uh, a complete heat from the, the girls that was, that was actually missing. And, and very often, one of the challenges you have was when the start list, if you ask me, gets messed up. It gets messed up totally. In that previous race, it, we were, it was indicated that it was Clark from South City Rising Star that was running out of Burnley. was not even... It wasn't even in the start list. But um, we sometimes do quite a lot um, to bring as much as a clarity to our listening and viewing public. Um, sometimes we almost have to contort to, <laughs> to get the information out. Um, it, Gymnastics, as my grandmother would say, you have to do a lot of gymnastics to get it out. But, I mean, we have tried. We, we really do try, even with those challenges that we have ever so often. Um, we, we have to ensure that we try and give you the most picturesque and, um, and oh, um, clear um, um, information that we can. And I think we've tried to do that very well over the last um, yesterday and today. So we are going to continue to do that. But um, when changes are made, we hope those information are fed um, to the live um, commentary team. Again, another, another reduced, reduced field in case you're wondering, family members, if you are home, actually out of lane number eight, when out of lane number eight for VTC out of Barbados, um, Kareen T Thomas, out of lane number one, Track Blazers, um, Ronan Lessie. Out of lane number three, Kendall Blackman for, for, for sprinters. Lane, running out of lane number six, lane number six for fusion, Ethan Gunpart occupying lane number eight for, for MVP473, um, Kaleem Johnson, and for VTC into Barbados, it is Thomas. So your lane assignment for if you hit two of three in the boys' 100 meters dash under 11. So, we keep our eyes fastened on the track. Lane one, three, six, seven, and eight. Who is it going to be? And they are off. Um, as they, they start motoring down the 100-meter uh, meet, meet, stretch out of lane number, number two. On the outside, all by his, his lonesome self from track blazers, as should be running lessy. And literally, he moved out down to the blocks like a one of those. <laughs> and so, yeah, I don't know, he must have had propellers, whatever it is, some jets under his under under his spikes. Maybe I should ask him to lift it a bit. Yeah, Let he, me see. he really ran like a, a, I wouldn't say a man in a mission, but a boy in a mission. He had something to look after, and he decided he would give it the best shot that he, he could. He really ran quickly and did not um, hold back anything. Well done, 1440, Ronan Lessy. Out of track, Blazers. And again, we do have to apologize. I'm not sure whether or not everybody's normally made aware 
um, as to whether or not this, the, these athletes, for whatever reason, they, they, they do not make it onto the field. Um, we noted that the wind has picked up quite a lot, point, plus 3.1 um, in this last race. So it, the wind speed has really picked up quite a bit. Again, we move along. I can't help noticing, Adams, that the last flight of athletes for heat three of three, they've actually moved on to the under 13 girls. So a number of athletes are not making it on, make, getting the opportunity to run this motor, to participate for whatever reason. Uh, certainly, we'll hope to clarify that for you as the day progresses. But what we're moving on to is the girls' 100 meters dash in the under 13 category. And again, it seems to be another reduced feel, Adams. Yeah, it seems so. Um, um, it, it, I mean, quite a, a number of um, factors might be um, contributing to uh, the dropping off of um, the athletes. Um, I guess, but we, we, we would try not to speculate too much. Yes, speculating can put you in trouble, <laughs> as it has already done for me. We try not to speculate too much. <laughs> yeah, but it seems as if quite a lot are dropping off, and um, it's, not one of the, uh, it's not the ideal for us. Um, it's unfortunate, but um, when certain things happen, it's always there's a reason, and um, we're hopeful at the end of the day that all our athletes are healthy and in good spirits, um, whether they're competing or not. The action seems is going to be coming out of as we wait. We wait for them. Um, just the five. They run in from full. Um, we give you the assignment. Stephanie Stevens from Bolt. Swan from Fusion. Felix from Sprinters. Griffith from Runners. And Gill from South City Rising Stars. And they're up and they are running. We'll be looking at Sophia from Bolt out in lane number four. She's been pushed by Fusion. And that's it's Kaya Swan as they head into the, f the finish line. The finish line is actually Sophia Swan um, from that's, that, that's Kaya Swan, sorry, um, from Fusion that seems to have nipped it on the line um, against Sophie Stevens from Bolt. Uh, so we look at the replay action coming there. There is Swan for Fusion as athlete 263 and on her outside 073. And that is so Sophie Stevens um, that is making a push for it. And they both get to the line, and it is Kaya Swan from Fusion winning that event in a time of 13.37. And Sophie, Sophie Stevens. From Bolt, 13.34. Pretty good race. Um, very competitive between Bolt and, and, and Fusion. Um, they really pushed each other um, right through the last um, five meters um, where the athlete Swan um, from Fusion was able to just nip it ahead of her on the line. Um, good times they did, of course. Pretty close. Um, but it was nice to see the competition between those two young ladies. An almost full flight for Heat 2 of 5 of event number 41. It's the girls' 100 meters dash on the 13. The lane assignment running out of lane number 1 for runners. It is Ziva Smith for runners running out of occupying lane number 3 as Chanel Richards for IDAT out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. DeAndre Henry occupies lane number five for sprinters. Nestle in lane number five of our runners is Janaya Joseph. VTC out of Barbados is represented by Leanna Batista. Number, lane number seven is occupied by Carla Bennett from HP out of St. Vincent. And Leah Campbell, VTC out of Barbados, runs out of lane number eight. The lane assignments for the next event on the track. And they are off and running. Thank you. They are all off and running. We're looking at action out of lane at number eight. Campbell out of VTC for that's Leah Campbell. Leah Campbell running out of lane number eight for VTC. Um, seemed to have nipped. Um, would have won that one. So we're going to we're going to we're just going to. We'll hope, Adams, that she is fine. She's yeah, she took a tumble, a tumble at the end. Yeah, she took a tumble at the end. 
Um, but she she did win le the athlete in lane number three. Shinella Richards of It That coming in second. Carla Bennett of HB third. And Leanna Batista of VTC coming in fourth. Good time, 1360, not bad at all. And um, um, of course, the, she would feel good that she came to Grenada and was able to compete and um, make her club proud and her country proud and her school proud for that matter. So actually. Leah Campbell for VTC Velocity Track Club out of Barbados, 13.60. Chanel Richards, that out of St. Vincent, 14.14. And in third place, there was another club out of St. Vincent that took the third, took the third spot. It's heat 305. Again, it's the girls' 100 meters dash in the under 13 category. Um, let's make sure we get the composition of the field right. Um, now, I'm lane 8 and lane 4, this it's scratched. So, lane 8 and lane 4. Your lane assignment running out of lane number one for track blazers is Azia George. Um, lane two is occupied from VTC Auto Barbados. Aliyah Campbell running out of lane number three for runners is Janelle Smith. Lane number five is occupied by Elisa Rose Benjamin for track blazers. Micaiah George runs out of lane number six and she runs for she is for runners. And out of lane number seven, out of St. Vincent, representing it that is Scatrell Bailey. The lane assignment for the next event on the track in the under 13 category girls, 100 meters. And we just want to encourage you, want to, of course, Adams encourage folks as well. Um, they want to make sure that they are aware that it's been, we've had, it's been relatively hot these days. The humidity has been off the charts. So you want to make sure that you stay hydrated. We're sitting on the inside. We have our water. Um, much as you, you are you're out there, especially the young ones, Adams. Of course. Um, um, that's one of the, those must <laughs> to do on the to-do list that you have to work with your, the young ones. on. They don't like too much drinking, but you've got to get them into the habit of, of drinking um, their, their water and hydrating because... That's, you know, what is going to lubricate the whole body. But yes, um, that's one of those um, ingredients that makes for a healthy body and for competing at a high level. Um, so we really want to see our coaches working with them on those to do and those don't <laughs> um, um, in terms of um, taking care of their bodies. Water is a must. Again, just to remind you, the lean assignments. Track Blazers runs out of one. VTC from Trinidad occupies lane two. Runners is in four. Track Blazers is in five. Runners in six. And Iddad out of St. Vincent occupies lane number seven. Smith, Cooper, Richards, Henry, Joseph, Batista, Bennett, and they are off and they are running. On the outside in lane number one for track blazers. Well, she's out of the question now. But for runners, it is Janelle Smith that is running away with this one quite easily out of lane number three. Uh, quite an easy win for her. Janelle Smith from runners um, completed that one and made it look quite easy. Yep, she, she made really it look quite teared easy. down those 100 meters. Um, she did not hold anything back. She really raced out of the, the blocks and she did not look back at all she looked pretty good long legs striding beautifully right through to the end as you would coach just run through to the end Janelle smith um runners athletic elise elisa rose benjamin st david strike yes. places alia campbell vtc um catriel bailey eat that so that was a competition of heat three and uh, we must say that the once we've, we got started that the officials are doing quite a decent job of running us through uh, these uh, these races to make sure to sort of reduce on any of the challenges we had read time um last evening the girls on the on the 13 and we get them ready for the what should be the last batch no no it's 
Sex is four five. And we the lane assignments. Running out of lane number one. And certainly we did mention her exploits yesterday in the 200 for Burnley as Jael Peters, as she won the one the, the, the 100 yesterday for them. Um, that's Peters out of Burnley, out of lane number two. Janelle Clark for Mustang, out of St. Vincent. Colleen Williams for South St. George op operates out of lane number three. Shania Thomas for Sprinters is in four for South St. George. Sydney Douglas occupies lane four. Lane 5 for Burnley, there's Renice Smith, and for Exile, it is Williams. Here we go, on the outside, in lane number 1, motoring away, it is Jael Smith, and she, of course, we expect her to, 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 up, to show nothing less than pure speed, and, and we did highlight her yesterday, she was one of the speedsters from yesterday from Burnley, and certainly... She came out and she, and she delivered again. She delivered. Um, she looks a really good, special uh, f physical talent in terms of her, 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 how she's built. Um, um, she looks powerful. She's t fairly tall, elegant, and she just sped down the 100-meter the track and did not look back at all. She's a special talent, um, and I think that's somebody we need to look look out for in the future, whether it's um, Carifta or those other um, regional meets, but she is a good talent. Some would probably say she looks as though she was trying to run up to get the race out of the way so she can get to one of the double stand possibly. Yes. And, and if you look at her time, her time is about the best um, and with a negligible wind. Um, so this Jael Peters is somebody we need to look look out for, and Rini Smith also of Burnley. So those two athletes from Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago, they've done extremely well. Um, with Jael Peters um, winning a really tough um, um, competition yesterday with one of our athletes, um, which I'm going to get to in a short while, but um, she's doing well. Um, I think Velocity Track Club, I think that's Grenada, you know. We have to touch base on velocity because well, there I, somebody mentioned to me that Leah Campbell, who actually ran for Velocity Track Club, she is from Grenada, so we'll pay attention to it. And um, Leah, she might have, she's as much a Jamaican Grenadian um, <laughs> student. Okay. Um, she's going to Alpha here in Grenada. That's Leah, Gam uh, Leah Campbell. But let's the go to the track. Of heat 5 of 5, Heat yeah. 5 of 5, and running. The lane establishment out of lane three, South, South City Rising Star. In, in four, South City Rising Star. There's HP, there's Runners, and South City Rising Star. But motoring down the way, and seems as though she is in a mission. It is Sumaya Andrews um, out of South City Rising Star. Uh, that is taking huge daylight out of the rest of the field. And run the coming second out of lane number six is um, Shania R Lewis from Runners. But it was an easy. Really, really, really Sunday morning stroll for her. Easy like Sunday morning indeed. Yes. As we yes. look at the replay. And the others, they literally trying to, to play catch up. And yeah. she's just motoring along out of lane number three for South City Rising Stars. So Maya Andrews will get the official Love time. Love to see the time. The time 14.35. Uh, compare that to the runner from Burnley. That is, um, is it, what's her name? Leah. Leah Peters. 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 Child, sorry. Child Peters, Child Peters from Burnley. Um, I mean, that time is, is really um, down on, on the athlete from Burnley Athletic out of Trinidad. We are moving along and we're moving now to the boys under, under 13. The boys under 13. Rendered of lane number one for Fusion. It is Ramon Stewart out of lane number one. Lane two is Scratch occupying lane. Occupying lane number four for South City Rising Stars is Stevens. And yet, what we saw him yesterday do quite an exceptional. Um, he, he did it 200. He was exceptional in it yesterday. Um, so for Fusion, on the, on the outside of lane number one, it is Ramon Stephen occupying lane number four for South City Rising Stars. It's Jonathan Labrie. There is Samuel, Brave Boy, Roberts, and Brathwaite. 
in that order. For the under-13 boys, keeping, we're keeping our eyes in the middle for Jonathan Labry. And he, yesterday, we saw him, and he was just literally exceptional. And today, Sunday, is no different. Literally blowing away the field as we anticipated there. Um, Jonathan Labry, sorry, as K.S. Stevens of the South City Rising, Rising Star out of lane number four. And mission accomplished. Takes a little walk. <laughs> and job done. Yeah. Not necessarily the most elegant looking, but he's effective, he's fast, his turnover is pretty quick. And you can see that bobbing head and that he drive to the finish line. I mean, it really is good. Kashir Stevens of South City Rising Stars. He looks a good talent because yesterday we saw what he was able to accomplish. And um, I, I, I believe that he, the, the, he has so much ahead of him. He just has to continue running and giving it the best attention that he can. Um, well done, Kashir Stevens of South City Rising Stars. Taking the second place was um, Kenyon, Kenyon Roberts out of Mustang. Out, out of, of St. Vincent. Vincent yeah. Out of St. Vincent. And there's Natania Brathwaite taking in the third, the third spot. On the 13 boys, and sometimes if you go, if you go to judge them on physique, size, height, you'll never guess. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never guess. That's for sure. <laughs> you will never guess. <laughs> and we heat two of five. The lane assignments running out of lane number one. Kristen Thompson for MVP. Lane two. Javin Atien for MVP. Runners, Cameron Bonaparte ac occupies lane number number three. Then we have Jaden Strong again for MVP running out of lane four. out of lane number four. For Roses out of St. Vincent is Derek Brown. And there is a duo for South St. George, Caleb Campbell and Kendon Worm. And finishing the, the, the cast, Anthony Phillip out of lane number eight for South City Rising Stars, and they are out. We're keeping our eyes peeled as they come down the middle, strong in the middle. Uh, we'll be looking out of lane number seven. It is Kendon Warm that is motoring away uh, for what is going to be an easy victory in for this under-13 batch of athletes. Um, Kendon Warm out of lane number seven, um, completing an easy win, Adams. Yeah, Kendon has been a strong performer at the primary level. Um, doing well at um, Nash, um, Duty National Primary School Sports, um, Co-op Bank Duty National Primary School Sports. He's continued to run well, um, and he's representing South St. George in this event, um, followed by Caleb Campbell, also of South St. George, 1304, um, Caleb Campbell, 1345. So they're doing pretty well. Um, good to see them um, participating and giving it their best shot. Indeed, we get to hit three of five and this is in fact the final batch of the under under 13 the under 13 boys the lane assignment running out of lane number two for exceed out of st vincent and um, deville peters for roses out of st vincent it is jamal alexander well this is almost a, a st vincent a, a st vincent <laughs> affair here yes, yes. Um, hp in uh, the person of jaheem joseph runners in the Represented by Isaiah St. Bernard and representing HPN of St. Vincent is Zane Lowmans. Your lane assignment for the upcoming event on the track as they go under status orders. Peters, Alexander, Joseph, St. Bernard, Lowmans. And they wait. Mm. I saw it. <laughs> I guess as you can see, the under the under nines, the under elevens. I mean, as you say, they give them, a, they give, they, they handed them a, a gloved deal, <laughs> a, pro, a softer touch. Yes, uh, but you can see definitely there was motion out of um, number two, and out of this lane number two. Um, that's from Davil Peters. Deville Peters from Exceed, out of St. Vincent. 
So again, Deville Peters from St. Vincent representing Roses from St. Vincent's is Jamal Alexander. HP is represented by Jaheem Joseph. And that's HP, another club out of St. Vincent. Runners represented by um, Isaiah St. Bernard. And Zane Laumans representing HP out of St. Vincent. We await the official word. Whatever that is. They're ready to run again. That's for sure. Well, they're ready. There's no argument over that. <laughs> I mean, if you just tell them run, they wouldn't care who, who, who's telling them to run. They are, they are, they, they are going to run. <laughs> they are going to run. Um, I think you can see lining up in the back. After the, this final batch of under 13 boys, we move into the under 17 girls. You see them already start making their way. But we await the... Well, while we await the official response from the field, we want to tell you thanks for being part of this conversation here. Uh, TNR Communication Production. Uh, we, we're coming to you live from the Karani James Athletic Stadium in the best place there is on earth. Again, I keep challenging you, Adams, if you can in any way, provide me any empirical data or otherwise that would seem to suggest or prove that, well, we just got the official, we just, the official action um, word that, as we anticipated, um, that he, of course, um, that's young, just give you, confirm his name for you, um, Danville, Danville Peters from Exceed. If you paid attention to the camera, Several of the guys were um, moving. In so, what do you do when several are moving? Well, I guess it's who jumps out of the block first. Huh? Well, we leave that conversation for the experts. They're going to get into it. But it is, the field has been reduced, reduced to four: Roses, HP, Runners, and HP. There they are. Well, he's motoring away out of lane number four. Um, that's Jaheem Joseph from HP, making light work. Of the rest of the rest of the field indeed light light work of it and you can definitely see he's got he's got his swag turned up got his swagger with him <laughs> he's decided hey man i am here <laughs> but he's looking he looked pretty well he gave it all that he can um, i mean of course there's so many kinks to be ironed out but he's young and so he's going to take some time and um, i'm sure his coaches and them they are going to be looking paying attention to the arm movement how he's going to um, how he's going to get his um, feet up, those knees, um, how we're going to get him a little bit higher in terms of um, that push-off that you want. Um, so, Jaheem Joseph, HP, St. Vincent, um, Lomans, HP, St. Vincent also, 1345 and 1454. Alexander of Roses, St. Vincent also, um, 1455. So, that the completion of the boys, the under-13 boys, 100 meters we move now to the girls 100 meters dash in the under 17 category and your lane assignments running out of lane number one out of lane number one is uh, cassie case cassie charles for sass leah chance occupies lane number two for mustang out of saint Vincent. there's makeda um, Sylvan Henry runs for MVP out of lane number three. Oh, we've spoken of her. We've seen her prior. Will, will she deliver? Symphony Patrick from Concord out of Trinidad and Tobago. There's Amelia Chandler for finish line. So too is Kamali Phillip for finish line. Representing Bolt uh, is Roshana Moraine. And Janelle Griffith representing South City Rising Stars. So we're looking out to see Symphony Patrick, how she's going to respond in the 100 meters. She did extremely well at the 200 meters. Um, her duel with, of course, Shefonia Houston. And let's see what happens here in the 100 meters with Symphony Patrick. They've taken them off the, the, um, the start line, and maybe there's a reason for that. Um, we'll see what happens from here, Joe. Um, we don't have much information well. as yet, but um, I'm sure... There must be a reason why they have allowed them to move off the start line. Maybe they're going to do a medal presentation. Not sure. Well, um, we'll, we'll assume reasonably 
that there is always a reason. We're always going to assume that there is one. Uh, we may not be privy to it, but we can assume reasonably that the officials, they have their reasons for whatever actions that's carried out on the field. Um, but we're just saying that we've seen um, in the far distance, yes, um, athletes gathering for what? From where they would be look as though it would be for the height jump. And uh, we just got to look through a program to see exactly. Um, would be the girls. Right. So it's expected to be the girls on the 17 high jump. So it's be the girls on the 17 high jump. And that is slated for today as well. Um, so that's what we in the fun far end they've got it close to the high jump area so we'd assume reasonably that's the next activity um, the athletes have not been returned to the track as yet to the blocks but we can see that they're lined up. They are, in fact, lined up. I can remind you that Grenada, we, Adams, we're getting ready. Um, this meet, um, from all indications, serves as a template, a measuring stick, a yardstick for, um, as we get into continued preparation mode for CAFTA 2024. Yeah. Um Again, it's something that we need to talk about. I don't think <laughs> there's enough time to talk about it, um, starting from since last year, um, in the sense that it's part of the 50th anniversary of independence celebration. It's coming just around that time. So I know um, our organizers would be hard pressed to ensure that they, del de they deliver a product that will represent Grenada's 50th anniversary of independence coming of age. Um, so I'm sure that that is going to be chief on the minds of everyone. Quality, um, customer service, hospitality, um, accommodation, transportation, and of course bringing in the best athletes from throughout the Caribbean. Um, I, it's not something we have to do per se because the fact of the matter is that we get the best from the island. So we ensure that when they get here, they would have uh, uh, something that they would have an experience that they would go back with that would tell them Grenada is the best place to be. So we got to start the conversation. Well, even we now. did call it right. The officials, all the, all, there's always a reason. And it's in fact, you're getting ready for another medal presentation ceremony. <laughs> yep. Bronze medalist, Connor Marie Monroe, Fusion. Silver medalist, Destiny Arnold, Burnley Athletics, Trinidad. Presenting your gold medalist, Leah Rose Charles. South St. George Government School. Event 40, boys 100 meters under 11. Bronze medalist, Caden McFarlane. Classic Lighting, South City, Rising Stars. A time of 14.29 seconds. Silver medalist, Carrie John. Burnley Athletics, Trinidad. 14.02 seconds. And your gold medalist, Jonathan Labarry, Fusion. 13.94 seconds. Yeah. 
Event 41, girls 100 meters, under 13. Bronze medalist, Sophia Stevens, Bolt. Silver medalist, Kaya Swan, a fusion. 13.37 seconds. And your gold medalist, Jael Peters, Burnley Athletics, Trinidad, a time of 12.63 seconds. We fast forward to event 79, boys. 3,000 meters under 17. Presenting your bronze medalist, Brad Lomans, high performance, SVG. 11 minutes, 57.15 seconds. Silver medalist, Nicholas Frederick, finish line. 10 minutes, 30.22 seconds. And your gold medalist, Henrique Francois Roses, St. Vincent's. Nine minutes, 56.87 seconds. We can back up to event 42, boys 100 meters under 13. We have a tie for bronze medalists. Jaheem Joseph, high performance, and Caleb Campbell, South St. George Government. A time of 13.45 seconds. Now your silver medalist, Kendon Worm, also representing South St. George Government School. 13.06 seconds. Presenting now your gold medalist, Cache Steven. Classic lighting, South City Rising Stars. A time of 12.95 seconds. This is the end of this medal presentation. Thank you very much, ACP, Jesmond Prince, Chairman of the Transportation Committee. You are part of the second and final day of Whitsuntide Games 2023, right here at the Karani James Athletic Stadium, Thank you for spending the second and final day with us today. Good to see all of you at the stadium. More action, of course, on the track. So we invite you to stick around for all the competition, for all the excitement and fun. We're live! Whitsuntide Games 2023. So we're back, we're back at the, <coughs> yes, so we're back at the Kirani James Athletic Stadium, girls 100 meter dash under 17, um, heat one. And we've had the athletes there already at their starting blocks out of lane number one, Cassie Charles Sass. Um, lane number two, Leah Chance, Mustang, out of St. Vincent, Makeda, Sylvan Henry, 473 MVP, Symphony Patrick of Con Concord Athletic out of Trinidad, Amir Chandler, finish line, Camille Felix, finish line, Rishana Moraine Bolt, and Janelle Griffith, Salt City Rising Stars. Heat one of five as they get ready 
um, to begin the under 17 girls 100 meter dash. We take time now to welcome Bernard Antoine. He's here with us, joining us in the commentary booth. Bernard, how have you been doing? Good, and it's a good, it's a good Sunday. It's a good Sunday for sports. It's a good Sunday for track and field. Uh, the weather has improved significantly compared to yesterday. And so we look for a good full day of track and field today. And if it follows anything like yesterday, it should be a wonderful day of athletics. As they're off, uh, it's a good, clean start. And of course, here in the middle, it's Symphony Patrick. She looked brilliant yesterday. She's looking good today. She's laid down a mark, and she's going to just coast through to the finish line. Well done, Symphony Patrick of Concord Athletic out of Trinidad. And uh, Adams, Concord Athletics, um, they have been producing the goods right throughout this meet in the... In the short sprints, actually, they have been doing quite well. And so Sym Symphony Patrick today is keeping with what has happened yesterday. Yesterday, and she had a, a, a really intense battle with Chifonia Houston yesterday. And it seems as if this will continue today. Um, Symphony Patrick is leaving something behind here in Grenada that she goes to Trinidad. And I'm sure Chifonia Houston is paying attention to what is happening here. But her time, 11.76, is a brilliant time too, um, 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 Bernard. 11.76, considering the, that the record is 11.92. If the wind, oh, but it's a, the wind is plus oh, it's five. A, it's a mini hurricane behind them. Yes, 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 wow. It's plus five. It's really a mini hurricane, but in, nonetheless, it's, it's a good time. It's, it's, a, it's good a good time. time. It's a brilliant run. It was from her. And so we move into hit two of five prelims. We have out um, a couple of lanes are not um, taken, but out in lane one, we have Makeda Joseph of South City Rising Stars. Janella Williams, lane two, Mustang out of St. Vincent. Keontae Williams, Shaper. Um, Keshan Husbands, Kaisha Husbands, Performers out of Barbados. Kanisha Alexis, Concord out of Trinidad. Dejani Brown, Caracol Athletic Club. And out in lane six and out of lane seven, Melissa Robertson eat that out of St. Vincent. This is a lineup. So we, we have a pretty good spread here, um, right across the Caribbean here. So it's Greater St. Vincent, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, and St. Vincent again. So th th this should be this should be an, a good, exciting one there. 100 meters girls on the 17. Yes, they're onto the starting blocks. And they're off. Good, clean start. Let's see who is going to make the running. This looks like the athlete from um, Performers out of Barbados who is making the running. She's coasting through to the end. So it's Performers out of Barbados. Keonte Williams, a shaper, um, who seem to have come second. But Performers um, seem to have been doing pretty well. They won the relay it's yesterday. And today we see the athlete in the 100 meters. That is... Kaisha Husbands coming through in hit number two, girls under 17, 100 meters. Yes, a common surname in Barbados, her husband's a tall girl, and the way how she held herself together really speaks to her training. Win again, uh, above the limit, uh, not as strong as the first heat, but it's still a plus 3.7, so it's, it's, the times here will be win aided, as, as, as they will refer to at 12.71, Kaisha Husbands, the, the winner in heat number two. Well done. The hits are coming fast and furious. And so it's hit three of five. Um, Jada Pierre, runners. Um, Kiara Sandy, hit that, out of St. Vincent. Um, Shikwanya Jacobs, exceed, out of St. Vincent. Talia Sampson, 473 MVP. And we know Talia well. Tamia Thomas, Sass. Um, Kimara Batiste, Excel, out of St. Vincent, and Akira Moraine, track blazers. This could be a very strong heat. And let's hope that the wind is not too strong. But let's see if um, Samson is in lane four. I'm not seeing lane four occupied, so maybe Talia Samson is not there. There she is. Yes, so Talia Samson is there. One of the local clubs, uh, um a 437 MVP, and they have distinguished themselves in all the meets that we have had in Grenada this year, and they continue to be 
they continue. It's the home club of Eaton Sam. And Eaton Sam has really distinguished himself throughout the year. In, in fact, um, one of the leader, leading sp young sprinters in the Caribbean. He distinguished himself also at Carifta in both the 100 meters and the 200 meters. MVP 473. Well, you could not have said it better, Club Antoine. To watch. Yes, you could not have said it better because Ethan Sam had had a stellar year, a brilliant year, watershed here and year, and we hope that he can move from strength to strength. But let's look at what Talia Samson will do. She's did, she's done well in the during this, the um, athletic season in Grenada at Intercall and also going out to the um, the Carif the Games. So she be one to watch. And they're off. Ah, uh, sort of felt it. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we seem to have had a faulty start, let's hope, and not a false start. Uh, <laughs> I okay. had to tell, had to tell. Uh, no one wants to see an athlete who would have done so much all year to be disqualified for a false start. So let's see what the officials with, will do with this one. But they have all been called back. They are all still on the blocks, uh, waiting for a verdict as to what happens next. And we can say that they have not been. The, they have been laying down the law to the letter. Um, we've already had one DQ um, earlier on, and so I. It <laughs> looks like lane six, Adams. I, I'm wondering if it's lane six or three. I'm trying. I was really looking at lane three or six. I wasn't so sure which one. With the sprints, especially the short sprints, uh, start, you get a distinct advantage if you fall start or you jump the gun, as it, it said in local, yeah, it looks like local language. Lane number six. It seemed to be lane number six. And that would be Excel. Oh, so she has been given a life. It is lane number six, but she has been given a warning. Yeah. So that warning would apply to the entire field. Yes. Anything happens next, and then that's it. So she has been given a reprieve. Let's hope she makes, a, makes the best use of it. And they are back on the starters' orders. We are witnessing heat number three of five and the under-17 girls, 100 meters. So it's Pierre, Sandy, Jacob, Samson, Thomas, Bethes, and Moraine. Let's see. Good, clean break at this time. Let's see what is going to happen. Who is going to make the running? Samson seemed to be there, but on her left is the athlete out of exceed, Shikwanya Jacob. Shikwanya Jacob is going to run away with this ahead of Stadius. Aliyah Samson, um, mini upset a little bit from me, my end, but she ran a very good race. Samson did not look to have gotten into the running um, throughout the 100 meters. Um, but well done to the athlete out of exceed, exceed out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines um, coming first in this event. Let's see what the time will be. I, yes, I quite agree. Um, Jacob, Jacob there seems very s smooth. Uh, and, and in the end, we can probably say she, this was an easy one for her. Uh, positive 2.8. So we are still slightly above the limit. But the, the wind is dying down a bit. But it's still slightly above the limit. It's 2.8 and with a time of 12.29, it's not a bad showing for the young lady from St. Vincent Exceed Track and Field Club. Yeah, well done. Um, it seems as if it was not Talia Samson, although we have the name Talia Samson from MVP in this one. It was not Talia Samson. Um, nonetheless, that's the name we had slated here, um, Antoine. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So we are reading from the slip that we have here, but we get into heat number four, heat number four or five. This, this is not unusual again for under 17. We usually have a crowded, crowded field for under 17 athletes, and then they start, to, they start to thin out as they, get, as they get older. Yep. So here in lane one, heat four or five, Crystal David, runners, Adelia Phillip, TNTC, Brianna Talbot, Abilene, out of St. Lucia, Kivana Allard, South City Rising Stars, Nathaniel King, Concord Athletic, out of Trinidad, Kenaya Stapleton, Mustang, out of St. Vincent, and Kaisha Burton, MAP, MAP. 
So th this one should again should be another competitive one. Well represented here, uh, uh, right across the region, seemingly. So it's David, it's Philip, it's Talbert, Allard, King, Stapleton, Burton, in lane number seven. And map as uh, map is a, is is an outfit out of Trinidad and Tobago. It's it's. It's acronym for Maximizing Athletic Potential. So we have three Trinidad athletes in this one. MAP, Concord, TNTC, Out of St. Lucia, Abilene Wildcats, um, South City Rising Stars, um, Runners, Concord, Mustang, Out of St. Vincent. Good spread of Good athletes spread. from across yeah. the Caribbean. And that's what you want to see in a meet like this. Yes. It, it's both serves as a developmental purpose and actually bringing the club teams competing one against the other. Uh, nothing augurs better than good competition. And good. competition at a uh, level like this for the youngsters, it will do well in the future. It places a marker, a, a comparison. Um, where am I <laughs> in, in, in comparison to my colleagues from across the Caribbean? Yes. Am I up to speed? Am I on track with them? Am I doing well? Am I performing at my best? And when you have those comparisons that you can make, it tells you how you, you can train. It tells you what you're, what you're aiming for because you have those um, mirrors, those images at which you can look at and say, this is where I want to be. So you are witnessing live broadcast of the Whitsuntide 2023, the Karani James Athletic Stadium in Grenada. Let us hail up. Leslie, we know you're somewhere in the USA. Leslie Smith, hope you're listening. Um, we really would have loved to have you here, um, but I, I know you're missing a tremendous um, athletic uh, a competition here down at the National Stadium, and you would have loved to be here, but we know nonetheless, enjoy yourself wherever you are. Um, in your travels. Well, um, we miss your presence over in this um, commentary booth. They are getting ready now. Once again, the athletes are from Runners, TNTC, Abilene Wildcats out of St. Lucia, South City Rising Stars, Concord out of Trinidad, Mustang, and Map out of Trinidad. And they're off. Knowing that lane six is not there, that is Joseph. But they're doing well. Let's see, it's lane number three. That is Abilene, Brianna, out of Abilene. That's Abilene Wildcats. That's lane three, Brianna Talbot, Abilene Wildcats. She seemed to have um, taken it. And um, let's see what time she would have done. And Abilene Wildcats is out of St. Lucia. Yes, that was nice. So Abilene Wildcats must be feeling proud. She looks strong <laughs> as she motored down the 100-meter the, 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 the track. She, you can see she's a really strong-looking lady. And the athlete out of lane number five seemed to have come um, second. That is Nathaniel King of Concord. So it's Abilene Wildcats, Concord Athletic out of Trinidad, St. Lucia, Trinidad. Interesting. Well, it's not Abilene Wildcat. It's Shadi John of um, St. David's Track Blazers. But, but this one doesn't say St. David's. <laughs> I mean, unless they, we, that's, uh, mm, hit four. This is a little bit. St. David's Shad John is a hit five, actually. Um, St. David's Track Blazers. So unless um, this was... It seems as though Heat 4 has been scratched. scratched what, yeah. what in fact was that was round with what we have as on heat paper five. here as Heat, heat 5. five yes. Because we are now into the boys. Yep. Uh, and that is... Those are the things that give us a little bit of off. <laughs> tree off just that wee bit. But nonetheless, um, this was Heat 5. And St. David's Track Blazers would have won that Heat. Um, in a time that was given, that is Shady Shady John out of St. David's Track Blazers. So we go to the under 17 boys, 100 meters, and we go to hit one of seven. Jaheem Williams, high performance, St. Vincent, Joel Fox, MAP out of Trinidad, 
Deron Sincere, Sass, Ethan Sam, 473 MVP, LeBron Granger, South City Rising Stars, Yeshua Douglas, Fusion Athletic, and Caleb Humphrey, 473 MVP. MVP well represented here, um, and Fusion, Antoine. Yes, very much so. But uh, there are no starters in lanes two. That is Joel Fox. He's not there. Nope. And in lane eight, there's no lane eight occupied here. So we have Caleb Humphrey in lane seven, MVP. Yeah, I think that's the correct lanes now. Fusion, Yeshua Douglas. Um, South City Rising Stars in LeBron Granger. And 473, lane four, um, Ethan Sam. Again, star athlete this year um, representing his school at Intercall, at National Champs, moving on to Carifta, and now um, competing at the Whitsuntide Games in Grenada 2023. Um, standout athlete that we, I mean, if we ought to select an athlete that would have been athlete of the year in Grenada, Ethan Sam would be high on the list. I think you would have a lot, you would have a lot of votes for that. And so the hands dunk favorite in this heat would be lane four, Ethan Sam, 473 MVP. We can expect some competition coming from lane six as well as lane three. Who would you, if you were to give some other um, names for athlete of the year, um, whether on the 20, go right down to on the, um, say, on the 11, on the 13, well, what are some of the names that would come to mind? Well, one that would come very, very, very quickly to mind would be uh, Telemac. Yeah, Rick uh, Telemac, yes. He, he has distinguished himself somewhat. Um, okay, let's, let, let's, let's take the start, of this, the start of this one first, and we can, we can get back to that. Yeah. So they're, they're pacing. They're now going to the blocks. Um, of course, the adrenaline, the anxiety, all of those that take place um, just before the start of a race, it's normal, it's not abnormal, and you take it and you turn it into positive energy so that you can get the best out of yourself, Antoine. Yes. So they're on the marks. Lane number two is empty. They're off. It's a good, clean start. Um, Joel Fox is not there of MAP, but it's Ethan Sam that's going to win it by, it's just an, it's just a stroll in the park for him. He's just been at the top of his game for the year and, um, continues to showcase his talent. Um, he's enjoying himself and, and that is good to see. Um, he's enjoying himself. He, he doesn't seem to see it as a job, as a work or, as, um, some heavy thing he's carrying. He's finished his race and he's showing positive emotions at the end thereof. Well done, Ethan. Um, you continue to showcase the talent that you've been blessed with. Good, good running by young Sam there and a time of 10.82 with a legal win. So this is authentic time here. So it's 10.82 Ethan Sam in this one. And that's just below the record of 1080. Um, I'm wondering if he would see this as a challenge um, at the finals. I remember this run by Rico Moultrie in 2017, 10.8. And that was a blistering run then. And uh, so Ethan at 10.82 is just knocking on the door. And we, and we, must, and we must add that there's very little competition in this, in this heat. Correct. Yeah. That's correct. He was almost running on his own. Yes. I, I'm going to leave you with an, an assignment. Start thinking of some athletes that we can, both male and female, that we can consider as athletes of the year in Grenada. Absolutely. So Lambert, Absolutely. 473 MVP. Lloyd, Paul, Grammar School, St. Vincent Grammar School, Tevez Lewis, Sass, Cleon Joseph, Phoenix Track Club out of Antigua, Kanik Nixon, Fusion, Malakai Sandy, Runners Athletic, and Neon Stanislaus, Fusion. These are the athletes in hit two of seven, boys under 17 and 100 meter dash. Yeah, when you, if you look at it as a measuring, measuring stick, a measuring, some sort of a measuring um, or the parameters that we would use, we would have to look at Karifta. Uh, Karifta really is a pinnacle uh, uh, of achievement 
uh, for junior athletes in the Caribbean. Mm. And uh, if we are looking for an athlete of the year at, 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 at any level, as you would say, you would have to consider what has been achieved outside of Grenada as well as inside of Grenada. And uh, hands down, uh, the, young man would, the young man Sam would have had two medals coming out of, um, coming out of Carifta. And that's, that's no easy feat, especially in the sprints. Going up against the traditional powerhouses, the Jamaica and, and Bahamas and Trinidad and Tobago and B Barbados, I said, next extent in terms of in terms of short sprints and to come back with a silver and a, a silver and a bronze medal that, that that actually says a lot. Yeah, it says a lot. Um, but of course, as we would say, we still have to consider Telemac. We have to consider Elisha Williams um, no, that's for a, males. That's another name that yes, really yes. Talks, um, talks to you. Yep. And there are a couple of the other athletes in the field events that we would have to um, consider. Um, even those in the United States, maybe you may have a couple of them that can come to mind. Recently, there's a young man who broke um, the records of um, as they get ready. And they're off. It's a good clean break. No calling back. And the athlete all out of Antigua, that's a Phoenix Track Club, he seemed to be doing well. Cleon Joseph, he's really run away with this by quite a margin. Cleon Joseph, Phoenix Track Club out of Antigua, has, he has taken this hit. And let's see what his time would look like. Well done, young man. <laughs> Very impressive run there by, by young Joseph out of Antigua. Uh, nice upright style of running here uh, and in the 200 meters he did he mm. did make, make a statement also legal win plus 1.9 phoenix 1108 and if you look at how he ran i think he's somebody who's well coached you look at the phases his start phase he had a really good dry phase and he finished well um, um bernard so he has what it takes to, to do well. Um, so SVG Grammar School came second. Cleon Paul out of um, Phoenix Track Club. He came in first 11.02. He, three of seven. Boys 100 meter under 17 dash. Rishon Collins, 473 MVP. Kazim James, St. Vincent Grammar School. Dave Laborde. Mustang out of St. Vincent. Akani Samuel Francis, um, listed here as St. Kitts. Um, Joseph Pope Concord Athletic out of Trinidad. Amari Hercules, St. Vincent Grammar School. And Kadeem, Kadeem Tyson, TNTC. So this, these are the names um, athletes for hit three of seven boys on the 1700 meter dash. Yeah, coming back to athlete of the year, uh, I mean, the athlete you were referring to is Nazir John. Mm. And he's not a record holder in both the, that's a national record holder in both the two, 200 meters, a record that stood for a long, long time, and also in the 100 meters. So, in that sense, I think the competition is blown away. <laughs> it is tight. I mean, I mean, you look at what um, Ethan has accomplished. You look now that Nazio has, um, has established two records, um, 100, 200, something that was long-standing. You cannot sniff at that and think that it is not um, serious. And so you have to include Nazio John. You have to include um, Ethan Sam. And um, there might be a couple others of the, the throwers who are around. Um, we might have to search for them. In the female, you have a couple of those that we can talk about. But now the athletes are into their starting blocks. Um, Collins, James, Laborde, Samuel Francis, Pope, Hercules, Tyson. As they get ready. Wow. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> Lane number three. Dave Laborde, Mustang, out of St. Vincent. And we've seen a couple athletes disqualified. We've seen green cards handed out. Let's see what happens in this case. Already we, we had a depleted field, uh, no lane four um, in Samuel Francis and no Tyson. Uh, they're both empty lanes. So l let's, let's see what the judges come up with. And 
not to have a further depletion in, in this lineup, in this heat, heat number three. Well, we, we have noticed a few faulty stats in this, in this meet, and to a certain extent, the, the judges, the, the judges have, in a sense, um, winked at a few things, one would say. Been lenient, <laughs> maybe. Yep, they have. They have. Um, um, they've used glove hands in dealing with a couple of those, which I think is I mean, prudent. It's wise. Wisdom used wisdom in some of those. But, of course, we cannot um, um, close our eyes to how the law should be applied and but the rules. Yes, but then again, they are the ones who are making the, ch making the calls, and so we have to respect whatever decision that they, that they would take. Yeah. And they, they, they have been, the one thing that's, that really stands out, they have been consistent and consistently fair right throughout. Yep. And so the board out of Mustang, out of St. Vincent, um, his day is finished, um, the fact that he cannot run. But we still have Joseph Pope, Concord. I can't recall seeing him yesterday in the 200. Um, um, let's see what you do. Concord, has, as you would have noted, they've brought along a pretty good team of athletes and they have performed well with the outstanding athlete Symphony Patrick um, being the standout thus far. So we are down to four. There are four competitors in this heat, in this heat number three. Uh, just at a DQ. And they're off. A good, clean break. Um, it's running in lane number two. Um, Kazim John, the lane number one. Rishon Collins not looking bad, but the athlete in lane number six is going to pip it, and that would be a Mary Hercules of the St. Vincent Grammar School. Strong looking lad, really ran strong to both athletes from St. Vincent Grammar School. They look powerfully built, and they really ran through to the end. Lane two and six, um, they were powerful in a way, though. We'll see what time that they did. But it is St. Vincent Grammar School, Amari Hercules, as well as Kazim John, who took the spoils. First, second, and it seemed as if Joseph Pope of Concord pipped um, Kazim James of St. Vincent Grammar School, 12.06, 12.09 for second and third. So this is a fairly, this is a fairly pedestrian heat um, compared to the other two, where the young man, um, the, the young man Hercules, actually had some decent separation from himself yes, and the rest of the field. Yes, yes, there was. So we are seeing good running here. If you're at home and you need some time, um, please come over to the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. Um, there is lots of competition down here, and your presence means a lot to everyone, our athletes uh, and um, the association, the organizing committee, as a whole, your presence means a lot to them. Hit four of seven, Kishon Smith, runners, in lane one. Joshua Lewis, Bolt, in lane two. Toba Abbey, Velocity, Velocity Track Club. Jason Leibold, St. Kitts, not there. Josh Thomas, South City Rising Stars, Cleon Matherin, Abilene Wildcats, Dequan Edwards, Mustang. Let's see the lanes that are filled. Lane one. Kishon Smith, runners, he's there. Joshua Lewis, bold, he's there. Lane number five, Josh Thomas, South City Rising Stars. And lane number six, Cleon Matherin, Abilene Wildcats out of St. Lucia. So four athletes, hit four of seven, um, present for this heat. They're on to the max. And they're off. Good, clean start. Lane one and two. Runners from runners, from runners and board as well 
as South City Rising Stars. It's South City Rising Stars and the athlete from Abilene Wildcat out of St. Lucia. Really tight to the finish. Let's see who would win. It seemed as if it is Abilene Wildcat that might have nicked it. Um, but let's see what the replay will show. And in, <clears throat> in, in most recent times, the name that was standard for you in terms of St. Lucia would be uh, Julian Alfred. And she's doing it. Abel in Wildcat. It looks, it looks, it looks, looks like Wildcat. <laughs> yes, there. Abel in the Wildcat. There we go. 11.51. Not a bad time. Um, legal wind. And so I think St. Lucia must be happy with the result, with Cleon Mathurin doing this well. Out dip the athlete from South City Rising Stars. That is Josh Thomas to the finish. Good run by the athletes there. So we, we, we would have had winners uh, heat number one, 10.82. Ethan Sam, really the, the class of this field so far. And heat number two, the winning time of, uh, from Cleon Joseph from Phoenix uh, is 11.07. Uh, the heat number three, 11.78. And now... 11.51 uh, by Maturin. Uh, as we say, as we say goodbye for now to Davis, it's the next voice that you will hear will be Cado. Well, thank you, Antoine, and thank you to all of our listeners and our viewers, wherever you are. Welcome to Sports Center inside of the Kirani James Athletic Stadium with St. Tides Games 2023. Uh, we're continuing with the, the boys' 100 meters dash. And we're doing heat four or five. Right. Yeah. See the the field it has been been called back by the by the officials. As he, we can move to heat five of seven and the boys one hundred meters dash. We give it the lane of assignment. Khalid Peters out of CAC Kariku runs runs out of one. There's the Sori Kwame for Idat out of St. Vincent. Runners, SAS, MVP, finish line. Runners. You list of athletes for the current event as they head out of the blocks. Moving, pouring down the middle of the pack. That's Kyle Ned out of SAS. Being chased by um, Cameron Matlin out of MV MVP. Uh, but certainly from where it is, it's a, it's a clear victory there for, for Kyle Ned. And second place um, seems to be taken by the athlete that's Cameron Matlin out of MVP. Powerful, powerful from Kyle Ned. And the economy in running says a lot in terms of his training. In fact, the young man looked quite impressive. Let's see what the time looked like. Kyle Ned, the winner of heat number five of seven. Time is up, 11.23. 11.23 for, for Ned. Uh, Cameron Matlin from MVP, 11.40. And Desroy um, Kwame of IDT, Idat Sari, out of St. Vincent, 11.76. The completion of heat four, um, it's the boys' 100 meters dash. And certainly, we continue to monitor and keep keep your best of all of the action inside of the athletic stadium. Um, happening simultaneously, it's the the girls' high jump. And what we are attempting to do is to provide you um, simultaneously and to and simultaneously provide um, coverage. And, and that's high jump on the 17. We have nine athletes in this one. Nine jumpers in this one. We have Kaisha Joseph, 
aka Manny Ray Ox Offord, Destiny Bruce, Makaya Ramsey, Rihanna Martha, Tanik Vincent, Alika Smith, Akira, Akira Maureen, and Shamara Scanterbury. Samara Scanterbury from out of Barbados. Track Blazers in Maureen, Roses Smith, uh, Concord of the Trinidad and Tobago Vincent. Uh, it's from St. Lucia Abbey. The Wildcats, uh, Martha, sent South City Rising Stars and Ramsey, South City Rising Stars and Grenada and Ramsey, and uh, two athletes from perf performers, uh, Oxford and Bruce. It would be good to know, Nan Twanka, that was the starting list. It would be good to know what the list has been reduced to. But we get the eyes back on the track. The ball is 100 meters dash. And we give you the starting and lineup. Out of for HP, Renard of Lean, number one. HP, Otter St. Vincent. AJ Bowens, Brian Charles, um, TNTC, the club out of Trinidad and Tobago. Jaron Williams, Exceed from St. Vincent. Phoenix Track Club. Kristen Joseph from Sass. There is Exceed and there is the Track Blazers. Out of Mikel Redhead. Out of Lean, number seven. And they are officially off. In the middle of the pack, Ash... Um, Judah Ash running out of lane number four. That's for the athlete out of Antigua. But motoring out of lane number seven. Um, it's Mikel Redhead from Track Blazers, uh, who certainly um, was running his own by his lonesome self, Antoine, out there. Um, but it was out of lane number four in the middle of the pack. The young Antiguan from Phoenix Track Club that set the, the, the early, took the, the, the early advantage. Then Mikel rather displayed just what you talk about in terms of top end speed. And in the end, he had some daylight between him and uh, Judah, Judah out of, out of Antigua. A time of 11.33 for Redhead from St. Davis Track Blazer. Then Judah Ash out of Phoenix Track Club in from Antigua, 11.43. And you had John T. Oliver exceed from. Um, out of St. Vincent, this German Williams, also from St. Vincent, the club exceed. So H.J. Bowens, H.P. from St. Vincent as well. So the fight is on, really, for a place in the finals. With seven heats, you can very well imagine how tight it will be to be one of eight persons in the finals later in the day. We'll see how that, how that trans, trans, translates to what happens in the final. But we're getting ready for the final flight, of, flight in this heat seven of seven. And the lean assignment for it, Dad, um, out of St. Vincent. There's Kyle John, Mustang, out of St. Vincent. DeAndre Gloucester, out of HP, out of St. Vincent. That's DeAndre Gloucester. Um, from Mustang, Nikki Stapleton, from runs out, of, runs out of two. There's Nathan Hiller for MVP, out of seven. Jaden McQueen from Bolt, occupies lane number five. Nestled in lane Number six, and we're noticing that some of the lanes are in fact, are in fact empty. So Fusion, the candidate at Fusion, runs out of lane number eight. That's Amir Fusion, Amir Francis for Fusion. Out of Karaku Athletics Club, it's Randy John. And we're looking at Jaden McQueen of lane number five. View lane assignments for the next event on the track. The final flight. Heat 7 of 7 and the boys 100 meters dash. We see the likes of the general himself there, Antoine, Ralph Lord. Yes. Marshalling the, the keep and make sure the troops they stay in line. So just to keep you abreast of what we have in store for you for, for the day, uh, we are witnessing the under 17 boys 100 meters. And uh, the long jump should be should have started as well as the girls on the 17 high jump. The sh short put for f female, open and international, and a javelin on the 17. And then we get into the 150 meters for the, the young ones on the nine. But in the meantime, they are under status orders as we wait. It that Mustang, HP, Bow, Track Blazers, Fusion. Boys 100 meters, and they are officially off. Fusion out of, out, out of lane number seven. But in the middle of the pack, that's for MVP. And that is the man himself, Nathan Hillier, that is flying away with this one. 
flying away with this one out of lane number three, Hilaire for tr club MVP. And another great run by the youngsters, Antoine. He, he, yes, yes. And uh, MVP athlete, they have been doing quite well in this meet. So in there we had Idnat Mustang, HP, Bolt, Track Blazers, and Fusion. Again, nice flow and movement of the arms from Hiller there. And he had some real daylight between himself and the second place person here with a time of 11.22, slightly faster than the last heat. 11.22 is Nathan Hiller, Randy Jasm MVP, Randy Jones from um, from Carico, and then his club, 11.51. Kyle John from Idad, out of St. Vincent, 11.81. And Jonathan Regis from Track Blazers, 11.84. Once we have it, we will bring it to you in terms of the finalists that we will see later on in this under-17 boys 100-meter dash. But it's beyond that. We, if we take, we cast our eyes on the far end. We see... The long jump is in progress. And it's under-17 boys. And it's the under-17, under-17 boys. I must say, Antoine, today is a much cooler day, much cooler on the outside than it has been for the last couple of days. Yes, it's a, a nice, well, it, at some point in time, the wind, the, the wind was almost like a mini hurricane, but that has yes, died that down. Has died, yes. That has died down quite considerably. And it, but it's not as hot as the beginning of the first day. Towards the end of yesterday, um, we had some cloud cover. Now it's, it's, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful weather for, for track and field. If you just confirm it, the lady athlete, that's about it. It's in the, is it one, the long jump? But that, of course, is happening on the far end of the track, of the, of the arena. On paper, we have some 25 athletes on paper here. We are not quite sure what the, the final listing is like. Because by now we assume it would, have been re it would have been it was reduced from its original starting quota. Yes. But wherever you are, folks, it is, it is still a great time to make your way down to the Kiwani James Athletic Stadium. Those of you that are us. Online, we say thanks. Uh, probably it's a good time to shout out the man Michael Bascom, who I'm assuming reasonably is locked in somewhere. Even the great man himself, Leslie S Leslie Smith. We know you're taking in. You did promise it, to join us in the in the afternoon period. We hope that you are locked in, Captain, and having as much fun. Thanks to the Grenada Athletics Association, powered by Puma. They've done an, ex an excellent job thus far. Yes, Joseph, I, I have to I have to agree with you. Uh, Whitson Tide is back. Whitson Tide is back in a big way. Whitson Tide is, is 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 has become the buzz around Grenada, and, and and by the evidence of their attendance here, the number of clubs from across the Caribbean, Whitson Tide seems to be back in the fray of things. Back in live and in living colours, so they say, and that's exactly what's happening here. Um, very, very, very impressive representation of clubs. One cannot help but continue making these comments. A good, good representation of clubs that we have had for these Whitson Tide 2023 games. Uh, in terms of representing countries, we have teams out of Trinidad representing Trinidad and Tobago, St. Lucia, St. Kitts and Nevis, Guyana, British Virgin Island. And that says a lot. In terms of the clubs themselves, we, we, we have Rose Day from uh, St. Vincent, Burnley from Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. uh, Chatoya from St. Vincent, uh, Concord Athletics from, from Trinidad and Tobago, High Performance from St. Vincent, It That from St. Vincent, Phoenix Track Club from Antigua, Phoenix Athletics from Trinidad and Tobago, Mustangs from St. Vincent, Performance Track Club from Barbados, Roses Academy from St. Vincent, St. Vincent Grammar School is also here, uh, the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, what we have, have on screen is a young man from Fusion uh, attempting uh, one of the long jumps. We wait for an indication as to whether or not it is a legal jump, uh, as it's been measured. Yeah. But looking at the clubs, the one twine, um, the participation from St. Vincent has been phenomenal. 
Really, it, really phenomenal. Close to 200 athletes, to six clubs in total. Um, ages ranging from 8 to eight to 28. And they've all done well. I mean, high performance. HP has done well. Um, Idat has actually done quite well. Mustang as well. Another of the clubs that is represented quite well out of Trinidad and Tobago is Concord. Um, the like of um, Concord has, has done quite well. Um, so too has Burnley. So you, they've come and what you find there is a nice balance, a nice active competition that offers balanced performances across the different teams. Uh, St. Lucius in the mixture with Abilene Wildcats. And so certainly there's no one country that those I would say with yes by virtue of numbers. You hear them more often. But I think just by being here, I mean, having participated, I mean, we say hats off to all the clubs and countries um, that made it. Unfortunately, St. Kitts, they had issues. There are some challenges with transport. Um, but we certainly hope for, for next year. And we have also had some very, very, very good representation from out of host country grade A. MVP, 473 MVP. We have East Classic Lightning Wester Hall, Finnish Line Sports Club, Fusion Athletics. We have a grader representing grader international. We have Shaper Runners this from, from St. John's. Mm-hmm. We have South St. George Government School. It's a, it's a primary school here. Uh, St. Andrew's Anglican Secondary School or SAS. They are well represented here. St. David's Irish School. St. David's Track Blazers, one of the bigger clubs on, 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 on island. Stallions, new think, track club, one of the, one of the fairly new, new clubs on the scene. So we have had a good representation right across the region and here locally. We are, in fact, heading back to the track. 150 meters. The... 150 meters. I'll provide you with the stat list in just a bit. But they are off and running. CAC that's there is running out of lane number seven. There's at from South City Rising Stars running out of lane. But we look we're looking in the middle of the pack. I'm still trying to get get, get a hold of my get in a hold of, of my of my stat list. But it is the running out of lane number three. It is, yes. And we're just gonna confirm because we're gonna I just lost my way with my track list sort of lane number number three. It seems to from track blazers. And we're just gonna confirm for you. Um, we're gonna get a hold of the replay. So yes, it is the young athlete out of lane out of lane. Then we got to wait the official times. Right, so this is what I need here. Thank you. Right, so that was the girls' 150 meters dash, and and a Sanchez Simon from St. David's Track Blaze indeed that won that one in a time of 23.65 seconds. Um, VTC Velocity Track Club and another of the, the, the local clubs 23.80, and represented South St. George Ayana Joseph in a time of 24. Point six seven seconds. So that was the first flight, and that was in the on the nines. Yes, girls on the nine, one hundred and fifty meters. They have two flights in this one, and up next is the second flight. We're running out of lane number one from, from Abilene Wildcats in St. Lucia. We have Il- Ilana Norbert. Then there's Jasmine Glean from South City Rising Star Grenada. Dana Noel from Bolt. Natalia from S- that's McKnight from S- South St. George. Deja Houston from South City Rising Star. And young Tasia Bascom from Track Blazers. And based on what we would have seen in the 100 meters at this age group yesterday, one would expect uh, Mac Knight from South St. George to do most of the running in this one. She's out in lane five. In the, in the bright yellow or yellowish green, that's where the running really should be coming from in this one. It's Let's see, does she hold true to form or is there yet another twist of this deal? Norbert from St. Lucia in two. South City Rising Star in three. Bolt runs out of four. 
Salt St. George from the person of Mac Knight is in five. Salt City um, Salt, Salt, at Salt St. George and the Salt City Rising Star occupies lane number six in Deja Houston and Track Blazers represented in seven by Tasia Bascom. The athletes getting junior athletes getting their final um, instructions from the field official. Norbert, Glean, Noel, McKnight, Houston, Bascom, and they are off and running. Young Tasia Bascom at the lane number seven. But we're keeping her eyes in the middle of the pack. It is Natalia, Natalia McKnight out of South St. George. That is motoring away, but on her outside from Bold is Dana Noel. Uh, but she's holding form. Holding form, no doubt, is young McKnight. And she's going to win this one quite handsomely from South St. George. Through to form in this one, Joe. And uh, just we called it, and she held through, she's held through to form. And she has some good competition from Bolt in, in Dana Noel. And just to show the, re the replay on the outside. I mean, it's always good to see these young ones. They are just having fun. Yes. They uh, are just having for them. Well, the older ones might be more interested in bragging rights and all of that. Listen, you tell a child, run, <laughs> and that's all they're going to do. They are just going to run. So we look for the time, the official time for this one. Uh, McKnight from South St. George, 24.94. Adina Noel from Bolt, 25.51. And Jasmine Glean from South City Rising Star, 26.48. That was the final heat, two of two. Um, a short cast for you from the under nine girls. We're moving on to the under nine boys and uh, some 26 of the youngsters and they're st participating in this event. We give you the lane assignments as they are with the exception. So running out of lane number one, the Quan Descent for St. South St. George. Um, we're not seeing the athlete, it would have named two, it should have been from HB. We move to lane number three from Joel Theodore. For VTC, that's Velocity Track Club. Kishan Collins uh, occupies lane four for finish line. Jehu Roberts represents Fusion. He runs out of lane five. Ryan Dolan sits in lane number seven for finish line. There's Stephen Johnson representing 473 MVP. And Aza Douglas, Douglas, that is, runs out of lane number eight representing Fusion. That's your lineup for the under nine boys that's about to get run off. South St. George, Velocity Track Club, Finish Line, Fusion, Finish Line, MVP, and Fusion. The record for the, this event, the game's record for this event is 22.81 seconds. That was in 2022, last year. And Ronan, let's see. Let's see what it, the youngsters look like this year. So they're back on the track. I remember seeing young Jehu Roberts. He finished 30 yesterday in the 100. But they understand his orders and they are off and running. South St. George, VTC, finish line. Jehu is pushing. About out in the middle from MVP is Steve. Um, Stefan Johnson, and that is in a world on his own, but on his outside, pushing out of lane number one from South St. George is the Quan, uh, but it's going to be an easy, easy day, an easy outing for Stefan um, for this one. Easy, easy one for him, for Stefan Johnson. He made it really, truly really quite, quite easy. The finish line athlete there. It's, is it finish line? Oh, I may have got the name wrong. Yes, he's running at the four. That's for finish line. Um, yes, that's Keisha Cobb. Cobb. That's Cobb. Yes. So the, it's always good to see the young ones, you know. I mean, uh, you meet them, the older ones, they, they worry about, about a whole lot of things. While the younger ones, those, the, those elements, some of these things don't necessarily, necessarily bother them. So it's official. 21.96. And um, it's legal win. And it is, in fact, legal win. And the Quandation from South St. George School, 22.61. And Jehu from finish line, 
0.04. Bearing in mind that the old time. record was 22.81. You move to the next flight on the day. The ball is 150 meters. In case you are just joining us, welcome to this TNR production live out of the Kirani James Athletic Stadium, Whitson Tide 2023. It is day two, session number one. The lane assignment for the upcoming events. Running out of lane number one, Nathaniel Martin for South St. George. Johan Robinson, Burnley, Trinidad, runs out of lane number two. As Jaffet David runs out of three. Agel Pascal runs out of lane number four. Shaquan Stephen for VTC runs out of lane number five. Jamari Patterson for South City Rising Star and Colin Sandy for VTC. Um, that's Velocity Track Club, a local club, runs out of lane number seven. We... There seems to be some discussion concerning lane six. On paper, we have Jamari Patterson. Where on the track, seems to be an athlete from Burnley. Indeed, that's because, I mean, Burnley's uniform, we, because they've been so prominent, it's a uniform that we've, we've, we've come to, to, to easily be able to figure out. But I'm just trying to come from um, Maximizing Club. Um, they're out, they, of, they're out of Trinidad. They are out of Trinidad. Yes, they're out of Trinidad. So the athletes, the officials on field, just... They're the young ones, so it's not unusual to have a slight mix-up. So the athlete that was positioned in lane six, he has now taken his seat and, and might be in, this, in the next seat. But yeah, this we still remaining. The the thing about the youngsters at, at, and Sydney at this level, Joe, is the seriousness how they take this. You can look at the, the, the concern on the young one's face. You, you you can see the anticipation. They are they actually getting ready. And then and and there's a second athlete, one from lane three, who have been asked to to sit down for now. So a bit, um, a bit of changing going on. Which should have been the athlete of the Maximizing Club. Um, that's Jeffrey David. Um, he's been asked to... And we, we are remembering that this is really uh, uh, under nine boys. So you have some kids here at seven years old and eight years old and so on. But in the, f in the first heat, the thing, the young, the young um, Keishan Cobb who, who finished, who, who won the first heat, he did that in 21.96. Mm. Uh, 21.996. And the game's record is 22.81. Well within, well within range for him. So again, your lane assignment for the next event on the track. Um, South St. George runs out of one in Nathaniel Martin. Representing Burnley, Johan Robinson runs out of lane number two. Then running out of lane number four. For sprinters, it's Agel Pascal. Lane 5 is occupied by Shaquan S Stephen for VTC. Jamari Patterson runs out of 6 for South City Rising Star. And running of lane number 7. Out of lane number 7. Well, the... It's supposed to be Sandy, Sandy Colin. I don't, I don't assume for these kids that was much fun, was it? So we had a faulty start there. Lane number six is empty, as well as lane number three. So in fact, they're running out of one, two, four, five, and seven. One, two, four, five, and seven. South and so George, Burnley, in, in lane number one. VTC. That's Nathaniel Martin. Nathaniel Martin, he would have also run the 100 meters yesterday. They await 
the instructions on the status orders and they are officially officially off south city burnley's sprinters vtc south city rising star motoring on the outside is nathaniel for south city rising for south st george but here comes robinson for burnley motoring away out in lane number two uh, pulling stepping on the accelerator and it's going full throttle as he crosses to the finish line right out of lane number two uh, easy victory there for johan robinson from burnley's club out of trinidad and tobago elegant good sight uh, look at look at the arms uh, nice nice move movement of the arms his feet his legs high knees this is actually a good display of running for a youngster on the nine and taking the second place uh, was nathaniel martin so official you officially it's johan robinson from Burnley out of Trinidad in a time of 22.31. With a legal win again. With so, a legal win. So the first two winners would have broken the, the old record of 22.81. Nathaniel Martin from South St. George, 23.31. And we get ready for the next flight. It's a field of total of 26. We get ready for three of four. Heath 3 of 4. There's Lyle Pompey out of MAP. That's maximizing athletic potential out of Trinidad and, and Tobago. Runners, Jaden Jaden Flinch out of lane number 2. Excel, Elon Sandy representing St. Vincent and the Grenadines. There's Dre Abbott for IDAT, another club out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And there's Tyler Devnish for runners in lane number 5. And Kaysen George. He represented Abilene, that's a Wildcats out of St. Lucia, is on the outside in lane number six. Your lead assignment for the next event on the track as they run out of two, three, four, and five. Or is there yet some adjustment to be made? Again, we must say that the officials have done a really decent job at ensuring the timely runoff of absolutely of the each each event. So two, three, four, five, and six lanes that are occupied for this one. They await the final orders from the officials. Pompey, and here they are. Away and running. Who's going to take take the early charge? As they're just about 100 meters, running out of lane number three is he? As Elon Sandy from Excel out of um, Saint Vincent and the Grenadines, but he's been pressured on the outside. A little bit of pressure coming coming on the outside, uh, but he's holding holding through, holding holding form, and uh, to win this one out of lane number three, uh, representing Excel's club, Excel club out of Saint Vincent. Um, Elon Sandy, we await the official times. We await the, of the official times. Um, but certainly, it was another great run as we look um, at, the re at, the, at the replay. Uh, he was pushed a bit, yes. He was pushed a bit from the athlete on, on his outer left. But certainly, so there, there we have it, Excel. Um, Elon Sandy from Excel, 23.1. Two, as Excel out of St. Vincent, that's Jaden Flinch, 23.54, and Dre Abbott from Idat from St. Vincent, 24.83. It's a good competition for the youngsters. They nice battle until until the final 20 meters with lanes two and three. That is with Flinch and Sandy. Uh, Sandy then. Uh, Turned out to have a little more strength in there and, and uh, or form, and so he ended up the winner, twenty three point one two. Also in progress, it's the the the, the girls' um, high jump. We're hoping that we'll be able to tell you what height they are attempting in just a bit. Maybe from the help with our production team. At the conclusion of the, the 
150 meters for these youngsters. We have go into some 400 meters on the 17. Excellent jump. Excellent jump. I'm just going to get my list from the high jump so you can get an appreciation as to exactly what's happening. We get it ready for heat, the final heat, the final flight, that is. Heat four or four. Well, it seems as there's an easy run there for Burnley. Um, that's the Amani Diaz. Amani Diaz. And uh, that was, we missed that while um, doing, trying to cover the, the high jump. The, the final flight was, was run, was run off. And it is young Diaz out of Burnley Trinidad that won that. And Jaden Coffey from South City Rising Star took second in a time of 25.21 seconds. And Jaden Church from Racing, 25.27 seconds to complete um, the lineup. So that was the completion of the, the under nine in the 150. 150 meters. So unofficially, unofficially, we would have seen the, a new record in this event, a new games record in this event um, that came from the first heat, Kishan Cobb, when he ran 21.96, the old record being 22.81 meters, 81 seconds. In fact, they, in high jump, they are attempting 1.55 meters. Another clean jump, and we're just going to get an update on where the field is at this time in terms of the athletes. But at present, they are attempting a meter 55. And the next event on the track would be 400 meters on the 17 girls. 400 meters on the 17 girls. But in the meantime, we continue with the high jump. Fall the temp, and they are attempting a meter fifty five. Again, we want to encourage you wherever you are, if you if you follow us on the virtuals virtual platform, we remind you that this is a TNR communication production and feel free to share the link and get other person, individuals to participate in this experience. Whitson Tide Games 2023, day two, session number, number one. We're looking at a special cross-section. I think, in fact, they are the, the mom squad. <laughs> the mom squad. So at the front, South City Rising Stars, and at the back, it says the mom squad. And we've always um, highlighted the importance, um, Bernard. Family support is important. Family support. It's extremely important. <laughs> and certainly they're not just supporting. They get you into the merchandise. That's a whole, young, a whole new business by itself, you know. But it's just a good way to show your support. You're done in your club's T-shirt. And showing to the world, I am part, I am associated with this particular club. In fact, um, the, the clubs on display here over these last two days, they're properly uniform in the main. Uh, it's really, 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 really professional looking clubs in, in terms of how they are adorned. And it, it, it's, uh, that too says a lot for the sp sponsorship that has been taking place. And so we want to say hats off to the sponsors of the various teams, the various clubs. The youngsters are uh, the better for it and certainly look more professional. You dress professional, you look professional, you tend to perform differently. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, a lot of what we, we attracted to is based on what we see. Um, I mean, you're not, even if you're not, you're not seen, if you're hearing, it's one thing. But the fact that uniformity plays a really, really, really critical part. That's uh, another fold attempt. She's a and she's attempting one, a meter, a meter 55. 
um, the field has been considerably reduced. But again, we look and we see um, that the wind, that we would continue to, it yes. continues to fluctuate. It's picking up, picking up a bit now. Yes, you can look at the flags and you can, you can see here. Uh, looking at the flags, you're looking at the, the tents. Another abandoned run, run up, as she attempts one minute, 55. She's probably thinking, well, ooh, well, sometimes they say they, you, you worry less about the, about the technique. You got to get over. <laughs> Just get over. <laughs> you got to get over. History, though, often record what's, what technique you use to get over. All it records, listen. She attempted 155, and she was successful. And we know that before, before Fobbs very flop came into being, it was just anything goes. Hurl yourself over, get there, it doesn't matter. But it's interesting about lots of these um, over the years. Um, Event but we got up for a medal presentation ceremony. 150 meters. Under nine, bronze medalist, Ayanna Joseph. South St. George government, 24.67 seconds. Silver medalist, Jassion Johnson. Velocity Track Club, 23.80 seconds. And your gold medalist, Soon J. Simon, St. David's Track Club. 23.65 seconds. Boys, 150 meters under nine. Presenting your bronze medalist, the Quan Desant, South St. George Government. 22.62 seconds. Silver medalist, Johan Robinson, Burnley Athletics, Trinidad. 22.31 seconds. Presenting now your gold medalist, Keyshawn Cobb, finish line. 21.32. Congratulations, young men. Thank you so much. Event 47, Women Short Put Open International. Bronze medalists, Jamelia Nicholas, St. David's Track Blazers. 11.74 meters. Silver medalist, Trevia Gums, British Virgin Islands, 12.91 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your gold medalist, Tanel Gums, also representing British Virgin Islands. Thirteen point four three meters. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you very much, Mrs. Shermaine Ross Phillip, a past student of Boca Secondary School. She's a former Olympic athlete in the four hundred meters. What a delight to have you, Mrs. Ross Phillip. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for all of the winners.
So again, thanks to all of, all of the winners. Uh, we applaud your efforts and of certainly, um, as you say, hard work, perseverance, it pays off. Um, back on the ground as we are yeah, attempting um, a meter 58. And that was a successful att attempt at that height as the under 17 girls. This is the day, day one, day two, sorry, session number one of the Whitson Tide Games inside of the K. Randy James Athletic Stadium. Um, we continue to, 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 to highlight the fluctuation in the wind as it is. And it's a bit heavy right about now as an abandoned attempt at a minute, uh, a meter 50, 58, a meter, a meter 58. Um, we've been going through the day and there's a multiplicity of different disciplines that's being conducted at the same time. There's high jump, there's also a long jump on the far end of the field. And certainly looking at the list of events for the day, um, there's about 1,500 meters, eight, a few of the 800 meters to happen. There's also, there's also, there is also um, action to take place in the, um, the hurdles, hurdles open. So it's quite a packed, packed, packed day for you. And certainly it would be a good, good opportunity. Uh, I know the challenge after lunch um, when you have to deal with the inappropriate blood flow. It's called ethnic fatigue. <laughs> um, and that, of course, is always a challenge, a challenge just by itself. Uh, but certainly, if you can make your way down, tomorrow is a, is, is a holiday. Or if you can't, or you're planning to, but in the interim, in the interim, you want to take it on and take in some of the action via the social media platform, you can certainly go to TNI Communication Platform on Facebook and be part of the conversation. Once you're there, feel free to share the link, to share the link. Um, and you don't want people to regret, <laughs> you know, the conversation that the Whitsuntides games, it came and you were not here. You missed it for whatever reason. Again, for those of you just joining us live inside of the National Stadium, Whitsuntides 2023, um, some 40 plus clubs have, and countries have made their way uh, to, the, to the Isle of Spice um, in excess of close to 900 athletes altogether. Um, the athletes, they have come from near and far. In fact, they have come from near and far. Uh, just to give you an appreciation as to some of the clubs that have made their way here, um, we had the likes of um, Burnley out of, out of Trinidad, Concord Athletics out of, out of Trinidad, and I must say that um, Concord has done exceptionally, exceptionally well. Uh, we have the likes of Symphony and others, even PTC, Phoenix, Tr Phoenix Track Club out of Antigua has really represented. Um, in terms of representation, though, we've seen the largest contingent out of St. Vincent, um, where they're in excess of just about 200 strong, strong, represented by six clubs in total. Yes, um, Mustang, Idad, among those uh, that continue, um, even high HP that continues to fly the flag high. Um, there is Guyana, there is British Virgin Island, St. Lucia, Trinidad and Tobago. Unfortunately, though, um, the team out of St. Kitts, they were not able to, for, for reasons, of course, certainly way beyond their control, um, they were not able to make the journey down. But certainly looking forward to next year when they can be part of this conversa conversation. Again, attempting a meter 58. And she's not necessarily one that seems to too excited about styles and how and the, the, the flair and glamour that some other high jumpers put into their delivery. She's just opting up, over, get it done. Get it done. And when I see you, I mean, yesterday when I, 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 I referred to you as the younger of the three, Adams was trying to figure it out. 
But I know today I don't have to argue over this. I mean, we really don't have to argue over this. <laughs> oh, I, I, think the only, I think the only thing that may be older than me here may be the paper. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that conversation, leave that right alone. What we have, though, is um, you would have seen some heat, and they, they were really time, time finals. So what we right. have the, is, a, is a summary of the actual winners in the all the time heat. So I'm going to pass this over to you, Joe, and you'll give the winners in the various categories as how they actually ended the, the best times from the heats that would have gone. Yes, it has been a really, 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 really busy morning, and we start with the girls' 100 meters dash. And again, um, that the, winning that that one, the girls' 100 meters final, it was Leah Rose Charles from South St. George, and she's been a and one of the outstanding um, Absolutely. performers, not just here, but even we go back to primary school sports, national sports, she's literally become a household name, a recurring decimal in athletics. There are some names that really jump at you, and, and she's one of those that would have jumped at you, because she has been performing well all through the year. Consistent. In, consistent. Um, we're going to get back to that, because on screen, though, we are um, just bringing it up to speed. We're getting ready for... Should be on the 17, 400 meters for girls. On the 17, 400 meters for the heat one. And that would be event number? Event number 51. Event number 51. There are two heats in this one. Uh, this, the first of, first of heat one it would be in lane number one. It's Leah Chance. Mustang out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Lane two is, is empty. Lane three, uh, Zakisha Kelly from Mustang is in, lane, is in lane three. In lane four, Shafana Houston. Shafana is another name that right throughout the season have been featured. Uh, Karifta athlete. And in lane five, we have Kiana Joseph from Finish Line, a local club Finish Line here. Uh, it that and Casey Robinson. She's in lane six. Uh, lane seven is. Lane seven, it's Aliyah McDowell uh, from High Performance. And in lane eight, from Exceed, Mephia Monroe. Mephia Monroe in lane eight. If you mind, Lenny, because I should have got mine all, all muddled up. So event number 51, the girls 400 meters dash in the under 17, in the under 17 category. Again, we have the lane assignments. Leah Chance run, runs out of lane number one for Mustang in, from St. Vincent. Um, Maya Henry, finish line. There's uh, Keisha Kelly, a, a, another athlete from Mustang in St. Vincent. Siobhan Fauna Houston, um, South City Rising Star. Um, Kiana Joseph, finish line. Casey Robinson for Idnat, out of St. Vincent. Aliyah McDowell from HP, out of St. Vincent. And Memphio, Memphio Monroe from Exceed, out of St. Vincent. Your lead assignment for the next event on the track, and they are off and they are running. It is heat one of two. The girls 400 meters, 400 meters dash. They make their way, not necessarily in much of an urgency, it seems, as they go pedal away down the back stretch. Um, as they, we continue, let's see who makes up the makes up the early stagger, the 400 meters, as they head to just about the 200 meter back at the top bend. Uh, who is it going to be? We looked at Mustang is there. Finish line. South City Rising Star Shafana Houston is there. For finish line, Case Kiana Joseph is there. But as they head for home, running out of lane number four, it is Shafana Houston for South City Rising Star. As making light work of that, as she's been chased, if you wish, or followed um, by um, Zakisha Kelly from Mustang. But it's a quite an easy outing for Shafana Houston. And coming in in second is the Shakisha Kelly from Mustang Club out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So, that's heat number one, and that was Houston. Houston, in the end, quite easy, Joe. It was quite an easy one for her. I mean, she knows, she believes in herself. She knows what she's capable of doing. And she's been consistent, consistent all, consistent all day. Um, yesterday, she had to deal with the likes of that. Uh, we get the name out of PTC 
out of um, Antigua. Uh, but officially, it's a time of 57.44 seconds um, for, uh, for Houston out of South City Rising Star. As Zakisha Kelly, Mustang out of St. Vincent, and Casey Robinson from Idat, another club out of St. Vincent. Exceed. That's Monroe. I meant 103.30. Um, and, and again, we continue there. You, you look at the, the clubs again. It continues to show the strong presence of the foreign clubs. And so particularly, though, from St. Vincent, in this particular case, Mustang in that exit HP, all clubs featuring out of St. Vincent and the, and the Grenadines. Yes, well, well represented. Again, we, we, we have to keep emphasizing. Very well represented. Houston has been doing this all year. And uh, she is, she is a, a, a Carifta representative this year. Uh, she did not meddle in, in any one of her individual events, but she certainly distinguished herself uh, making the finals. So we are going to... The heat number two. That's what we have up next. Heat number two. And then lane one, lane one from, from St. Lucia, Danita Francois. In lane two, finish line from Grenada, Monique Binder. Lane three, Kamaya Telesfor from Track Blazers in Grenada. From Shaper in Grenada in lane four, Maya Noel. Again, from uh, Abilene and out of St. Lucia in lane five, it's Paige Anderson, but it's Paige Anderson. Lane five is scratch. Uh, in lane six, Kyla McIntyre from Finish Line. Finish Line is Grenadian Club. Uh, in lane seven is scratch. And in lane eight, Tyra Charles from Itat. Your lane assignments for the upcoming event on the field. Remind you that we're coming to you live from the Kiwani James Athletic Stadium. In the best place there is in the world. We are the spice of the Caribbean. We, wherever you go, we are proud to call ourselves Grenadians. The home of Kirani James, Anderson, Peters, Aline, Francique, and a host of others. We can even add Junior Murray to it just for the fact that, of course, <laughs> for those of you who are entwined, are probably cricket fans. And they still appreciate at athletics. You can't miss Absol that one at all. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So, again, we are continuing with it, looking at the lean, the lean assignment for the next event on the track. Uh, the girls, 200 meters, 400 meters, s s I'm sorry, lean assignments. He two of two. Danita Francois from Abilene Wildcats, out of, of St. Lucia. Monique Binder, finish line. Um, Kamiya Telesford from Track Blazers. Noel Anderson, McIntyre, Lett, and Charles. Your lean assignment for the next event on the track, the girls' 400 meters dash, and they under the status orders, and they are officially off, and not necessarily one of those hard-pressed breaks out of out out of out of the blocks, um, as they they just gently make it, they tumble their way down the back end, tumble their way down the back end. Let's see who's going to make the first attempt to set the out front position. Well, we have one athlete and she's literally storming away. Um, the others are literally trying to play catch up with her as they get to about the 200 meter, 200 meter mark. Is she, is she going to fade or is she going to hold firm? But there she is um, running out of lane number four, running out of lane number four um, uh, will be Maya Noel. It is. And she certainly seemed to be all by her lonesome self and just going to take a sh stroll her way into the finish line, uh, running out of lane number four. And it's an easy, easy win there for her, for Shaper and the person there of Maya Noel. Easy win for her. Uh, we await the official time um, and then we continue. But indeed, an excellent, excellent run from the athlete. She seems, it doesn't seem to be any anyway. Um, winded or anything, she's of course. So we look, we look at at the time. Maya Noel, um, in the time of one a minute, 
one minute zero zero one point eight eight seconds. Then Edie Francis um, from the Avalon Wildcats out of St. Lucia, a minute zero four point one eight. There is McIntyre from Finish Line, a minute zero six point from five five eight. Uh, Telesford from St. Davis Track Blazers and Monique Binder from Finish Line in the time of one minute zero eight point five three seconds. So that was the final heat in that of event number fifty fifty one. Antoine, the girls four hundred meters. We go to the opposite counterpart, same distance. Same distance. The event number fifty two, the boys four hundred meters dash in the under seventeen category. And from where we are, there's some seventeen athletes to compete to complete um, this event. And three and they do that in three batches. Event fifty two. The boys four hundred meters four hundred meters dash. We look to see what the lane assignments will be. Look to see what the lane is for the lane assignments. Lane number one seems to be scratched. And they're running out of two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So your official lane assignments running out of lane number two for Mustangs. That's Nikki Stapleton, Mustang Club up out of St. Vincent. In num lane number three. Uh, Ruben Batista for VTC, out of lane number three. Aiden McIntosh, MVP, runs out of four. Omari Pope for South City Rising Stars, occupies lane number five. Adriel Mitchell for Fusion, runs out of six. And for HP, they have athletes running out of seven and eight. That's HP, High Performance, that's out of St. Vincent. Um, lane eight is Ganroy Lane. And lane number eight is Jabrell Oliver. Your lane assignments for the upcoming heat on the field. And again, they're running out of lanes number two to number eight, Antoine. Yes, so we have St. Vincent, Grenada, 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 St. Vincent, St. Vincent. So it's a Grenada, St. Vincent uh, contest here. Let's see how this one pans out. I mean, I may quickly ask Nazim he will, who he's backing because nobody's going to know. Um, he might be tempted to tell me though, but I'm not even sure I want to find out. Not even sure that I, I, I want to find out. <laughs> I'm interested to know, you see the strong presence of the names Oliver. Uh, I wonder if I say Oliver, a certain in, 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 individuals, he, he, the individual tends to want to smile. I'm not sure why. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not even gonna. <laughs> I'm not even going to comment too much on that anyway. That's a conversation for during lunch. You, you actually have a lot of Oliver out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. A whole lot, a whole lot of them. The next event on the track, it's the uh, the boys 400 meters. And let's see how this one, how it pans out. And they're often running clean break for all athletes. Um, Oliver, Lane, Mitchell, Pope, as they make their way down the back, the back end. Onto the straightaway. Who is it going to be? Out in the middle of the pack, you watch Aiden McIntosh uh, taking the, uh, the frontal position for now. We'll see whether or not he has enough. But also in there, and another fusion, Adriel Mitchell is there. Uh, but as they get to the top, to the 200 bend, and they make their way for home, it is Aiden McIntosh out of lane number four. Here they come. It is two of the, well, MVP one, MVP two, as it is. As they are running, running away, running away with it, and we'll see Macintosh running, and it's going to be MVP one, MVP two, and it's an easy, easy, easy one, one two for clubs Macintosh. For <laughs> anyway, we say I said club Macintosh for club MVP. I'm probably getting a little history here on the on the uh, the family line. That the Olivers, whether there's any relationship at all, I would best he'd be, he'd be happy to boast of the rich lineage out of the the, 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 the Islands. <laughs> so, folks, that was the completion there. Oh. <laughs> so you got to forgive us. Every, every, every now and again, we have a little bit of banter with each other <laughs> in here. But that was the completion of event number, heat two of two. So, 
you know, heat one of three, that is, in the boys' 400, 100 meters. Um, we'll move on to the next flight, uh, which is heat two of three, again in the boys' 400 meters. And I, 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 I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but we give the official time. Aiden, Aiden McIntosh, 51.33, Quan L. 51.49. I, I just want to let you, whatever information is provided, is provided to me, I will need to, in, to verify it independently before I even think of a seat it on air. <laughs> so it's, it's, that was a conclusion of uh, heat number one of three. Uh, Aiden McIntosh, your winner here from. 473 MVP out of Grenada. The record in this event uh, was set in 2017 of 48.94. The game's record, 48.94 in 2017. And Elijah Williams, record holder in this event. Well, it's the, this first heat. Aiden McIntosh, 51.33 MVP, uh, 473 uh, Grenada Club. Grenada Club. Uh, by the way, of information, I'm just understanding that the sprinting, the sprinting gene, I know that if there's a gene for sprinting, it continues in, in, in the family. He says he used to be a good sprinter in, in, in his days, and since then it continues in the bloodline. But these things, information, we don't, I, I didn't give name, right? We'll have to independently verify this in the archives. Our statistical team is going to verify that. Hello, Richie. <laughs> Uh, we're going to continue with it, folks. It is event number number 52. Um, it's the boys' 400 meters dash. And again, we're coming to you live from the picturesque Kirani James Athletic Stadium, nestled in the heart of the capital in downtown St. George. Renata, the Isle of Spice, the lane assignment. Anderson, we're running out of, out of, well, quite a reduced feel, actually. Two, three, four, and five is what, is what we are using. Stafford. Out of two, Frederick in three. Anderson. And I see exactly what has happened here. It's, so let's take them as they go, as they make their way down the, the back end. I see the presence of Concord is in, the, is in the mix. That's Concord out of Trinidad and Tobago as they continue to make their way. St. Vincent Grammar School is also in there. Um, 400 meters as it is. Just about heading towards the 200 meters mark and making their way for home. You continue to see Concord. Concord is in there. Let's wait as it is. And as a young athlete to do again from the grammar school, um, that's making their way. One to HP is on the outside. Now he's clenching, clenching his way, his way back into it. Um, but here comes Fusion. It is actually fusion from Grenada. Fusion on the line. On that has nipped this on, 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 on the line. Good representation there from Concord out of Trinidad and Tobago. We continue to see the presence of those uh, clubs that are, that are here. Um, HP out of, out, out of St. Vincent, um, just, just the same. So the, the athlete from fusion there, it looked like Caden McQueen, but he was slated for... Heat number three. So they they've mixed them. They've mixed them all up. It is it is Kaden yes, McQueen. They mix them all it up. It is Kaden McQueen. So Kaden McQueen, at um, the time of fifty four point five two seconds, the Mary Joseph from HP out of St Vincent, the Mary Robert sorry from HP out of St Vincent fifty four point six five. There's and there's the Mary sorry Roberts and then Mary Hercules uh, from St Vincent, and there's Kaden. James from Concord, a club out of Trinidad and Tobago, and Serrani Roban from Excel out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, I don't know, Antoine, are you anywhere you have persons that could independently verify that the Olivers in Grenada can oh, I, claim... What, what I can tell you is one of the better young sprinters we have had in a long, long time in Grenada is Oliver. And many, 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 many things were expected of that young man uh, running just up to 11.01 as an as a, as a under-15. So do you think, is it is, is, is bloodline or you just happen, happen to be a prodigy of maybe, I don't know. You know, sometimes in the bloodlines, you have these strange things that happen. It's not necessarily, it's, it's pre 
Aïe, ça c'était mute en l'est. Ah, but indeed, we know the, the, uh, the, records the are, Olive Air. The records are there. The, the, the records, records are there. The so, just as we thought, um, uh, the, the combined, the, the heat two and three, and that's why we had at least collapsing into one heat, one final heat. So, there were rather than three heats for the boys on the 17-400, we only had two. But you know, but you know why we added though. That is one of the things that was highlighted to one of the the coordinator of the games, the coordination of information at a time on on, on a timely basis. Uh, but the javelin is in progress. That's the and we give you the specifics and who's actually the javelin. To be the girls on the seventeen. Javelin girls on the on this on the seventeen. Um, that's happening. Uh -huh. The next event on the track will be the series of 200 meters. Uh, we are going to start with the girls on the 15. On the 15, correct. That will be followed by the girls on the 20. Then the boys on the, 20, on the 15 and on the 20. All right. 200 uh, meters. 200 meters. Um, we look at the... And some of them might be tempted to say that... Javelin as a sport is some relatively new to Grenada, but Antoine, you you can well appreciate that that is that is that is the furthest thing from the truth. But what we've seen though, in more recent times, is that a growing interest, an expanded interest, in 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 the discipline. Well, that's not unexpected with the successes that we have had from Karifta come all the way through to the World Championship, uh, last World Champion, uh, in Anderson Peters. One still would have expected to have more interest, if you want to call it that. And maybe it was a timing. Uh, at, at right at the, after the World Championships um, in Doha, we had the, the COVID sort of a put a damp on what you could have done outdoors and so on. But one, one would have seen a, a growing interest in field events in general. Mm -hmm. Growing events and field events in general, whereas before everything was concentrated on, on not just running but short sprint running. That that's changing and that's changing quickly. And changing quickly, and the fact that you've seen growing interest in the multiple multiple disciplinary events and the hept and the opt, and certainly um, with the likes of um, Lyndon Victor and his brother, and the success they've had on the world stage. More and more individual. We've also seen the additions of, of, of the huddles. And more and more Grenadians, at, athletes are opting. Why not? Yes. Maybe this is what something that, 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 I, that I can also participate in. Yes. <laughs> on your screen, it's the girls under 17 traveling in progress. Uh, we, will get the, we will get the results to you as we have them. And... We do have a result to share with you, an update rather, and this has to do with a combined event in the NACAC, at the heptathlon for women. Well, heptathlon period, it's for, it's for women. You're right. So to give an appreciation as to how uh, the hept entwined. With one um, event to go. With one event to go. This is, in fact, a series, seven events in, in total. They started yesterday. Um, and Hawkins, who is still actually in the, f in, in, in the, in the, in the lead, she actually went into, uh, uh, into, into today, day two, in the front, leading after four events. Uh, so today, what they have completed is the long jump and the javelin. So basically, what these athletes, they do, they, com they compete in combined events. So for the heptat heptathlon, which is part of the NACA combined, and they participate in the, the 100 meters huddle, there's a the high jump, there's a the short put, the 200 meters there's the long jump the javelin throw and the 800 meters so they've completed six of the um, required events and there's one event to go um, as it is the american uh, carrie hawkins as uh, she's out front uh, having accumulated a total of 5355 points um, in second place behind her is shania burns also of the united states in 5,272 points. The idea 
um, many the, the experts would say that you literally compete against yourself. What you want to do is in each event to better your, your distance, your height, or your time so that you can maximize on points, Antoine. Absolutely. It's a constant competition against oneself as well as competing against your fellow competitors. It's one of those events that takes a lot out of you. Um, it's very, very, very demanding. And it's a special type of, a special grouping of persons who, who actually um, do these events. And they're a very close-knitted group of persons. A family, who do yes. Multi-events. Because, it, I mean, you really consider it. You look at, let's say, the 100 the sprinters. You may do a one, a two, three. Okay, you run the 100, the 200. Pro probably that's it. You run the relay, the 4 by one relay. Um, also happening simultaneously is the high jump. And so there is high jump in the close end, uh, closer to us. That's on screen now. There is uh, the javelin throw on the, on the far end. That's back on your screen as we, as, as we speak. We're going to attempt to get the full l listing the flights, but also preparation is being made for the girls on the 15, um, 200 meters dash. So preparation, as you can see, they get them lined up for that. Uh, the girls, 200 meters, and, uh, and we head back to the track. We get ready for that. The action is going to come from what we see. They are already running out of, out of two, three, four, six, seven. So looking at the lane assignment, um, exceed running out of lane number seven for VTC. Um, Janea Sandy runs out of seven. There's Scarborough for IDT. Skerritt out of IDT. And they're off and they're running clean start for all, all of the athletes. Sandy is in there. Scarborough from it that is there. So too is Aliyah Skerritt. As they make their way for home, running motoring away on the outside. Um, in lane number, lane number one, it's from the Atrium XC. That's Nesbitt. But in the middle of the pack, um, we'll see Nesbitt on the outside. I did it that on the inside. She makes a tumble as she gets to the finish line. And that seems like a quite a hard, a real bit of a tumble, though. And it is good. I'm liking what I'm seeing, though. I mean, you know, we talked about, yes, we continue to highlight the camaraderie in, in athletics. You know, most times athletes are more interested in trying to show both and all of that that they've actually won. Um, so what you had there was two of the athletes out of it that um, that's in from in St. St. Vincent. We get the official times for you in just in just in just a bit. But that was the first in a series of the girls 200 meters dash. 200 meters dash in the under 15 under 15 category, and officially it was now um, Nesbitt from Exceed. Uh, out of St. Vincent, Skerritt, Iddat from St. Vincent, and Scarborough from Iddat, out of St. Vincent as well. Uh, Rosemary Th uh, Thomas from VTC, as uh, Velocity Track Club in Grenada, and Madison McIntosh, a lot of local club, MVP. So it is St. Vincent, St. Vincent, St. Vincent. They continue to show their dominance there. You feel their presence. Uh, as they said, they came. They're here, and they're certainly attempting to conquer. Move to the next event, and it's heat 206 as we do the lineups. They're racing out of two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Your lean assignments for the upcoming event. And Gabriel Cyrus runs out of two for Mustang from St. Vincent. Tishon, Tishona Bascom. Track Blazers, Grenada. Shakina Dixon, HP from St. Vincent, representing 473, is Latoya Charles, occupying lane 5. Then Zonisha Brown from Roses of the St. Vincent, and there is Ariel Stevens running out of lane number 7. Your lane assignment for Heat 206, the girls 200 meters dash. That is on the way. Mustang, Track Blazers, HP, MVP, and Roses. Well, running away, storming away in the middle of the pack. It's your athlete there from 
that's Dixon but making a push on the outside uh, for track blazers it is not track blazers it's Mustang it is um, that looks like um, Gary Osiris we wait for the official the official times we look for the official times on it and again we'll continue to say that we're happy to highlight the the pace the rollover the turnover of these events um, I know the officials they have encourage themselves to work with their own times. So it, it was San Davis, San Davis track Blazers and in, in, in one. So San Davis track Blazers out of out 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 of one. Um, that's uh, Kayla's Christopher, twenty five point five nine. Um, Shakina Dixon from HP out of St Vincent twenty six point zero seven. Bascom from San Davis track Blazers um, uh, twenty six point nine nine. MVP MVP racing and take you down the ladder again we continue to notice as we did in the previous flights of 200 that a lot of the the starting the list and order mix and mix. is significantly significantly shifted sometimes you tend to tell you I want to trust the uniform or do I want to trust what's on paper I mean somebody asks if you know them it makes it easy for you um, Again, running out of lane two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Your lane assignments as eight is Casida Thomas for Exceed out of St. Vincent. Khadijah Walcott, finish line. Kenesha Richards, HP. Samara Alexis, MVP. Um, Samara, so Kenesha um, Richards for, runs for HP. Samara Alexis for MVP. And there's Horana Patterson from Mustang, and Sheep is represented there by Fredericks. Okay, the, the lineup looks to be fairly accurate in this one. Seem to be fairly accurate in this one. Exceed, finish line, HP, MVP, Mustang, and Shaper. And they are off, all clean start. We keep on our eyes on Samara Alexis out of lane number five for HP. So too, uh, Kanisha Richards and Kadisha Walcott as they come to the straightaway. Who is it going to be? Running straight nicely out of lane number four. It is Kanisha Richards from HP. And she is going to make an easy walk of this one. Um, coming in the second place out of lane number six for Mustang is Horana, Pat Horana Patterson. Um, so certainly we wait for the official times for event number 53, heat three of six. So again, we want to encourage you wherever you are. If you're on the live, share the live. Remind you this is a TNR communication production and certainly the team we're here to provide you all vi virtual engagements that you have whether local regional or otherwise we certainly hear any sporting um event it, it, at all so yes it is kenesha richards from hp in the time of 26.11 for rana patterson from mustang so it is hp from st vincent mustang from st vincent and their shapers out um, in a time of 27.76 seconds. Yes? So, moving along and moving quite quickly as we get into the next uh, the next flight, it is heat four of four six. Still the girls, 200. Still the girls, 200, 200 meters in the under 15 category running at this time at a four five six and seven so the assignments four five six seven ariana miller for hp rake racial atian arisha rages and nisafia little and they're off just the four hp fusion hp as they make their way down who, who is it going to be running for mvp in the middle of the package racial Rachel Atian, uh, but on the outside is Ariana Mitchell. Uh, but from it is Atian taking retake, re, retaking control of it. Atian 
from MVP will be followed by Ariane Miller on her upside from HP Club. And that's the completion of heat four of six in the girls under 15 category. Inside of the National Stadium, it is day two of Whitsuntide, session one. Uh, wherever you are, we certainly, uh, there is sufficient time for you to make your way down here. Monday's a holiday. Um, Monday is, 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 is a holiday, so not much for you to worry about for you to worry about in terms of getting t time to rest. Unless maybe you're probably a police officer, you work in the hotel industry or otherwise. But officially, the, um, it's victory for Rachel Etienne out of MVP at time of 27.40 27, 27, um, seconds. Um, Ariana Mitchell, she takes the third, the second. The second position. We get a heat five or six. Yet again, another reduced field in this one, running out of lanes four, five, six, and seven. The lineup, running out of lane four, Christina Charles from SAS. Rihanna Thomas runs out of lane five for South City Rising Stars. Alina Gloucester runs out of lane six for HB. And completing the lineup is Gabriela Rose, represented Exceed, a club out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. With St. Tide Games 2023, coming to you live from inside the Kirani James Athletics Stadium. And we get it ready for Heat 5 or 6. Uh, the girls full 200 meters dash. SAS, South City Rising Star, HP, Exceed. Two athletes from Grenada, two from St. Vincent. Charles for SAS, Thomas for Rising Stars, Gloucester for HP, Rouse for Exceed. They await and they are off. Clean break for all athletes. Making the early thrust out of SAS is Christina Charles, but Thomas from South City Rising Star is there. It is SAS. SAS, South City Rising Star, one and two. Who is going to take this one home? Charles is running for SARS. So too is Thomas for South City Rising Star. Um, but this one's going to end up with Rihanna Thomas for South City Rising Star and Christina Charles for SAS doing the 1 2 in the, the just completed event, Heat 5 of 6. And again, these are all qualifying for places in the final this evening. Looking at the replay, um, I mean, understanding. What you need, you need, you need to qualify the top two. It's just a matter of them conserving energy and just making their way into the finish line. Into the finish line, Rihanna Thomas from South City Rising Star Stars and Christina Charles from SAS. The official times: twenty-seven fifty-four, twenty-seven point nine two, twenty-nine point six one, which is in fact uh, was captured by. Um, Gabrielle Rouse from Exceed out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Makaya Ramsey completed the fourth spot in the time um, she, uh, she completed the fourth spot. Yes, and her time was 29.79 seconds. So that was the completion of Heat 5. Um, of the girls 200 meters dash and we now move to is the equal the equal distance no doubt uh, but the boys 200 meters in the under 15 category um, some 62 a field of 62 and so this one will take a bit too for us to run through Whitsuntide Games, a games that boasts of having its origins back in the 50s. And they're certainly hoping to become a staple on the local athletics landscape. The lane assignment, running out of lane number one. Running out of lane number one, 
Um, Keandre McCoy from Mustang. Keandre Mustang. Keandre McCoy from Mustangs out of lane number one. Nikhil Mitchell for South City Rising Star. A Mustang out of St. Vincent. Um, South City Rising Star Grenada. And Twain Antonel Daniel runs out of three. And Daniel Remy runs out of four for HP. Garrett Odin runs out of five for HP as well. Kelson Peters runs out of lane number six for Burnley out of Trinidad. And lane number seven, Nathaniel Alfred for South City Rising Stars. And they are off. One 200 meters, fourth boys. South City Rising Star is in there. HP is also in there. So to is Burnley as they make their way for home. It is running for South City Rising Star on the outside. It's Nathaniel Alfred, but he's also been pushed by from Burnley from Kels by Kelson Peters, um, but he sits up as he gets to the to, to, to the finish line. Nathaniel Alfred out of HP, and he's second place. Kelson Peters running for so Peter Sari, Nathaniel Alfred for South City Rising Stars, and Kelson Peters from Burnley out of Trinidad and and Tobago. Again, we can just say that. The competition has been really, really, be, has really been quite great, and we certainly hope that after all this is said and done, that Whitson Tide would be a staple on the Athletics calendar. So officially, Nathaniel Alfred from South City Rising Stars, 24.37 seconds. Kelson Peters from Burnley out of Trinidad and Tobago, 24.78, and Daniel Remy um, from HP out of St. Vincent, 25. Point six one seconds, the official time for heat number one in the boys two hundred meters. Again, we say thanks to the ex the great work uh, by our f field marshals. We're going to keep our eyes on this one for all intent and purposes. Out of lane number four, but your full lineup We're running out from one. Up until s from seven, Kishon Charles, HP runs out of one. Occupying lane number two is Leonardo Grant from HP. Delron John from SAS runs out of lane four. Jaden Peer, South City Rising Stars. Um, Taquan Bolson and Cameron Thomas. You line up for the next event on the track. The boys, 400 meters dash. And... If this one holds true to form, no prejudice out for this one, but we've seen, we've seen him perform through the year, national champs, into call. We've seen him yesterday. Um, this, in fact, should be a quite easy and measured run, um, Antoine, for Delron John, I think. yesterday in the 100 meters. So it's no surprise if he follows suit today. They said anything, anything less would be totally unacceptable. But come the time, come the moment, let's, will he deliver? Let's see. And they are off and running. Bolt is there. HP is there. Sass. But there you see this Delron of making up the early stagger on the inside, on his outside, he's been pressed by Jaden Peer. Uh, but it's Delron, and he seems to just be easing up on them, quite comfortable with the fact that he's done, he's done enough. Delron John from SAS and Jaden Peer from South City Rising Star taking the second, the second spot. Quite easy for Delron there. Uh, he's a big boy right, to begin with. He's and a big, is, powerful boy. And that is not an exaggeration. He is, in fact, yes. a big boy. I mean built like one of those robotic robotic structure but as you see from the from the replay i mean he's quite comfortable he understands and appreciates what needs to be done his position in in the race and he just cruises over yes. the finish line very easily shut down with about 20 25 meters ago he was finished with a time of 24.19 seconds and uh, for sas uh, Jaden pair for south city rising star 25.07 um Leonardo Grant from HP out of St. Vincent took up the third place. 
So th that was heat number two. Heat number two. And as you said, it's an extensive field of some 60-plus boys. Uh, we see how it pans out. The lane assignment for the next event on the track. Sprinters. Rion McIntosh runs out of lane number one for sprinters. Jeremy Martin runs out of two for Idat from St. Vincent. Shaim Phillips runs out of lane number three for Westerhall Secondary. Representing Shaper in lane four is Vico Hines. Aiden Charles represents Mustang out of St. Vincent. He occupies lane number six, number five. And Kyle Stanisclaus, Kyrico Athletics Club, is in six. Representing MVP is Rashawn Daniel. And representing Burnley out of Trinidad, it is Jabari Guadeloupe on the outside in lane number eight. What we can see on screen is that lane number six character representative seems to be absent as of now. And all the other That's lanes correct. are occupied. The record for this event, um, it's 22. No, let, let, let me get the record here, Claire. It's 22.92 seconds. That was set in 20, 2019 by Jani Daly. A pretty good clip here for under 15, 22.92. Let's see that will be challenged any time later in the evening. Sprinters, it that. Westerhall, Shaper, Mustang, MVP, Burnley out of, out of Trinidad. The lineup and the assignments for event on track as your way to status orders and they're off nice and clean uh, there's Burnley out of lane number, number six MVP moving quite nicely out of lane number two we watch in the middle of the pack I'm Shaheem Phillip uh, but as they head home on the outside for finish line um, Well, actually coming in on out of lane on the inside, on the inside of the screen, they out of lane number seven. That was, in fact, Rashawn Daniel for club MVP that won that one. It's another one of those clubs that have distinguished themselves at these games, 473 MVP. And in Rashawn Daniel in this, in this heat, let's see what his time looked like. But he ran right through as compared to in their last heat where Delroy John shut it on from a 20-25 meters to the end. Uh, I think there's no shortage of confidence when, 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 when it comes to, to, de to, de to Delroy. Uh, we look at the official times. Rishon Daniel from MVP, 24.32. Um, the Heinz from Shaper. Martin from Idat out of St. Vincent. And there's Shaheem Phillip from Westerholt Secondary. Um, Jabari Guadalupe for Burnley came in third, came in in the fifth position. He was running out in the outer lane. Heat 4-4, four, four, another, another, we seem as though we have a full, a full slate. Well, not necessarily full. Is there isn't anybody running out of lane number one. And that lane was supposed to be occupied by an athlete from the grammar school. Your lane assignment, running out of lane number two. Giovanni Green runs for Fusion. Jerry Meyer for Runners. Ethan O'Gees in the middle of the pack for Finish Line. Evante Niblet from the Grammar School in St. Vincent. Um, Keon Brown, Roses out of St. Vincent. Um, Zavroy Barber for HP out of St. Vincent. And Tylen Descorta, De De Costa, sorry, for Idat occupying lane number eight the lane assignments strong contingent here from st vincent as has been the case all day and they're off and running clean start for all of the athletes it that hp roses grammar school finish line runners fusion all is in there as we look at what's happening of the lane number four Yes, that's for young Ethan O'Geese. He's running quite nicely, but on his outside from Fusion, Giovanni Green is trying to make a push for it. But out of lane number four, as he runs into the finish line, it is Ethan O'Geese and in first, um, Giovanni Green to take up the second place. That's a good run by Ethan there. Uh, nice, high, high knees and bunged in strides there. And he ran right through to the end. A good competitive race that was. Ethan Aguis, if they're from finish line, uh, finish line club out of Grenada, 
finish and first in this but in this heat heat five of eight again it is still the boys 200 meters and again eaton's time 24.16 seconds 24.16 that represents one two sorry 24.12 24.12 24.12 20, is the correct time so, uh, this represents actually the, the fastest time to date So Geese from finish line, Giovanni Green from Fusion. Keep it off our attention peel to the screen. Um, looking at the bleachers, the main pavilion though. Well, the bleachers, the main pavilion, one would have probably thought. Uh, some are probably most of us thinking by, we guess, into the second half of the day. Well, let's get the lead assignments. So, lane five and six. No one running out of lane five and six. So, the assignments. A Brewster for extreme velocity out of Barbados runs out of lane number one. Burnley. That's Goodrich, occupies two. Richardson for Westerhall. Carmel Joseph for South City Rising Star. And there's Jose Mitchell and Malik Hall for runners and performers out of Barbados, respectively. Who shall it be? Performers from Barbados. There's Westerhall Secondary, the local um, school. Uh, local school. There's Burnley. Where do we stay? Can tell you if this. If if they don't keep you getting getting dizzy, Antoine, if that doesn't happen today, the question is when? It looks as though there were early movements out of lane number one. Yes, it was in lane number one. It seems to be Nathan Cumberbatch from Extreme Velocity. That's a club out of, club out of Barbados. So it's lane one, two, three, four, and seven in this one. Correct. So many clubs, so much excitement. Well, it's official. Um, the he will no longer have anything to do. And he has been red carded. So yes. Nathan Cumberbatch is out. So Nathan Cumberbatch from Extreme Velocity and from Barbados, it is out. We are down to four. We are down to four competitors in this one now. Lanes two, three, four, and seven. So we await four athletes running out of seven, two, three, a bit of a, a little niggle out of lane number four. I mean, not anything, yes. Official saying, settle down, take it easy, calm your nerves. Yeah, we had a bit of rocking and... Yes. And we unsettled the disposition in the, in, in the, at the blocks and started, started block there. They were spoken to. We await. Barnwell runs out of seven for HP. And they're off this time. Early clean break for each and every one of them. Let's see. They have says this race on as as it as it unfolds as they make their way to the hundred the two hundred meters hundred meters mark and they make their way from home. Running out of lane four, uh, but yes, running out of lane four. It is Young Brathred from Sp Sprinters, and he's then going to make an easy 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 meal of this one. I'm um, certainly out of lane two on his outside um, for Mustang. Um, Robertson attempted to um, try to challenge him, uh, but certainly he, he responded appropriately uh, to make it an easy win out of lane number uh, lane number four. Catch me if you can. And then, of course, recognizing that he's done sufficient running through the line. And in second place is Kelson Robertson out of Mustang. So, 
Jeff Wall Bradford. 26 points, 0 4. Kelson Robertson, Mustang. And Trayvon Joseph. So to date, this FL. is really the slowest of the five heats to date. It's 26.04. Continuing, and if you're not at the National Stadium, I think you're missing quite, you are in fact missing quite a bit. Um, session one, day number two, with St. Tad Games inside of the Karate James Athletics Stadium. Um, a lot of athletes, Antoine, from the neighboring islands, and from the neighboring islands, and it's even far up, far up north that they have come. Yes, we, we do have a contingent from British Virgin Island here. So. And then, then the NACAC representative from Puerto Rico and the U.S. And Carrie continues to, um, that's Carrie Hawkins. Uh, she continues to lead, lead the pack in the HEP. So Carrie Hawkins from the United States. Shania Burns from the United States is in second. And Erin Marsh from the United States is in third position. One, two, three for the U.S. We're keeping our eyes peeled as we get ready for this one. Running out of lane at number one, Extreme Velocity. Extreme Velocity is there. So too is Malik Hall from Performers in from Barbados. So, Extreme Velocity, Barbados, Performers, Performers, Barbados. As they peel away, making their way around. But out in the middle of the pack, you want to keep your eyes on him. He is pouring away. But on the outside of lane number one, it is Brewster from Extreme Velocity. Um, South City Rising Star is clawing back um, just as about they get into the finish, the finish line. Um, um, Brewster from Extreme Velocity from Barbados um, was mortal away quite early out there in lane number one. Um, but there you see young Kamal Joseph from South City Rising Star holding through and we have nipped him just nipped him at the line yeah unofficially we wait it seems to be joseph at on the line on the line yes so it is official come on joseph at uh, 24 seconds flat and um, brewster um, out of extreme velocity from barbados is in second place and omarion richardson for wester hall secondary um malik hall out of performance from barbados takes up fourth fort while Glenroy Batiste from St. Vincent representing HB is in the fifth position. One of the most competitive, one of the more competitive heats so far, this sixth heat, and so it is no surprising that they, this is actually the best time to date, 24 seconds flat for the winner in this one. Let's take the next flight of boys, Just running out of lanes, one to, one to seven. Let me get ready give you the assignments, lane assignments as they come, with the exception of lane number eight. So on the outside, for track blazers, Christian Lessie. Um, Kishon Giles runs for HP out of St. Vincent in the s out of lane number two. Track blazers is represented by Andre Fletcher in three. Keon George represents Altitude out of lane number four. Um, Keon Jackasal, just Keon, and then you have Keon Jackasal for Fusion. Sass is represented there by Aviel Peer, running out of lane six. Sean Johnson for HP on the St. Vincent. And Alex James for Bolt. Well, right, the last of the lane assignments is in fact lane seven, um, which is Sean Johnson. So, so there's no lane eight, and then there's no lane six. So there's Johnson, Jackasal, George, Fletcher, Charles, Lessie. We must say that the, the officiating crew have really done an ex excellent job of keeping everything in, in, in check. Very smooth, very smooth. The very, flow, very smooth. The flow of the events is, is, is quite commendable. So, as they go down to the blocks, as I think they re reconsider. Runners, SAS, South City Rising Star.
track blazes, altitude, fusion. Again. A whole lot of excitement. Another Jetties. fault, faulty start. No, nothing is charged to the athlete. Uh, so, so it's another faulty start as they get things together. Um, might have put a bit of goat mount there. <laughs> so that's heat number seven off eight. Seven for eight. And they're back on the status orders. The spare from HP, George, Fletcher, Charles. And they're off this time. Clean, even stats for all of the athletes. Track Blazers, Fusion, SAS. Track Blazer is in there. In the middle of the plaque, making motion from SAS. It is Aviel Peer. He's stretched on the outside for. Um, Jack Asal from Fusion, but on his outside, trail bla tra track blazers, Andre Fletcher. Uh, let's see, as they get into the finish line, it is in fact young Jack Asal um, from Fusion that nips it on the line. I mean, track blazers, they challenged for a while, so too did Key and George from Altitude, but ultimately it was young Jack Asal. This is Jack Assel. Jack Assel from Fusion from and Fusion. PBC. From Fusion. And uh, it's in a close second is Andrew Fletcher. So it's all three athletes. They're pretty close. Yeah. Keon Jack Assel, 25.27 seconds. 25.27. Andre Fletcher, St. David's, Chuck Blazers, 25.38. And Keon George from Altitude. 25.50 seconds. Modest time. Um, Indeed. And you have um, Kishon Charles from HP St. Vincent and Sean Johnson also from HP in St. Vincent occupying position f four and five. And to note that the winners, the winners died down quite considerably. In fact, it's, it's negative 0.9 right now for that last race. And this is, in fact, the final flight for the boys' 200 meters dash. Again, the officials ensuring that everything is done in order according to their prescriptions. The last of the 200 meters in the on. We look at... There's no lane one. So it's two, three, four, and five. A run under two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, and five. That's the order. You have Nicholas Francis from HP, Christoph Kalis from SAS, Kenaz Bowen from SAS, and Nathaniel Douglas from Fusion. That's your lane assignment for the next event. Francis, Kalis, Bowen, Douglas, representing HP from St. Vincent, SAS, SAS, and Fusion. In that order. Well, what we're looking at the screen, we are seeing South City Rising Stars in lane five. So they've done some serious. At least 600. Yes. South City Rising Stars. That uniform is, yes, that's in fact, yes, from South City Rising Stars. And in fact, he's in lane eight. So they are going to, they are going to put him where he's supposed to be in lane eight. That's Daniel Mark. Wow. Hmm. And Fusion is in lane five. Mark from South City Rising Stars in lane eight. Just a bit of adjustments here to get the lanes, to get the lanes correct. But it's in fact South City Rising Stars out of eight. Fusion runs out of five. SAS out of three. HP from St. Vincent out of Number two. I am still uh, going to keep my eyes on lane number three. Christoph Kalist. I'm going to keep my eyes on him. So it's Daniel out of lane eight. Running out of lane three for, for Sass is Christoph. Christoph Kelis, lane number two, it's Nicholas Francis. So, and Fusion 
Nathaniel Douglas. As the cradle into the status blocks. Tense moments indeed. And they are officially off. Who is it going to be in the last of this series of events? HP motoring out of lane number two. Um, Sass is there in the end of, of Kelly's. So too is Nathaniel Douglas for um, Fusion. But it's an easy, easy, literally a little bit too easy for Christoph Kelly sort of out of lane number three. And for Sass, Nathaniel Douglas taking the second place. I think for well, most of us who've seen Christoph, I mean, during the season. Not surprising. Not surprising at all. It's not a stroll, but it's pretty close to a stroll in this one. Pretty close to a stroll. And I guess as we look at the replay, and he seems just so relaxed. You look at the difference in their styles. Our fusion seems a bit more labored, pumping as he, he heads into, uh, into the tape. Uh, but Christoph just seems to always seem to have, seem to have this relaxed and, uh, what, do you, affair. what do you know? Unsurprisingly, the, it, this is the best time for the day. 23.52. 23.52 from uh, Christoph Kelly from SAS. Natanya Douglas from Fusion Athletics, 24.35. Daniel Mark from South City Writer Stars, 25.61. And Nicholas Francis from HP out of St. Vincent, 26.95. Your assignments, your positions for that event. Up next would be the 200 meters under 20. Under 20 girls and then under 20 boys. 200 meters under 20 girls and then that will be followed by the 200 meters under 20 boys. Then the 200 meters for men, open and international. Well, the next three sets of events on the track. We saw her yesterday in... The one we saw her in the two, we saw her um, with Shanti Augustine. It, that's how she performs now. It is Phoenix that's going to be occupied running out of lane number four as the Phoenix Track Club out of, out of Antigua. And so we give you the full lineup. Running out of lane number six for Concord. And Concord out of Trinidad and Tobago. So it is Trinidad and Tobago. There is Antigua. Is also running out of lane number two. That's Aliyah Gihari, and she is, she's, she's no chicken by any stretch of the imagination. From Jack Blazers, and we have the performers out of Barbados in lane number one. Get Harry. Uh, there's an there's no there's no representation in lane three. There's a representation. As a lane two, that lane is two. actually. That's for HP. HP. So, in fact, if you look at the lineup, it's performance from, it is Barbados, Guyana, Guy Barbados, sorry, um, St. Vincent, Antigua, and Trinidad. Full international cast of four ladies. Concord, Phoenix, HP, on the 20 girls. Performers. I'll be particularly interested to see how. And this is the first of two heats. We have two heats in this one. Event number 55. Event number 55. We await. See how this one pans out. McLean, Lane, Dowden. And they are off clean start. It is Bishop out of lane at number six for Concord from Trinidad. Also in the mix for Phoenix. Uh, but it's in the middle of the, of, of, of the track. The speed star out of Phoenix Track Club from Antigua. As uh, literally having herself a really, really quiet storm, if you ask me, as she heads down the middle. Nice, steady, upright. Um, motion as she heads into the tape it is Phoenix from Phoenix Track Club it is Dowden out of Antigua and on the outside uh, representing um, performers it is Tawana McLean um, from Barbados it's, so it's Dowd from Antigua and Barbuda good easy run 
I don't, there, there, was no, there was no disappointment in no. it. I mean, we saw her yesterday. We did highlight that she certainly is one um, of the outstanding performers from day one. And she continues to do so as we make her way into, into day two. Very controlled. Very controlled. So down from um, Phoenix Track Club from Antigua, she won that one quite handsomely. 25.15 is the time recorded here for the, the winner as we get ready for heat number two. It's two of two. I think by now we've gotten used to when they line up. We await to see which lanes are in fact occupied and just ignore our, our score sheets, our starting sheets until they assume you see them in the blocks and then you rearrange them. But again, where is Shanti? Shanti is in there in lane number five for MVP. Also, another speed star is in there from the British Virgin Islands, um, Kayleen Lybird, and she is a rocket. She is a rocket, and she certainly is going to challenge, if you ask me, Shanti in this one. Also in there from Extreme Velocity. Um, out of Barbados, it is Ryan Price. She isn't isn't there. I see representing finish line, Ziana Bean. So we'll look for the full casting. Because I'm seeing somebody out there in lane number seven. Should be Kamisha Dominic from Track Blazers. Yes. So, in fact, she's now into full view. And eight. Neobi Holder from Extreme Velocity is also there. So, Neobi Holder from Extreme Velocity, Kibisha Dominic from Chat Blazer, Shante August. There is a. Ma I'm not seeing right. So, there's nobody actually in, in, in lane six. Shante Augustine runs out of five. Library from the British Virgin Islands occupies lane number four. Extreme Velocity out of Barbados. Ryan Price also in there. And we have Finish Line is in there as well, as well as. Um, VTC is also in the dance from Grenada. So it's almost a full suite with the exception of lane 6 we uh, 1 to 8. I'm going to keep my eyes on Lybird and Augustine from in lanes 4 and 5. Lane 4, lane 5 and looking for lane 2. Let's see how they attack this one. Uh, we're going to see, uh, and certainly we know that our speedster from PTC is waiting to see she has to get another showdown with Shante. Shante Augustine, Lybird from the British Virgin Islands, as they await. And they're off clean start by all. Let's see who takes up the early stagger. Shante Augustine is in the middle of the park, but she's chased by Lybird out of the British Virgin Islands. We're keeping our eyes on the middle. Shante Augustine in lane, in lane five. Um, it, but she's been pressured on the outside. Really, really pressured on the outside uh, by Lybird. But it's really motoring in onto lane number seven. It's Kamisha Dominic from lane number seven. Track blazers. Never, track blazers. Never count out a track blazer. A blazers. strong finish indeed. We knew we said to you that Shante was going to be pressured um, from Lybird out of the British Virgin Islands. And I mean, and it, this, we couldn't have scripted, it couldn't have been scripted better. Lybird Day 101 representing the Virgin Islands. Shante in the red for MVP, but coming in on the inside like a late night freight train and push into the line to take second place. It was Kamisha Dominic from Chuck Blazers and we look at the official times. 24.56. Um, 24.56. Um, so the first three finishers in this one would have, would have bettered the winning time in the first seat. Indeed, and that, did, that was expected to be, a, this one was expected to be a much faster one. Library from the British Virgin Islands, 24.56. Kamisha Dominic from St. David Fitz Track Blazers in second. In second. And now we are on to the boys. On the 20, on the 20 boys, this is, a, this is a fairly large field here. We have seven, seven. We have seven heats in this one. Some 54, 54 at least. Mm, brace yourself. We're going to brace ourselves for this one. 
And, and the only good thing though, and to end up with these large packs, we figured out now how to make our work easier. You know, just allow them to settle in the blocks. Forget our start sheets, allow them to settle in the blocks. And then we will go through the process of, of elimination. Because in most of them, they are athletes. Right, who are we seeing so far? As we look at it, I see we see Hussein Jabber for MVP out of lane at number seven. He's there. Out of lane number two, there's Dejon Collis for Idat out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Also expected to be on field, but let's just confirm who is in fact. Well, we know that lane five, if it stands still, should be empty. That's because the Ketitians did not make it. So we are doing seven. You're Hussein Jabba in seven. Two. And lane number six. So I shall let's look at lane four. He did quite well, in fact, in the 100 meter. Well, Beckles. I mean, Beckles is a. He is going to put them under pressure quite early. We know, we know that from seeing him yesterday. So that's Beckles out of extreme velocity from Barbados. Yes, he has a PB in this, in this event here of 21.27. So we should see some speed in this one. He's going to put them under pressure quite early. The question is whether or not they're able to match him. Hmm. So there's Dejon the Collins for it that out of running out of lane two. And Mascal Beckles, extreme velocity from Barbados. Yes, Beckles did represent Barbados at a Carifta. Indeed. Um, there's Renard of Lane 6. Um, there's Carrington for oh, extreme velocity again out of Barbados. And Jabbar out of Lane 7, representing MPP. We're going to look for Beckles to put them under pressure quite early. Operating out of lane number four. And Hussein Jabba. Don't discount Hussein Jabba. Don't discount them. And they're off. Clean start. No jitters. Let's see who makes up the early stagger. Jabba is moving well on the outside. But so too is Carrington on the inside from extreme velocity. But we did say to you, we'll look at him in the middle of the pack from extreme velocity out of Barbados. It is Maskell Beckles. Literally running away, tearing away the field. And we, we said it. We called it. True to form. True to form that he was indeed going to put them under pressure. Uh, the Barbadian, he came and said that we saw him. Um, and literally, he's, he's in, the, in fact the right club. And this is what velocity. And this is what you want to see from a Carifta representative. Solid delivery. And there was not much of a competition for, from the rest of the pack. Um, Jabba was down there in lane number, number seven. Carrington tried in lane number six. And so too... Um, did Collins in lane number number two, but not much of it. He wasn't going to be having much of it at all, as we legs heavily strapped. Let's see what time he would put up here in this 200 meters on the 20 men, as we await the official times. And the win for that last race was exactly 2.0. Our game's record, um, just to keep in mind, it's 21.20. And that was set in 2022 by uh, Dave Vonrick. Mac. I'm still trying to determine. How the, I can't, I, it can't be that we try to determine who won the race. Uh, well, it must have been some, it must be some, some of the reasons, because in fact, we know all we waited for is the times, though. Yeah. But that previous race was, in fact, won quite handsomely by Mask. A Manny Maskell Beckles out of extreme velocity in Barbados. So we're on to heat number two. With, uh, we will endeavor to get a time for you not in that first heat uh, shortly. But as of now, we are into heat number two. Number, and remember, it's two of seven. Heat number two. We are written of one, two, three, four, five. It's scratched. And that's Reginald Spencer from Performance in Barbados. Six. Is also scratched. 
maximizing potential. They also scratched. There is an athlete in lane seven. We're just waiting for my thank you. So this is in fact should be the lineup as it is, as the official take charge of the event. This Ronaldinho. He ain't kicking nothing this evening, but he's running. Ronaldinho Solomon out of for HP. Runs out of one. Elisha Williams from Track Blazers. And he runs. must be the odds and favorite in this one. <laughs> out, out of two. There's Joshua Sylvester. He's no fly by night. No fly he by night. He is in lane number three for Saz. Out of um, Chat. For Chat, out of St. Vincent. There's Kyle Lawrence. And running on the outside for HP is the Leroy Gloucester. Your lean assignments, Solomon, Williams, Sylvester, Lawrence, Gloucester for the next event on the track. It's the boys 200 meters in the under 20 category. We expect keen competition from lanes two, three, and, and four. four. Two, three, and four. So that's Elijah that's Williams from Track Blazers, Josh Sylvester from SAS, and Kyle Lawrence from Chats. Chats. That's a a club out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Nice overcast day. It's kind of day wishing that I was outside. It's a, it's a cool it's I a wonder breeze. if Blondella wants me to go outside and do anything. I should ask him. Yeah, I need a little sunlight. <laughs> Chatoya from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let's see. Gloucester, Lawrence, Sylvester, Williams, Solomon, they up and they are running. Early motions there out of lane seven from Gloucester. He's doing that, making it early. We coming through in the middle. There is also Kyle Lawrence. Um, Kyle Lawrence in the middle of the pack, but Williams is on the outside. It is Williams in lane two. Still, Kyle for chat in lane number four. And the rest is history um, for Joshim Sylvester. For Joshim Sylvester. Well, it's, it's Kyle Lawrence from Chatoa. Yeah. From St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, again, lanes two, three, and four, as we had predicted. That's but where the competition was going to come from. Maybe we expecting a bit more from Sylvester at uh, Lawrence had the goods right there. Well, so officially. It's Kyle Lawrence from Chatoya out of St. Vincent. 21.59 is the time. Elisha Williams, our character boy, in a time from St. Davis Track Blazer, 21.64. And Joshim Sylvester from SAS, 22.76. Gloucester and S Solomon representing H. Peter St. Vincent, 23.20 and 24.54, respectively. So the winning time in this one, 21.59. Good time. Pretty decent time. We're pushing along as we make our way into the, into the afternoon. It is... So we still continue with the boys under 20. It's an extensive field. It's it is, in fact. Seven heats, and we add out the heat number three. A very extensive field. Heat number three. Heat number three, again, reminding you, is coming to be coming to you live from the Karani James Athletic Stadium on the inside downtown St. George. It is Whitson Tides, Whitson Tides 2023, and the excitement continues to, to heighten. From all indications, we are operating from lanes one to seven. Well, well, with the exception of six, no, from lane one to seven. From lanes one to seven, we give you the lane assignment. Running out of lane number number one.
Well, they're off, they're off and running. South City Rising success is in the mix. We continue to watch them. So too is Concord as they make home for the band. Who is it going to be? They are motoring away. This one did promise to be a cracker. We're keeping our eyes on lane number six. Coming out of lane number six is Pope. Sass is also in there. But it's an easy, easy stepping up. That's really as easy as up on it for Concord out of lane at number five. That's Joseph Pope. Joseph Pope for Concord out of Trinidad and, to, uh, and Tobago. And if we continue like this, if they continue like this, Well, let us keep her, keep her eyes on the middle. Sass is on the outside. South City Rising Star on the inside. Well, you know, we, you, you, you look at the list and every time you... Sorry, it's Brian Isaac, the winner in this one. Hmm. Brian Isaac from Sass. Uh, 21.99. I think I'm looking at a different list. Okay, for those of you that is that's on the outside, if you the consideration that you you want to make your way down, I know some people are thinking Maybe where I am, some parts of the island seems a bit a bit overcast. Uh, but we see line lining up for action. There's a young t Telemac. Telemac is, is actually in there. We're going to we'll give you the full lane assignments in just a bit. A lot of movements in the background. Athletes moving through and four to get their bits and pieces sorted out. We saw an excellent run yesterday between AJ Fulham and Telemac, who is in fact lined up. Who's lined up for this next event? There is action out of lean number one. There's runners, track blazers. Extreme velocity, velocity and HP, and they're off. It's, it's official. Well, as you, we can well assume, we know watching on the lane, it is Bobby Telemac himself that is really on a hustle with this one, being pressured on the outside uh, by the man there from Extreme Velocity. Extreme Velocity track blazer. But it's Bobby, the man Telemac, as he eases up on the line um, for a victory there, running out of um, lane. But you want to have lane num, num, number six. Um, I'm not sure. Seen him on the ground. He's grimacing. What, what's it that's happening there? Let's just keep our eyes. So we're looking at the athlete from Extreme Velocity. That's a Mary Knight that's pressuring him out of lean, out of lean number four. Knight in lane number four. Um, Telemac in lane number six. And coming through comfortably to stop the clock at 21. Point eight four, a Mary Knight from Barbados. That's Extreme Velocity Track Club, twenty two point zero four. Donnell Hines, twenty five point three eight, and Michael Jordan from HP. Completing that that round there for you. So it's an easy, easy win for for Telemac. You like you like what you saw, Antoine. Yes, yeah, so look, r rather, um, it's, it's very competitive race uh, until about, I would say, 90 meters. Uh, until the, the last 10 or so meters that Telemac actually had it. Uh, so he eased up a bit, but it was quite competitive right throughout. 
We go through the next fight of boys. It's the 200 minutes dash. We look at heat six of seven. And action coming out from lanes one, two, three, four, five, and out of the seven lanes. The boys 200 meters and certainly we're going to keep our eyes in the middle of the track to see what's coming out of Samuel Green for Fusion in the middle. So too from performance in Barbados, um, Simon John and Micah Clark from Extreme Velocity. So we're looking at the lineup. Out of lane number one for Karikou Athletics Club and Jaheem Tika Jaden Phillip from MVP, Tika from from M from MVP, Knights from Extreme Velocity in Barbados, Mitchell from Finish Line in Grenada. Actually, no, I'm giving that all up. This Tika from Karikou and Letters Club, Philip Jaden Phillip as from MVP, and we saw him yesterday in in action. Joshua Greenwich from Bolts, Samuel Green Fusion, Simon John from Performance in Barbados. Micaiah Clark from Extreme Velocity in Barbados, Ricardo Williams from HP, and Israel out of Trinidad. Your lane assignments for the next event on the track. Tika, Philip Greenwich, Green, John, Clark, Williams, and they are off, off and running. Ricardo out of HP is running quite nicely. So to in the middle of, of the pack from Fusion is Samuel Green on the outside, running in lane number two. Nice and steady is Jaden Phillip. And remember him yesterday where, when he put on a special, uh, um, put on a special, another clinical run from him. Um, Jaden very, very Phillip, easy. Very, very easy. easy run. And followed by Samuel Green from Fusion out of lane number four. Um, he was a man yesterday what, that pulled off what some say was a disappointment. In fact, um, this is a most controlled run by, by Jaden here. He ran for first, first place. Um, Samuel Green ran for second place. Um, Ricardo Williams from HP of St. Vincent, 22.48. Third performer in the person of Simon John. Stop the clock at 22.54. And that's a performance out of Barbados. Um, Evel, that's pretty good. 21.59 with, with 20 meters ago. He was, he was, he he was, was finished. Already, he was, he was finished running. Uh, so t at 21.49, uh, this is the best for the day in the 200 meters on the 20 boys. We look forward while well, we wait for this heat, but certainly we look forward with beated breath, childlike an anticipation for the finals later in the evening. And this is in fact should be is in fact the final heat in this flight. Conquered is in there out of Trinidad, exceed out of Bob from St. Vincent. Altitude, Mustang from St. Vincent is there. It that from St. Vincent is always there. Uh, but let's we wait to see the official positioning on the field. And um, given that a number of lanes on the field are obviously empty. So we'll confirm that they're running yes out of lane one. That's Jeremiah Dixon. Lane two is out of commission. Lane two is out of commission. Sasses, Devontae Joseph runs out of he runs out of three. And running out of four for MVP. Uh, looks as as we take and Peter King. For South City Rising Star. Emilio Bishop runs out of five. Richie Williams for altitude. Runs out of six. 
running out of lanes. So lanes. Well, so running out of lane number six is Richie Williams for altitude. Romario Horn for Mustang is nestled in lane number seven. And the lane that's for Mustang. And Keo Davis for Idat from St. Vincent occupies lane number eight. This actually should be a very competitive race. This, but even Stevens with most of the athletes in this one, uh, the bet is on Tasia Peterkin or Emilio Bishop or Mario Horn, Keo Davis. But this, this, is, this is going to be competitive right to the end. We're going to keep our eyes peeled to a screen. You blink, you miss it. 200 meters. Dixon, Joseph, Bishop, Williams, Horn, Davis. Who makes up the early starter? Let's see. The, moving not quite nicely to lane number eight. It is Ida, but in the Ida, out of St. Vincent, but in the middle of the pack. We see the boys out of South City, Rising Stars, Emilio Bishop. He's being pushed. But running on the outside, moving quite nicely out of lane number eight. In fact, it is Keo Davis. Keo Davis. Out of it that in St. Vincent. Yeah, unsurprising, actually. Out of St. Vincent. Uh, that came away with the victory in this final one. Um, it's, that's, that's not surprising. Keo was here with the, with the KFC release. And uh, he... Is an under 17 Carifta medalist in both the 200 and 100. So that's not surprising. As I say, there was no walk in the park for the rest of anybody else. Keo De Davis from Idat out of St. Vincent. 21.53. 21.53. Tegan Peterkin, MVP, 21.91. And Emilio Bishop from South City Rising Star, 22.31. Jeremiah Dixon from Concord out of Trinidad, 22.57. Devonta Jordan from SAS. And the rest of the field, it goes down um, 23.04 for um, Williams. Romario Horn from St. Vincent as Mustang, 23.54. So that was the... So that, this one went on, for, in, on form in, in Keo Davis. Uh, so we had three Carifta athletes in this one. We had Davis, Bishop, and... Peter Kim. We sh well, we send you down now to the mes medal presentation ceremony that is just about to begin. Event 45, boys long jump under 17. Javelin <laughs> throw under 17. Bronze medalist, Naomi Jones. Track blazers, 28.07 meters. Silver medalist, Simone Batiste. Track blazers, 29.40 meters. And your gold medalist, Naya Jules, St. Lucia, 40.95 meters. Now, boys, long jump under 17, event 45. Bronze medalist Tyreek Vincent, Concord, 6.16 meters. Silver medalist Jaden Dowridge, high performers, 6.30 meters. And your gold medalist Jaber Kato, Exceed. 6.49 meters. Event 46, girls high jump under 17. 
Presenting your bronze medalist, Akira Maureen, Track Blazers. One point five two meters. Silver medalist Alika Smith Roses, one point five eight meters. Your gold medalist Tanique Vincent representing Concord, one point six four meters. This is the end of this medal presentation. Thank you very much, Mr. Kurt Felix, Olympian in the Decathlon event. And the rest of the Eastern Caribbean, the second and final day of the Whitsuntide Games right here at the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. We'll be heading back to the track in just a moment, wherever you are. Thank you so much for being part of the experience. And uh, welcome back on, on the track. The next event would be the men. Men 200 meters open and international. Men 200 meters open and international. This is heat number one. Heat number one of Five. Jordan Pope, Lane One, Concord, Jaheem Give Sandy, Extreme, Ryden Pete, St. Kitts, not there. Jordan, Junior Charles, Ace, not there, they're off. It's a good start. Is it 200 meters open international? Heat one of five. As they make their way around the Staga, look at Lane Four. Lane Four is Junior Charles, Ace, One. Let's see what is going to happen. But Junior seemed to be um, taking charge of this race. He's motoring along, um, taking the final bend in this 200 meters. He's Junior Charles. And he seemed to have um, come through with it. Um, it looks like Junior. And I want to believe, let's see what the time would say. So it's Junior out of lane number four. They're coming fast and furious, um, Antoine. It's 22.21 for Junior Charles in this one. Uh, Jordan Pope uh, was second from Concord. And Jaheem Grave Sandy. 22.21. Hit two, lane one. Omari Lewis, Concord Athletic. Khalik Abdullah, MAP out of Trinidad, both out of Trinidad. Matthew Graham, UTT, Akeem Stewart of Guyana, in lane number four. Akini Slater, high performance, out of St. Vincent, uh, in lane number five. Christine Cummins, extreme velocity, out of St. Vincent. And Veron Eiffel, extreme velocity, out of St. Vincent also. Let's see if there are any of those lanes that have DNSs uh, at this time. So there they are, getting ready. Lane number three, that would be Khalik Abdullah of MAP of Trinidad. Lane number five, you have Akini Stewart, high, perf high performance. St. Vincent, Christine. Christine Cummins, extreme velocity, and Veron Eiffel. Both of them are there. So seven and eight, extreme velocity, extreme velocity. That's what we have here. The colors look slightly different, um, Bernard. Yeah, we would probably have to wait and see if, in fact, there are some tweaking here. 
what we can report is Kali Abdullah in lane four, UTT in Matthew, Matthew Graham, that's out of Trinidad and Tobago, the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, number four seems to be a scratch. Let's confirm. But lanes two and three, they are failed. Lanes, yes, lanes lane four two is a scratch. Lane four is a scratch, yes. So Guyana is not there. Both athletes from Trinidad are in. Omari Lewis and Kalik Abdullah, they are in. Lane number five, slate of high performance. He is there. Six, he's saying extreme velocity, Kirsten Cummins and Veron Ifield of extreme velocity. That's what seven and eight is saying. But we have six athletes in this heat. Heat two of five. And they're off. It's a good, clean break for the athletes as they go around the back bend. Um, they're running pretty well. Both athletes from Trinidad seem to be doing well. That is Abdullah. Um, he has turned the bend and in the lead. So it's Abdullah um, in front of his friend. Abdullah is now coming under pressure from the athlete from lane number seven. And that is extreme velocity. Veron Ifield, who seemed to have nipped it at the end. Um, Bernard. Yes, I probably just need to confirm the participants in this one. Yeah, there's seems to be some mixing and matching. So we, we would confirm the second heat of the actual participants. And then the winner, the winner in this heat is from lane seven. And we have it's everything. Shavin Charles. Charles of Grenada. Is that Grenada? Yes. yes. It's and Shavin Charles. So we have some... Just a bit of issues here. Um, not so sure what's happening. But we have a Kinney Slate and we have Vera Nifield, that's for sure. Um, so unless there was some chopping and changing. Yes. yes. That's, so a Kinney Slater from high performance. That would be in second place there. Um, of course, when those are not, the, um, the information is not um, quick incoming, you may have those happening. So uh, we want you to excuse us just, just a little bit, viewing public. Um, sometimes those things happen, and we just want you to understand. So at the end, we can, when we give you the results, it's as accurate as it's possible. But the results at the end will say if we made an error through um, no fault of ours, or maybe it's an honest fault. Um, so we just want to let you know that. Bear with us. Um, we're trying the best we can with the information that we have. Heat number three. It's, it's, and again, it's three or five. It's the men 200 meters open and international. So, event number 58. So it should be Ronaldo Williams, South City Rising Stars, Zimri Stevenson Exceed, Zimali Felix Ace 1, Troy Mason Ace 1, and Adame Peters of Ace also. And then lane number six, Delian Richardson, UNA, and Nikili Lewis, Concord, out of Trinidad. That's what it should be. Um, we're not so sure if there's been any chopping and changing, but we can recognize that we have at least one of the ace um, in there. It should be three or ace athletes. And yes, we can see one, two. Um, yes. Lanes one and two is out. Lane three. Four, five, six, and seven. So it seems as if three athletes from ACE are there. Um, and then we have Delian Richardson of UNA and Nikili Lewis of Concord. That's a lineup. It's 200 meters open and international. It's a clean start, and they're making their way wrong. They bend. Let's see what is going to happen. The three athletes from Ace, as well as an athlete from UNA, Delhi, and Richardson, they seem to be making the running. So they all almost blanketed going down the, the straight. 
Um, the athlete, of course, in lane number five, that seemed to be Adam Peters. He seemed to have taken it um, from the other two athletes from Ace. Um, seemed to have run a very strong race, and um, he's smiling. I think he's satisfied with his day's output. <laughs> so it looked like Peters. Yes. <laughs> Peters from Ace in the winning, with a winning position there. Yep. We await the official results. He just stormed past the other two athletes from Ace with the last 40 meters to run and took a peek up <laughs> behind. The, I, I guess it's friendly banter. They're all from the same club. Right, so Raheem McCallum. Rahim McCallum. Rahim McCallum from Stallions. And so the Rahim McCallum, so he's not an ace, 21.28 uh, seconds. It's a pretty good time. Very good time. And in second position is Cyrus Charles. S Cyrus Charles in second position. And... Uh, Based on our listing here, it's not accurate, so we'll give you the end results um, rather than rather than call as we see it. Yeah, I think that's about um, the best that we can do with the fact that maybe many athletes have dropped out and they've decided to fill lanes here and there, um, chopping and changing. That happens every day, so it's not that we're angry over it at all. It's, we understand what's happening, but we just crave your understanding also the viewing public as we try to bring you the best coverage and the best picture that we can paint of what's happening here at the Whitsuntide Games 2023 down at the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. I'm sure you must have gotten the results of Kirani's last 400 meter race. Yes, he, he, had, a, he had an interesting second place. In fact, um, the winner in that race was a, a, a Jamaican athlete. And it has been a while that we have had a 400-meter runner from Jamaica off that, that class or distinction. So it makes for quite an interesting um, world championship. That's to come. for sure. Um, I, I saw the race, um, and Kirani executed for the first 75% uh, of the – as a matter of fact, the first 320, 25 meters, he looked fairly, very comfortable. But that athlete from Jamaica on the outside, um, I think deep down he just wanted to win. And so <laughs> while Kirani probably wasn't anticipating the pressure he was going to come under, he just went past him with the last um, 15, 10, 15 meters to go and won at a very good time, 44 plus, which was his best time that he ever did based on the results that I got. Um, Kirani also did 44 um, fairly low. But... Again, Kirani, the experience that he has, he doesn't allow those to bother him at all. Okay, so we are, we are down to heat number four. Heat number four. And I would not want to call out because McCallman, Rahim McCallman of Stallions, is listed in this one. Yeah. But he ran the previous heat. So heat number four. We have five athletes in this one. We can see one from Ace, one from Excel, um, High Performance, Concord, and I'm figuring out athlete 146 in lane number seven. So this is your lineup taking the mark and getting ready for the, the beginning of the Hit four or five prelims, um, 200 meter. The weather has really been beautiful today as they're off. A very good, clean start. And let's see what is going to happen. The athlete in lane number two seemed to be really doing, trying to do his best to take the staggers first. He cannot take it, but that looks like the athlete from Ace that's in front. That seems to be Troy Mason, um, followed by the athlete from, that looks like an athlete from high performance. Um, 
Um, but again, we await the official results, but this is an athlete from Ace, and I wouldn't be surprised if it is Mason. So pretty smooth running. Um, got nice balance in the, the upper body, upper body in the right position, knees high, and cruised the, the last 20 or so meters. Yeah, he, he looks, in this one. yes, it's Troy Mason. So it is Troy Mason from Ace. And 21.16 seconds. That's a pretty good time, but the wind, the wind is... Yes, we have good. a mini hurricane in the back of him, 4.1 meters per second. Yes, yes. Nonetheless, he did a very good time. So Troy Mason. 21.16. I think you will be proud of the time nonetheless. So we'll be down to... So that was heat number four. And it would seem as if this would be the end of the hits for the, the 200 meters um, Open International. Um, I see the next... So what would have happened? Um, they, they would have collapsed uh, one or two heats. Uh, yeah. At least from one or two heats. That's why we had differences in heat number three. So they're going to be going into some relay, um, mixed relays. Um, those are coming up in a short while. That's what came up on the board. And let's see what will happen. That should be event 59 coming up. So next on the track could be the mixed relays on the 11, 4 by 100 meters on the 11. And, it's, and simultaneously, we should have the women's triple jump open and international, the boys on the 17 shot put. And the other field events, the women, the women's discuss open and international. All of these should be happening now. As we get the results of the field events that would have taken place today, and if possible, updates of what's happening now, we will bring them to you. Just an update while we get ready for event 59, the mixed relay, an update on the NACAC heptathlon combined event that has been taking place simultaneously with the athletics of Whitsuntide Games. Yesterday, we had um, Shari Hawkins of the United States leading um, um, in the HEP, and after six events, um, she's still in the lead. And uh, yesterday, she was leading by about 10 points from the Shana Burns of the United States. Today, she's been doing extremely well. As a matter of fact, she's done much better. She has a lead of just around 100 um, points from Shana Burns of the United States. So it's, she's ahead by a, almost 80 points. I think she'd have to do really badly to stumble and allow Burns to catch her. So at present, in first position in the heptathlon is Shari Hawkins of the United States, 5,355 points, followed by Shana Burns of the United States, 5,272 points, Erin Marsh of the United States, 5,158 points, Elizabeth Felix of Puerto Rico, 5,032 points, and Jomo Cologne Camona of Puerto Rico, 4,538 points. So Shari Hawkins seemed to be on her way to um, winning the NACAC heptathlon combined event um, with only the 800 meters to go. When, she, when Hawkins ran the 100 meters, she did it in 13.14 which actually was the best um, time of the five athletes. In the high jump, she did 1.76. Erin um, Marsh um, did a higher jump. In the high jump, she did 1.79. In the short put, Shana Burns of the United States, she threw 14.54 meters, and she was just ahead of Hawkins of the United States, 13.66 meters, and that was actually what took place yesterday. Uh, in today's 200 meters, um, Hawkins did 
the fastest time of 23.84 um, um, minutes, um, seconds, sorry. Um, that was the time that she did, which was actually the best time of the 200 meters. So she would have done the best times in the 100 and 200 meters, showing her strength in the sprint. In the long jump, um, Alice Beth Felix of Puerto Rico, she had the longest jump of 6.42 meters. And um, Burns of the United States, 6.15 in second and Hawkins of the United States, 6.04. In the javelin throw, um, Hawkins, again, had the best throw in the javelin of 41.46 meters, and she was followed closely by Burns, who seemed to be also a good thrower, of 40.12 meters. So with only the 800 meters to run for the Women's Hep NACA Heptathlon Combined Event Competition, it would take a miracle for Burns to catch Shari Hawkins. Yeah. So it is the 800 meters this afternoon at 5 p.m. We will get a chance to see. Um, Hawkins seemed to be, love running because she did well in the 100 and the 200. So <laughs> let's see how well she can do in the two laps around the track, the, the 800 meters. So. Hawkins has done extremely well, and I'm sure she wants that because th this would um, qualify her for um, bigger competitions in the future. In the boys' long jump, let me just allow you to catch up on some results quickly. In the boys' long jump, that's event number 45, under 17. It was Java Keto of Exceed out of St. Vincent, 6.49 meters. A pretty good jump for an under 17. Um, second base, Jaden Dorich of Performers out of Barbados, 6.30. And Tyreek Vincent of Concord, 6.16. So um, the top three positions went outside of Grenada. Um, if we would want to say it that way, um, we would have loved to see one of my colleague Grenadian athletes splitting those or even winning. But 6.49 is nothing to sniff at, and we want to... Um, give a big up um, to Jaiva Kato of Exceed from St. Vincent. In the girls' high jump on the 17, let me also give you the results. 1.64 meters, Tinik Vincent of Concord. Um, Alika Smith of Roses, out of St. Vincent also. Roses out of St. Vincent um, should be 1.58 and Akira Moraine of Track Blazers taking the third place with 1.52 meters. So that's the girls' high jump on the 17th event number 46. In the girls' javelin through on the 17, um, you had out of St. Lucia, Naya Jews, 40.95, and Track Blazers, um, Simone Batiste and Naomi Jones taking silver and bronze. Those were some results that you probably should be up to date with as we get ready for the mixed, really, um, on the 11. Um, we should have, uh, and that's the girls, mixed really, sorry, not girls, but the mixed really. Um, it seems as if we have runners, South St. George, South City, Rising Stars, VTC, and Burnley, and Fusion. Um, so we are seeing in lane four, South City Rising Stars. That's for sure we can make out there. Lane six, Burnley. We sure can make out Burnley. Um, lane seven, Fusion. And we are seeing lane two. Um, that is runners. We are not seeing South St. George. Out of lane five, we have VTC. We are not seeing them also. So maybe we have a Whittle Longfield um, that's taking part in the mixed, really, on the 11. Four teams are on. Four by 100 meters on the 11. 
And we have four teams being represented here. As you are probably aware, uh, mixed relays have be become a popular set. A popular set in, in, the, in the athletic world. And so to start them off at the under 11 uh, bodes well for future development. That is very true. It's all, it all boils down to strategy and, and doing <laughs> what you think is the strongest. Although the, um, the rules on the international stock, it has some, there are some rules that they have to work with. Um, but it seems as if Burnley and Fusion, um, they are going to be the ones to beat in this race. So it's Burnley out of Trinidad, Fusion out of Grenada. They seem to be the one that will take a, a lot to beat. Burnley is already out front, followed by Fusion. Um, so that would be Burnley. Um, I think they're going to run away with this quite a bit. Um, Burnley followed by Fusion. So Burnley has handed off, and let's see what will happen here. Handed off to a boy, a boy versus a girl. Um, <laughs> let's see what is going to happen here. But it's Burnley, the boy from Burnley. And, the, and from Fusion, I mean, it's looking good. Uh, both guys are running their hearts out. Yep, it's uh, Burnley, Burnley, Fusion, and that other team would be, um, I'm not so sure if it's Looks defeated. like finish line. Finish line. So Burnley has captured the mix, really, um, for under 11. You'd have the triple jump taking place, um, shot put at this time, women's discus, women's high jump also taking place. So it is Burnley. And Burnley in position number one. Finish line and South City Rising Stars. It's at the first three positions in the mixed uh, four by 100 meters on the 11. The next event on the track. Next event on the track. Uh, take us into the four by 100 meters that will be event number 64, the 4 by 100 meters on the 13. So Bernard, you'll give us the lane assignments for the 4 by 100 meters on the 13. 4 by 100 meters on the 13. We have seven teams listed here. We are going to confirm if all seven will be running in this heat. But in lane number one, it should be VTC. That lane number two, that's Velocity Track Club. Mustang out of, out of St. Vincent. High performance in lane three at four, Speedsters. In lane five, South City Rising Stars. Uh, finish line runners in, in six. And South St. George in seven. As of now, we are seeing unoccupied as lane number two. Lane number two seems to be unoccupied as well as lane number... All the other lanes are intact. So just lane number two is, is, is out as of now. So we have an occupied lane one in Velocity Track Club. We have high performance in lane number three. In lane number four, we have speed sets. In lane number five, South City Rising Stars. In six, it's runners or finish line. And in seven, South St. George with their very distinctive yellow top. So we are with the, st we are with the start of this one. Uh, again, relay is all about coordination and teamwork. And let's see how these young people, let's, this is an undertaking category. Let's see how the young people acquit themselves in this one. And it's mixed. So they're on the starter's orders. And they're off. It's a good, clean break, Bernard, for all the athletes that are off. It is South St. George out in lane number seven. And finish line, South City Rising Stars. Um, they've made the handover. Let's see what is happening. South St. George, it is finish line. South City Rising Stars making a really run. Um, Velocity, VTC also is doing well. But let's see what is going to happen here. It's South St. George. Um, they are moving well. 
Um, let's see what is going to happen. The athlete from um, South City Rising Stars is closing in very quickly. And let's see what is going to happen. So they're off to the races now. Final handover. And that athlete from South City Rising Stars, if you can beat him, well, he would have done well today. But he's having a real tough time with Worm of South St. George. South St. George will win it. Um, if the result stands, it will be South St. George followed by South City Rising Stars. They've been battling over the two days. The athlete Worm from South St. George and um, I forgot the name of the athlete from South City Rising Stars. Unique style of running, He's, but he has been very effective. But this time around, the athlete from South St. George Worm is saying, not today, my friend. Very competitive race, that. Uh, slight lead uh, going, into the, going into the final, I would say, final 50 meters. And in the, at the 30 meter mark to the end, South St. George would have caught him and uh, won the race. He won the race for his team. So that was a mixed 4 by 100 meters under 13. The next event on the track would be the 4 by 100 meters under 20. And we have five batches on paper so far. We, we'll let you know if there are any changes in this one. But as of now, there are five batches or five heats or five sections or five flights. The, the girls, four by 100 meters on the 20 up next. We would, have, we would have updated you on the results that we have so far in the field events that would have, That's that would have gone. We would have updated on the field events and the heptathlon. Just a, just a, quick, just a quick recap on the girls' javelin throw. On the 17, Nea Jules out of St. Lucia. She would have won this one in 40.95 meters. The second place was Simone Batiste from St. Davis Track Blazers and the third place, Naomi Jones, again from St. Davis Track Blazers. Uh, this was an under 17, and a distance of 40.95 meters is actually quite commendable. And that was from Naya Jules. The girls under 17 high jump, just to recap, Tanique Vincent from Concord is one, she jumped 1.64 meters. Alika Smith from Roses. Roses is out of St. Vincent. Concord is out of Trinidad. 1.58 meters. And Akira Maureen from Track Blazers in Grenada here. She would have jumped 1.52 meters. Again, commendable height for uh, under 17. And in the long jump for boys, it, the winning distance was 6.49 from Exceed. Uh, Javier Cato, uh, Jaden Dowage from Performers, 6.30. He, he had second place. And Concord, he had third place, 6.16 six meters, Tariq Vincent. We just get a shot of the, the, the patrons here today. The, this is track and field lovers at its best. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. It's a, around this time is normally the the rest time, but it's a Sunday. So it, this, these are the parents, these are the the supporters, these are the backers, and these are some just simply diehard uh, track and field fans. We can call them in the United States. You call those the hockey moms. Um, they go out, support the children no matter what, and those who are the diehards. I guess we'll call them the track and field moms, the baseball moms, the cricket moms, the soccer moms. Uh, abs absolutely. <laughs> abs absolutely. So we are with the start of the next event. Uh, the really is under 24 by 100 meters. It's been a constant um, procession of events, um, Bernard. And so, I mean, if you're down here, I'm sure you're not going to get bored because so many events are running, you hardly have time to breathe before another one is. If you go to the bar or, or, or the restroom, you're almost certain to miss a, an event or two. 
And so it's really good to, if you're able to make it down here, um, to see um, family, friends, um, um, students from schools. Um, all of those are good ways to show your support. So again, we have five teams that are registered for this next event, 4x100 meters, under 20 relays. Uh, five teams, let's see if we have actually five teams that are competing in this one. And then they, that will be followed by the four by 100 meters, under 20 for, for males, 4x100 meters, under 20 for males. We have 13, one, three, 13 teams registered, and we have two flights, or we split them in two batches. Uh, so that will be up after the release for the under-20 women. You are not missing any live action on the field, uh, on the track, sorry. Uh, in the distance, we can see the discus. Discus seems to be, the discus is what seems to be taking place on the field part. There's just been a, a lull in the proceedings um, on t in terms of the, the um, activities and the events, and I'm sure um, it gives us a good time to see how our field athletes are doing. In this case, as Antoine would have said, the discuss we see an, an athlete coming out there and looking pretty <laughs> well balanced and, um, yeah, and proficient in her throw. Seems to be seems to be practice throws right now, getting ready for the getting ready for the real thing. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's, it's the, the discus throwers it seems to be readying themselves. And the Caribbean has also has produced um, good discus throwers. Um, as a matter of fact, within recent times, um, we've had a couple of good discus throwers from Jamaica. Um, coming to mind is Dakers of Jamaica. There was an, there's another one from Jamaica who also has done well in the discourse. I'm going to see if I can um, get his name in, in a short while, but Dakers is one of those who has done very well in the discourse for Jamaica and for the Caribbean. In, in, in fact, there seems to be competitions on, actually, with the, with the discus throw. So that would be the discus for women open and international. We have listed here 16 participants in this event. Not quite sure if all 16 are taken part. The game's record was with a throw in 2015 of 48.50 meters, Trivia Gums and uh, Iana Morales. In 20, 2003, she had a stadium record of 59.07. Let's see if there's any challenges, any challenges today with these two records. Those are really good distances that it would have thrown, I can assure you that. <laughs> Really good distances to throw for the discus for the females. Okay, women, discus throw open and international. They seem to be taking a break also at this time, um, maybe some refreshment or so. Yeah, there is a lull, in, lull, a slight lull in the proceedings, and we are going to take a short break, come back to live action momentarily.
Well, thank you and good afternoon. Welcome back to the action down here at the Kirana James Athletic Stadium. Whitson Tide, day number two, session um, number two. And with me, I'm Joseph Cadon, and with me here is the man Davis Adams. Davis, Davis an exciting um, first session, and we're getting ready for the curtain call. And when I say curtain call, I don't mean immediate, but the last lap, as you would say, for, um, for, for the games. Yes, it is the the game is culminating, and and I w I want to I mean confidently say that um, it's com culminating with a lot of energy, a lot of events, a lot of competition, and that is what augurs well for this with Suntide Games going forward, as well as the athletes attempting to improve wherever whatever times and distances that they can improve on, using this as a stepping stone for that. So we're, we're having a really good um, Whitsuntide Games, and I'm really are proud that Grenada has been able to pull off this. To give you the general public an appreciation as to where we are in terms of the meet, um, we're getting ready for the women's 100 meters huddle. Um, there's a number of events as well, the 800. There is also the javelin throw. Um, and those will be punctuated by medal presentation ceremonies. At least two, I should dare say. And then as we get later into the evening, there's a couple 200 meters, meters dash finals. And then Adams, the relay that would pull the curtains down on what we've all in agreed and intimated was a really, really successful meet. But we're getting ready for all the huddles. Um, a meet on the international circuit is well established. And but it's one that in more recent times our athletes have been introduced to. Uh, but it's certainly we're happy that here at the Whitsuntide Games, the, we get to see some hurdles. So some of the, the hurdlers, better hurdlers across, junior hurdlers across the region, Adams. Yep. Um, it's an event that um, it has struggled in Grenada over the years. But the, its introduction a couple of years ago... Um, I want to believe that we can safely say there is some progress in the hurdles, um, and it's a matter of establishing itself as, a, as, as one of those normal events in Grenada, in the sense that um, an event that people are attracted to as just as they run the 100 or the 400, which would be the pet races in Grenada. So it's a matter of um, um, growing into the hurdles. Um, of course, there are other events that we must um, begin to introduce or reintroduce because many moons ago, I cannot say I would have seen it though, but it, when it was the Grenada Amateur Athletic and Cycling Association, there was at one time pole vault in Grenada and, and it disappeared off the map also. It's an event that needs to be put back because we have um, Kurt Felix and Lyndon Victor um, who have had to um, do the, the pole vault uh, to be at the level at which they're at in terms of the decathlete um, um, events. So there are a couple of things we still need to put in place and I am sure that we're saying that I think I'm sure that the, the authorities in the association they are also looking at that. So indeed we're looking at the cast for the next event on the track up upcoming event on the track uh, which is the women's 100 meters Hurdle open. We're looking at the assignments out of lane number t number two. It will be Carissa Curtin from Concord um, Club out of Trinidad and Tobago. There's Michaela Smith from Performa out of Barbados. Nia Brown from Performa out of Barbados. And Destiny B Bruce, Performa out of Barbados. And Gabriel Taylor, Performa out of Barbados. And, and Brunel Thomas from South City rising star so that would be your lineup your cast once they are off and running and then we will move to the 110 meters hurdles for the open for men and the 15 meters open and a mix of track a mix of events out in the field um, and as you certainly um, continue to manage what happens here inside of the Kiwani James Athletics Stadium so Again, we encourage we encouraging folks, we encouraging folks um, to make their way down here. Um, crowds building up, but we're waiting for the call for the huddles. That's about 
to run off. It's Curtin, Smith, Brown, Bruce, Taylor, Thomas, and they are off and running. Keeping track and right there in the middle out of performer. It is the the queen of it. She seems quite loving this one. In the middle of the pack of lane number four, uh, that's Naya Brown from performers in Barbados. Nice, smooth rhythm. And one of the challenges, of course, is getting that smooth, rhythmic um, motion over the hurdles. And certainly, from all indications, you can see that she didn't just decide to win, wing this one, Adams. You can see she, she, she comes understanding the technique. Yeah, Naya Brown seemed to be pretty proficient um, at the hurdles. She had just one hurdle that she clipped. Uh, it's important. You see, the, the hurdle is very, very complex. You got to know the strides between the hurdles. So you have got to know your, which leg is your takeoff leg. And then you still have to whip it over. The, the, the trailing leg has to be whipped over in such a way that it doesn't clip the hurdle. But if they, they become very comfortable with the a number of strides between the hurdles, mm -hmm. then it becomes, as you would see, it, it's a matter of... Um, just executing. Uh, it's a rhythm. Once you get that rhythm, you're, you're safe. And she's shown that she's very um, proficient at it. Um, um, I think they do quite a lot of hurling in Barbados anyway. Um, as a matter of fact, Barbados has a world champion um, not too long ago. And one that's competing on the, on the circuit right now who is really, really, really good. So Barbados have produced quite a number of good hurdlers, 110 hurdlers in the males category. I haven't seen those in the females as yet, but in the male category, Barbados has produced quite a number of very good um, wanting hurdlers. Well, while we say the males, because we move, we move into the male category in just a bit, while well, I'm seeing the ex expectation of uh, Jermaine Huggins, but certainly his name will be off the cards, because we, we, do, we, we, we know from since day one that the Ketishan team, the once they already had some of their own challenges with getting transport um, to the island. Uh, but certainly the official result, um, Naya Brown from Performance at 14.08, and Michaela Smith also from Performance 15.41, and Brynell Thomas from South City Rising Stars 15.48, while Gabriel, Gabriel Taylor from Performance in a time of 15. Point seven four, so you line up there for that last, the, the, the last event, the women's one hundred meters hurdle, as we get ready for the next event on 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 the track. And reminded you that is simultaneously the other events that's taking place, um, the heptathlon, heptathlon for the that's the NACAC challenge. I think Adams Day. Should be, if not, they haven't completed this. I would probably need to confirm the 800 meters. That, so I don't think that has taken place. This it's at five o'clock this evening. Um, so within the next half hour, we should see the final event in the NACAC um, heptathlete for uh, heptathlon for women um, and the athlete from the United States. Um, I think Shari, um, she is doing extremely well. That's Hawkins, Hawkins, Shari Hawkins, yes. yes. Challenge, no doubt, the challenge, in, in fact, though, um, by Erin Nash. She's challenged by her. Uh, but we continue to keep her eyes on the field as we continue to bring you live coverage of all of the sight songs, the glories, the highs, the lows of Whitsuntide Games 2023. A Games, Adams, that we continue to emphasize, the hope is, would remain a staple on the Grenada and, and, and athletic calendar. Yeah, I mean, the, the thirst for athletics in Grenada has um, multiplied over the years. Um, I, mean, you, I mean, in the past, you still have to uh, give kudos to the pioneers of track and field in Grenada, the, uh, the uh, administration as well as the athletes themselves. Um, in the 80s, um, 70s, uh, you've had tremendous runners in Grenada. Even the president of the association, Conrad Francis, used to be a champion middle distance runner um, in the 800, 1500, um, um, 3000 meters, I think, also. Um, and you have lots of athletes who um, blaze the trail. But within recent times, of course, Aline Francis, um, Hazel and Regis, um, um, and you, of course, Kirani is still around. 
um, you, the trust for athletics, it's really, really high now, and we've got to take advantage of that. Well, we've come, to, we've come a long way, but there's no doubt we have a long, long way to go as we get to have a full appreciation for the virtues and values of track and field, the new uh, um, events, the hurdles, and the mixed programs that's been introduced um, certainly. But all, be, all things being equal, it's been a great two days inside of the National Stadium. Um, we continue to encourage you wherever you are. Um, all of this, the organizers are saying, which is the GAA, Adams, they are using this meet as a, a yardstick for the Woodson, not the character games. But even prior, prior to the character games, there is a CBN win lotto um, secondary school games set for July. Yeah, and you know this, that, and that is indeed a, a, a games because it's made up of multiple disciplines. Right. That's what you call a games. Um, when we say sometimes when we say um, with some tight games, I'm not so sure I I <laughs> subscribe to with some tight games too much because it's just track and field. It's it's at one discipline. But with the win lot of games, you have cricket, you have football, volleyball, you have basketball. volleyball, basketball. The only thing I'd like to see them bring there is boxing also. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you, it's, it's a true, when you say win lotto games, it's a true game well, in itself. Boxing may never be part of the equation um, because it's um, competition among schools. And I'm not sure they have, there's any school in Grenada that, that, ha, that has a, a boxing program at all. Yeah, they do have coaching in quite a number of the schools. They do quite a bit. Um, it's not as organized as you'd want it to be, but um, it's one of those sports that you can also um, um, ensure it's part of the school's game so that way you can have a boxing championship, you can have a um, um, swimming championship, you can have you know, all different types. You, know, you never know which one someone is going to excel in. I'm always happy when my, my, my cameraman, I don't know, if, we, if they find some rather unique sights and songs and images ever so often of a gentleman up in the beaches, you know, and just... What is he having the time of his life? That's all I'm saying. Very all nice. All by himself. <laughs> very, know? very nice. He in business. <laughs> he really and truly in business. Yep, um, yep. What we going to look for, we're getting ready for the 110 meter hurdles. Oh, well, that's what you call Brick Neck, we boy. The two are on them. The, those are not his friends. Because they seem to be the own, the, own, the own little world there. Mm. He, he's just enjoying himself. He's relaxing. Listen, as I, as I call it sun, the sun is not hot. <laughs> <laughs> This sun isn't hot. It's Sunday, a nice Sunday evening. It's not hot Sleep. outside there. Yeah. Went to church, possibly after lunch, and then here he is. Uh, but we're getting ready for, for, for the hurdles. Um, I'm just, we've just seen two athletes um, lined up. Well, initially, the lineup s suggested four. But certainly, we know that Huggins for St. Kitts. St. Kitts isn't here. So, who we are looking at? Extreme Velocity um, out of lane at number three. Extreme velocity of lane number three, and the other athlete from is Anson Moses from Trinidad and Tobago. So we await it. Just the two athletes themselves: Moses Carrington out of Barbados, Trinidad, against Barbados, and we'll see how it turns out. Moses in. So let's see how this one pans out. 400 meter hurdles. And they're up and they're off as they start attacking attacking the hurdles. We're looking at Carrington out there for extreme, attacking quite nicely. But it's in, it is, in, in fact, um, out of lane number five, that's Moses, that certainly um, has come through quite cleanly. Has come through quite cleanly. Um, with a, a victory in this one, so and I, I'm, we, I'm going to be. Ha I'm happy though that we've had inclusion in this games, so at least we can look at the more advanced um, hurdlers, and you can get an appreciation of the style, the technique, and that's in really and truly that's all that they need. So it is Anson Moses in a time of four minutes, fourteen point one seven four, and Carrington from. Also extreme, I think extreme that's from Barbados velocity, also. Extreme velocity in a time of 
point five zero seconds. So that history, that is all. That is all history because we're moving now on to the women's fifteen hundred meters, and um, that track, that event comes up in just a bit. The fifteen meters. Um, One single, one flight. We looking at a record set back by Marion Brunette. That's a games record. We get to the list in the lineup for you in just a bit. Um, but I know Adams, you want you one that says you 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 enjoy, and you do love those middle distance shots to middle distance. Um, races. Oh, yes, of course. Um, I make no <laughs> bones about it, and I don't hide it at all. Um, I, I love seeing the middle distances, longer distances. Um, I don't know. It fits my character, I guess. I love to see people think and, and strategize and plan. Uh, so I guess it's natural for me. If I were to be a runner, which I can't be because I've never had that talent, um, mm -hmm. I would look at 800, 1,500, 3,000 plus. Those are the races that... But you did, have your, you did have your glorious moments as a boxer in your, in, in your younger days. Yeah, no doubt. much easier than running the 3,000, the 5,000 meters. Or the really? 10, 000, yeah. <laughs> well, you had your time running, maybe <laughs> run, running around the ring from, from, from your opponent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but um, definitely um, those, the, those are the... Um, events that I tend to gravitate to um, quite a bit. So uh, I, I pay attention to those athletes from Ethiopia and uh, Kenya. And I really love the battles that they put out. We get ready for another medal presentation ceremony. That's happening just right about now. Event 59, mixed for by 100 meter relay, under 11. Bronze medalists, Classic Lighting Caribbean, South City Rising Stars. Silver medalists, Fusion Athletics. A time of one minute, zero, one point one one seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, your gold medalist, Burnley Athletic Club, Trinidad. 59.96 seconds. Event 64, mixed four by 100 meter relay, under 13. Bronze medalist, Velocity Track Club. 56.50 seconds. Silver medalist, Springsters. 56.08 seconds. Presenting your gold medalist. Classic Lighting Caribbean, South City Rising Stars. Fifty four point two five seconds. Event sixty one, boys short put under seventeen. Presenting your bronze medalist, Kamal Hazard, Classic Lighting Caribbean, South City Rising Stars, 12.79 meters. Silver medalist, Jay Williams, High Performers. Silver medalist, Jaheim Williams, High Performers, 13.01 meters. 13.01 meters. And your gold medalist, Bevondre Nelson, Runners Athletic Club. 
13.53 meters. Event 67. Women's 100 meters. Huddles. Open International. Bronze medalist Brunel Thomas. Classic lighting Caribbean. South City Rising Stars. 15.43 seconds. Silver medalist Michaela Smith. And your gold medalist, Naya Brown. High performers, 14.08 seconds. Michaela Smith, silver medalist, also represents high performers, 15.41 seconds. Event 68, men's 110 meter huddles open international. Silver medalist, Rotniko Carrington, extreme velocity, 15.50 seconds. And your gold medalist, Anson Moses. Trinidad and Tobago. 14.74 seconds. Thank you very much, Honorable Ron Redhead, Minister with Responsibility for Youth, Sports and Culture. The completion of another of the medal presentation ceremony. Um, sometimes medal presentation ceremony, they, it, it have this air of anticipation ab ab about it. Um, you wait for that moment when you can walk up, you collect your medal, you know, you can look to the crowd and you can say to yourself in, in a bit of it's bragging rights almost, you know, I, I'm here, I came. And I delivered, and now I'm being I'm being rewarded. But yeah, that's the that's actually the the um, expectation of every athlete to come and to deliver. Of course, everyone would want to walk away with a medal, but the uh, athletes have grown in terms of education. It's not just about coming first, but um, improving on times and distances and throws. And once they would have done that, I think we are finding athletes much more mature and, uh, and accepting. I didn't win today, but I improved. So it's a continuous process. So yes, they came, they, they participated, and they got the results. The only time I think they're disappointed is when they didn't better what they did before. Well, it's always about improving and not just in athletics, in any, in any walk of life. Um, you're here today, tomorrow, you, you will not settle for the second place or mediocre per, um, 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 performance. Because your next, the way life is, it is your next best performance. Whatever happened yesterday mm -hmm. is only as good as what happens on to your next outing. Correct. So we, we see the, the shadows, they're stretching across the, that's on the main pavilion, um, stretching its way across, across the field. Um, looking at the cross section of the crowd, um, uh, you probably some would argue that maybe the expectations they might have been a bit of a disappointment, Adams. Ah, uh, yes, I would say yes, in the sense that I, I personally was hoping that more people would have turned out today. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't happen. And the, the actually the weather is beautiful, um, really nice, and um, I thought we may have had a few more. And patrons coming through, but nonetheless, it didn't happen. And of course, I'll take you up on if we had done the a discount, a PR, um, a promotion. Hey, the first 400 people coming in um, would pay only ten dollars. 
it's possible you would have gotten a couple of folks it was good up to a certain time. By anybody coming in by 12 o'clock, you pay only $10. It was going to create a frenzy, no doubt. Ah, well, well that's what you want, anyhow. <laughs> yep. So maybe, as I said, those are things to think about. Um, we're talking about it. We're um, um, just making light of it. But the truth of the matter is you want to find ways to bring more people to... Um, your activity and whatever you can do to bring people to your activity you have to do it so whether it's through surveys or um, whatever research and um, what would bring somebody out what would encourage somebody to leave their house on Sunday to go out what is it can I do to encourage folks to come out and I'm sure those are some of the questions the, the um, organizers will be trying to solve as they do the postmortem of the games and as as event planners they will do those postmortem and figure out what is it that they could have done to bring out more people to um Whitsuntide 2023 well we said that either way there's always a the postmortem always takes place um, they will dissect and and certainly provide to the stakeholders a better appreciation as to how do you best the next outing and no doubt they they are going they are going to do that, yes. Um, so we see um, some athletes making the way, um, trying to determine exactly at, at which point exactly they are heading. Um, but it is we stretch we're heading late into, late into the evening. Um, with sometimes 2022, 2023, and those of you who are probably still not here, you know you're probably thinking that. You've missed it all. And that's not necessarily the case because we can tell you that there's a women's 100. We've done the hurdles already. And there's a men's 800. There's a couple of 100-meter dashes, 200-meter dashes. And there is a number of um, relays, um, Adams, to, to, um, to, to come. Yep, yep. Um, Look, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not missing much because at around 5 o'clock, we will take the NACAC um, event that is the heptathlete, the final uh, um, um, event for the... They do seven events, actually. Yes, over a period um, of They do the 100 meters, the high jump, the shot put, the 200 meters, the long jump, the javelin throw and the 800 meters run. This is the final event of the seven, um, the 800 meters run. It should get underway in about five minutes. It's carded to start at five o'clock, Joe, mm -hmm. and I believe that the organizers are on point with that one. Well, no doubt, because I'm seeing the athletes already on, it's just about five minutes to the hour. I'm seeing at least three of the athletes, four of the athletes already on field. Um, so certainly when it comes to time, if nothing else, you can safely say that this element of the program, this, it is on point. It is definitely on point. Yep. All right. And this is, in fact, a new addition um, to, the, to, the, to, to the games. You don't normally have the NACAC being part of the, of the conversation. But as I was saying, it only shows that there's something good happening yeah. in athletics. I would have loved Conrad to speak more. Because Conrad is very, very um, knowledgeable and proficient of NACAC. Why, how we were able to attract this heptathlete as to be part of the Whitsuntide Games. How were we able to score that sort of a victory um, to bring these international athletes to Grenada um, and being part of Whitsuntide. But almost a separate event in itself. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have loved Conrad to, to give some information on it. But um, nonetheless, we're just happy that they are here. We have three, um, three athletes from the United States. Actually, it seems as if one of them has dropped out because actually it's five of those that were part of the, the heptathlon um, competition. Uh -huh. um, so one is missing. Um, we have 448, 449, um, 304, and 405. Well, they're off and running. There's the final event the f event in a field of seven in fact uh, and of these he heptathletes top leads as they make their final run for the day and certainly as we say it's not always um adams about winning or losing 
but it's about showing that you improve on your on 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 your times. I'm um, going into this 800. Um, looking at where they they are positioned, and um, Carrie Hawkins from the United States. She's actually she's she's out front on 500 5,355 um, points. Then there's Shania Burns from the U.S. Um, she sits with 5,272. There is Erin Marsh, um, Elizabeth Felix, out of Puerto Rico. Um, so they've gone through the first 400. Gone through the first 400. Um, they've done that quite nicely. Um, we're just going to look at looking out front of... We're just going to get their numbers, the names and numbers. So I'm looking for the final, the, the, the list for you. Um, but each one of them, they go out with a plan in their head. Um, and I think what would possibly even be interested would be the battle, the duo between um, Hawkins and Burns, who in fact do um, almost just less than 100 points I separate. Think about 81 points separate yes. Burns from Hawkins. Right. And so what can... Burns do to claw back 81 points. Um, that would be what she should be thinking. Maybe, you know, um, it, and it has to do again with time. Times and positions. Yeah? Um, so the lower Hawkins could finish, the better it is for Burns. And Burns is aware that once she finishes close to Hawkins, once Hawkins is aware that once she finishes close to Burns, Burns cannot beat her. We always keep talking about the durability of these um, multidisciplined athletes. Um, and I was multidisciplined athletes, and the what it takes, the depth of commitment it takes to be able to compete in these seven individual disciplines that makes up the heptathlon. I um, mean, certainly, it takes discipline, finding your niche, understanding which of the events that you, that you're good at, and whichever you're good at. You manage to keep um, being good at it. Um, so we have, so Hawkins, um, she in fact, she completed, she stopped the clock at two minutes, 17.24. Um, Shania Burns from the U.S., two minutes, 17.46. Um, for what we see there, not, there's no anticipation that there'll be any, any shifting in the, in the positions. So you can safely say, because Carrie Hawkins, uh, just, she's already 80 points ahead, and she just completed another victory. Um, you see, so she, of course, being, that's Burns, in fact. I mean, ap applauding the effort of Hawkins and her own efforts. I mean, and of course, probably saying to herself, what, a, what an experience it was, what a, a weekend, um, being part, being of these games, and I think for, for us, we will remember it also. Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, it was, an, it was an experience. It is an experience to be able to have these international athletes come to Grenada, Burns, Hawkins, Elizabeth, um, and, and the, the like. Um, I think they enjoy themselves in Grenada. I want to believe we give them an experience that, they, that would allow them to, to come back, and we're just glad to see them come and perform at the, the height of the the physical um, attributes. Um, you, you have to pay attention to the fact that these events, um, we are talking about getting athletes to strategize and plan. When you are in those events, the heptathlon, the decathlon, you, athletes have to plan well. They can't go and sleep without thinking of what is the next best move. How do they maximize points in this area? If that is my weak area, what do I do? How do I maximize points in my stronger areas? So all of those are the things that they have. So these athletes really do have to think. They don't sleep without thinking once they are competing. Well, I think eventually she'll have to remove herself from, from, from the track as well. <laughs> I think but, she's um, just enjoying Grenada. Enjoy, right? <laughs> enjoy the moment. You yes. know, she's, probably, she's probably thinking, okay, this is it. Final event. Yeah. Home time. You know, let me probably just enjoy the last of it. But I'm telling you, it's not ever a case of if you enjoy Grenada. The question is, what elements of Grenada you enjoyed the most? I think whoever comes to Grenada and says that they haven't enjoyed Grenada. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
Yep, so the end of the heptathlon, the NACA e event. Um, we are glad we could have, ho could have hosted it. And we look forward to the resumption of our track and field in our Whitsuntide Games, the general games that we are having that pits together all of the athletes from the English-speaking Caribbean that are present here with us, Trinidad. Um, should have had Guyana and um, St. Kitts, but we still have St. Vincent, we have Barbados, we have St. Lucia with us. Um, we do not have anyone from Dominica, so I, I suspect next year, please the Lord, we will have from Dominica. But nonetheless, they'll be here July, August, because we have the Win Lotto Games coming along. And these are hundreds of athletes from the four islands that would be participating. This year is a really good bar barometer for um, what needs to be put in place for the Win Lotto Games, because you have to talk about transportation, you have to talk about security, you have to talk about um, all of those other um, um, the, the officials, the, 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 the equipment that you need, um, um, food, um, uh, all of those have to be considered um, an, an when you're having those. An important element to, um, for the games as, and other games, not just for the CBN win a lot of games, but even as we, ex we, we start preparations for character, volunteerism. I mean, these meets, any meet, even at the Olympic level, um, there's always a large contingent of volunteers that's needed for a host of different things. And I know I've spoken with the president, and he's made an appeal to Grenadians to come out, offer some form of assistance. Volunteer. Yep. Yeah. If, if, if those events have to be, if those activities have to be successful, volunteerism must be part of the, the parcel. Um, even at the Olympics. I mean, it's a privilege to be a volunteer at the Olympic Games. It's a privilege to be a, a volunteer at the Commonwealth Games. It's a privilege to be a volunteer at World Champs. So um, us in Grenada, we're no different, and we have very hospitable um, um, communities, and we know that once we make the appeal, we're going to get lots of volunteers to assist with those games that we um, plan to have going forward in the near future. I would volunteer to go to the Olympics every day, but right now I'm not volunteering <laughs> to go and run the 1,500 meters. But <laughs> I would volunteer to go to the Olympics any, any day. Um, we're getting ready for the action on the track because um, the evening is slowly creeping away. Um, if we're just about measuring time, it's just about four minutes past the hour of 5 o'clock. And next event, which should be the, the 1,500 meters um, open invitational and uh, looking at the origins of the origins, the start list and the number of athletes out there, it seems as though it is quite reduced. Um, on t mm, probably just on the seven or so, eight of them, uh, that, is, that is out there. You see a number of athletes congregate, um, field officials is congregated out there. You certainly see the gesticulations, the body language. You can't help but ask yourself, um, what is it? Uh, are they trying to to sort out um, at this time of the evening? Well, at least the there is a photo op. There is, in fact, the, fo the photo op, the photo op, um, the photo op. Well, as we looked at them, do the the photo op? We we do, in fact, we have the final score um, for the heptathlon, uh, for which is in fact the NACAC combined events. Um, also taking place at present is the shot, the javelin, That's javelin, mm -hmm. and that should be javelin throw open. No, no. Well, it is a javelin. I'm just trying to con confirm which category that it is. It's red. So the javelin, th the javelin throw event seventy-two. Event seventy-two. So that's taking place. But we have the 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 the, the, the confirmation of the final final point standing. We did establish that Hawkins, in fact, um, won the e well, won the the event as it is. But officially, it is Hawkins and Charlie Hawkins of the United States um, with a total points of six thousand two hundred and sixteen. Second place, Shania Burns. 6,131. And so certainly, given what, 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 trans, what transpired in the 800, we were not expecting to see 
much that much of a shift. No, because they finished pretty the close. I mean, one yes. um, with the times being close, uh, it would not be a big um, disparity in the points, just a, a few points. So um, I'm not surprised with what we're seeing. They're off at this time. Um, did they bring them back? Yes, they will. What we, we did see, though, was a shift in position number three. You have Abs, Alsbeth Felix from Puerto Rico. She, in fact, moved into second place um, from fourth in the last event. So that final the last event, as you said, each event is about performing and improving on the other. Yes, yeah. Erin Marsh did not take part in the 800. Um, right. She dropped out, maybe injury or so, as the athletes move along. This is the, the open and international, um, is it the 800? That's in fact supposed to be the 1500, the 1500 meters 1500, run. 1500 and we are seeing again here um, in second place, we see Kenisha Pascal. She is trailing that athlete. And I think that looked like the athlete from Burnley. Um, I don't have the name, um, but it is the athlete from Burnley Athletic, followed by Kenisha Pascal. Then you see another athlete from Ace. The field is pretty small, Joe. Yeah, so Kenisha Pascal. Um, the athlete from in three, uh, that's from Track Blazers, that's Gihari. But f the 13 is, pa is Pascal, that's she, she's up front. Um, we probably identify them by their, by their numbers if we can. Once if we can get our, camer our, cam our cameraman to provide us with that sort of luxury and hoping that the list is correct that was provided. Um, but yesterday that we saw her uh, really and truly it gave us an epic run yesterday in the 13, in the, in the 3,000. 3,000 meters, so yes. So you would certainly assume that for her, a 1,500 meters wouldn't, wouldn't be anything. Yeah, it's a different dynamic, of course, in yes. terms of planning and strategizing. Um, but she is able to run any of the distance races based on what we know of Kenisha Pascal, whether it's 800, 1,500 meters, 3,000, 10,000. She is proficient at all of those. And that is why I'm so, so very, um, um, it's so good to see her participating even at this stage in her career. But it's in really fact, a privilege. Is in fact, she's been, she's been chased there. Um, but what does it should in fact be? Another athlete from track, from track blazers. Um, and as they come around again, and she just seems so steady. She has this smooth, rhythmic, fluid motion and that, she, that she goes through. That seems almost eff effortless. Um, the athlete is trading her there. That's Zakisha Kelly from Mustang out of St. Vincent. Yeah, so the order in which, in which they, are, they are, in fact, going, it is um, Ke Kenisha Pascal, Track Blazers, and Kelly from Mustang out of St. Vincent. Mustang, Mustang out of St. Out of, out of, out of Vincent. So early days here, they continue to stretch, to stretch the pack. Kenisha Pascal, uh, we saw her yesterday in the 3000. And for today, she's just probably just going to take herself out on a nice little afternoon stroll as it is. Yep, it is. It is the stride of uh, an athlete who understands the, the track very well, um, um, especially in the distance races. And she's going to win, I think, pretty easily on, unless something happens that is, you know, beyond her control. But I don't think that any of the others will catch her. She's just able to um, relax, um, develop a good rhythm and... and um, and pace her way through to the finish line. I'm wondering if she's thinking of time or just thinking of finishing the race and, and winning. So it's athlete 406 and 306 um, trailing Kenisha Pascal.
considering that the game's record is 444, set in 1990 by Marion Burnett. And if you remember Marion Burnett, she was from Guyana. Um, 444 stadium record, Ashley Cooper, 427.71, set in 2003. Um, so let's see what time um, Telesford, Pascal, sorry, will be able to come in with. So it's Pascal striding through to the end. Um, she's been followed. I can't say chased. Um, she's just been followed through to the end. It's just a procession. It's Pascal in first position. Let's see what time she's going to give us, um, considering the time of 4.44 and 4.27. Let's see where she falls within those two places. Um, Kenesha Pascal winning very easily. Um, Joseph. Um, just as we anticipated, uh, and I even tried to let you know she reminded me of, I mean, one of those world-renowned elite athletes out of Holland, well, by way of Ethiopia, one called Sifan Hassan. Well, there was no disappointment. I mean, in fact, we, we, we you know, we, yes, we, we, we called it quite early, and we, we could well appreciate it would have taken a major falling apart. Um, it's something really, really, really major to happen to her, God forbid, because those are the last, the last things you ever want to see with any athlete at, at any level. Uh, but certainly, she runs with a, a poise, a composure, an appreciation of her abilities, and so certainly executed quite well. Um, an athlete making her way in uh, from Excel, that's Niana Burke out of um, St. Vincent, and we continue to applaud her, and we keep saying that it's always important. Good when you see athletes running, completing the race. It's not just about starting. And those are values which we said uh, yesterday, Adams, that transcends beyond, beyond track and field. When you, st you started a task, it's important that you commit yourself to finishing it. That's what the true winners do. That's correct. Um, could not say it much better. Um, it's character, it speaks of character, it speaks of values, it speaks to your moral compass. Um, and that's what separates you from others who do not have those sort of a character and moral compass. So, Kenesha Pascal, 543, way down on the 444, um, but then there was no competition um, here. 543 in the 1500 meters. Uh, we should, in fact, from here, be mo moving on to the 800 is confirmed for me on the list. We move on to the girls' 800 on 800 meters. On the 17, girls and on the 17, boys. Boys. So they will do, um, looking at the list that's here, but also in progress right now is the boys' javelin. Um, we'll put, right, that's event number 73. And that event, it started with a feel of 20. And we'll try to get an update as to, it's not if it has been reduced, but it is in fact, has, it has been reduced. And we'll try to get an appreciation as to exactly where they are at present. But the athlete, we're looking from uniformity. This is an athlete from Track Blazer that is, that is up next. We might be behind on a couple events, Joe, but I think we will get there because those events, the 800 meters for boys on the 17 and girls on the 17 should have been at 4 o'clock, 4 or 5. Um, they're coming up now. So we have a few be events behind, um, but we were able to keep the NACAC event on, event on time because that's international. Yes, um, we probably could have fidgeted or fiddled along with a couple of the other areas, but we are behind by a few events here, um, the 800 meters um, on the 17 and the 800 meters open um, for men. And then you have the javelin, which is in, in, is in flight at present. The triple dump, I think, might be in flight also. 
And then we have some 100 meters, girls 100 meter under 17, and boys 100 meter under 17. Those are a couple of events that we are still yet to complete by the time that was allocated. Nonetheless, it's just a guide. Um, so we are comfortable with where we are at. And hopefully by 7 o'clock, 7.30, we'll be finished today. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going to offer just a nice gingerly smile on that one. Um, <laughs> but we'll wait and see. Uh, looks like it's a healthy attempt. Um, they are not numbers to guide you as to who the athletes they are. But certainly we'll attempt to get an update as to what's happening. But you would probably think that without understanding that we are behind. I mean, the athletes are making, are making, are making their way out. Um, but I know for the organizers, they're quite cognizant of the fact that if this is the template that we're using, time management must be of critical importance. Um, not just a matter of um, individuals getting home, but managing your games is really, managing the, um, the game itself is really and truly really quite, uh, quite important. And we see again, photo ops again. Nobody wants to leave Grenada. I think that's, that's what's happening. <laughs> hey, nobody, nobody wants to leave Grenada. That's nice. Um, as you say that, and, and the javelin was taking place, Joe. Another thing, I mean, I think Grenadians stay in touch with what's happening on the in that international circuit. And we must um, say that I think yesterday or sometime during the week, um, we, we had our boy Anderson um, participating in a javelin um, competition somewhere down in California. He won with won a throw handsomely. of 83, 83 plus. Yes. And then we had today, I think we had Kirani running in the 400 meters and he placed second to a, a Jamaican athlete who ran his best time. Um, the fastest he has run in his 400 career. So our athletes out there are doing well. Kirani um, coming second and Anderson placing first uh, with a throw of 83 plus uh, somewhere down in Los Angeles. Well, we always keep saying in order to beat the Jaguar, you have to do something exceptional. But he did something exceptional. If I saw, if I, what the YouTube race that was recording and sent to me, he, he really ran an exceptional race, especially within the last um, 50, 60 meters um, while Kirani was cruising he was on his horses and he, he caught him with about 7, 8 meters um, through to the line I mean you kind of ever, ever forget the performance that Wade Van Niekerk had to pull it from under his belt to beat Kirani um, we not just Kiran and the field that, that, that he was in that included Merritt and others. I remember the race, you know. Yeah. That you, I, I, I mean, clear as day still. Clear as day. I mean, we only recognize him. I mean, when he took the man on his way home, oh, Van Nikot, you are in the race. Quite interesting. But right now, we're getting, we're getting ready for the 500, the 800 meters. A girls open as the under 17. Under 17 is that it is. It, it's a. Quite a healthy grouping of some 29 athletes um, that's in here. Um, but as we see, these sort of distances, we look at them and we look at the strategy. And we're going to try, to, of course, to see which of the athletes are going to go out and Adams and set the tempo. Um, if any one of them can be as tactical and as flawless as what we saw from Kenesha in that 3000 yesterday, when she, she was out, and let's see. So they are off. A full cast, 29, it's, ex it's supposed to be in the 800 meters. We look at them as they go down. Early days, yes, I'm not, the question is always going to be Adams, who decides to make the early charge. It is. The numbers are not clear. But you notice what they've, they, they, they've actually done. There's two set, sets of numbers. The numbers on the chest, which are the bigger ball the numbers that's easier to be seen, mm -hmm. are not recorded here. What you, we can use is the numbering on the, on the time. Which is the lane numbers, I think. Right. Uh, uh, so we have, we have it here. But then, you, literally and truly, you can't. Okay. See, when we wait I for them. 334. We take it off of a leg number one. So that's from HP, Afia Thomas from HP out of St. Vincent. Um, coming up there for Fusion, 
Should be at this number number two. Two forty eight. So we're going to track blazer is on the inside finish 736. line. Finish line is also in there. You see quite a large contingent, at least three of them, four from HP out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let's see who's going to make that decisive move. So we look at them from the back in trail tra track blazers out front. Track blazers out front. Again, their numbers are on the opposite side. That's how we're given they were assigned to us here. So you literally have to wait until the, 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 the camera can pick it up on the reverse in full side. View in full view. Before you can see who they are. Because I don't wonder why, though. Why did they not just register the numbers here that's on the vest? Two different set of numbers. But there must have probably been a, re a, reason, a reason, though. So that is 736. Well, take the ones, the one on the inside, offer tie. 736 and 200. But on our inside... And that's from number two. Let's see who's making that final push. What's the... Of course, they're making their way home on the final lap from, from finish must line. That Kenish Brown from it is finish from line. Finish, finish line. Uh, Annalisa Brown, Brown from finish line. And you have another athlete from this. Trailblazer F Fusion HP. Another athlete from HP, actually the three athletes from HP, well, not just the three, the four of them from HP um, coming in in, this, in, this, in the same order. And second athlete there from finish line. So, so there, you, there you have it. You've seen such a, such a great presence. you felt such a great presence um, from, the, from the Vincentian. And there you have this athlete. They're just nipping it on, on, on the line. So that's the completion of the girls' 800 meters dash. And when you talk about a Sunday afternoon stroll, you see exhaustion, grimace. There, some that's probably just saying, okay, I can probably do another two and laps. some that's helping the friend. <laughs> some that's help, help, helping a friend. And I'm sure these are from different clubs, different countries. <laughs> they are, in fact. <laughs> but, I mean, there's always you talk about the sort of camaraderie that you see, that you see in athletes. Because I think they understand what each other, will, that they're going Good through. True. That's correct. It's, it's, a, it's like a sisterhood or brotherhood. Yes. It, it's so prevalent in the decathletes um, and in the heptathletes. When they are finished, you would never have thought that they were competing against each other because there's that bond between them. They, they understand what's happening with them, uh, um, what they have to go through to get to this point. So win, lose, or draw, they're going to surround each other. And you see that happening here too. It's interesting. Though. You may probably ask you, I'm not, you do, I'm, 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 I know some people might be a bit, a bit critical about this. You don't see the same sword. I mean, besides the regular handshake at the end, uh, but as even on the international the international circuits, you see the same sort of, you don't really see that with the sprint uh, the, in the shorter distances. In they the run, sprints, you don't sprints, see it. No, they leave <laughs> and they go. Move on, next race. Yeah, they, in <laughs> the sprints, you don't see it. <laughs> you you, you would see it at the longer distances yes. and the multi-event um, um, events. Yeah, you'd see it at them. So it's, um, let's see. We let's wait for the official times. Um, that's going to come up in just a bit for... What was event number 17? The girls Those that did not start. <laughs> 800 meters. Mm. Um, but at least they got, if you ask me, we're going to wait for the times. But coming up next will be the 800 meters. But here we are, as we called it, um, Annalisa Brown um, from finish line in the time of 2 minutes, 27.62. And Gihari from St. David's Track Blazers in the time of 2 minutes, 37.36. Ariana. Ariana James from Fusion, 2 minutes, 37, 33, sorry, 0 0.73. And we in there is Stapleton from High Performance from St. Vincent, 2 minutes, 36.16. And we did a four athlete there from High Performance from HP. Um, and, and they probably will be, will be quite happy with themselves, you know, coming one after the other, representing well. Um, now we move to the 800, the 800 meters. It's the the counterparts now. 
but the distance remains the same. And this is a, a field of similar um, amount, some 28 of them. And there you have the likes of Jalen St. Louis from, from Rising Stars. Mustang is in there from, from St. Vincent. That's Nikki Sam from the grammar school in St. Vincent. There's Zaheem Mitchell. It's Keon Nash from Mustang. HP is also in there. He's a strong presence from St. From St. Vincent, as we've, 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 we've come to expect. Katoya is also in there from, from St. Vincent. We have young Jadel Etienne from Westerhall Secondary. And Kieran John from South City Rising Stars. So we await them. We see out front, the front line we have from Exceed, number 19. Um, that's Soreen Phillip. Wearing the number 21 patch from Mustang, Kelvin, Kelvin White. You have up front from Fusion. That's num it's number 12, in fact, from, from Fusion. And that's a Kenson, a Kenson pair. So if you see what I'm, I'm saying, Adams, there's two set of numberings. The numberings across their chest and the numberings on their lower, on the hip. Um, so certainly, we're making way. Um, Adams is going to go get himself a little bit of a, a refresher. And we say welcome back to the man, Bernard Antoine, as we await the start of the men's 800 meters. They await. Oh, thank you, Joe. Welcome back. In the background, you've seen as the Grenlick power plant um, and there's also some solar panels out, out, out there. It's been quite a while. The, con the conversation of renewable energy, Antoine, is one that you hear whispers, whispers, hush, loud conversations on, depending on which, um, and I tell you, which field you find yourself in. It's th that conversation is going to continue for a long time. It is going to continue for a long time. I am sure if we wanted to find some alternative energy, seriously, it would have been found. It's always in whose best interest. I prob you're probably right that we are going to leave that alone. I'll probably take you up on t maybe in the morning on to the point on that one. I'm, I'm, I'll, make, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll invite you. Or maybe I'll be on the headlines. But they are officially off. The, it's the, the boys, 800 meters on the 7th. On the 17, a pack of some 28, 28 of them. Um, and we've seen as they start bundled out front, you see, you've seen South City Rising Stars in there. Fusion is also, also in there. An athlete from HP out of St. Vincent and trying to make the, the early move. Finish line is also there. You have one straggler, but it's a full pack. And it's moving out front. Strong early run there from... Two of the athletes from HP coming in, running from on the, from on the outside uh, to take the frontal position as they go for the bell lap. We'll see how the chase unfolds. It's the 800 meters, boys. And it's all happening down here at the Kirani Stadium. Out front, leading the pack uh, from H, that's HP out of St. Vincent. So it's HP from St. Vincent. Fusion, Grenada, finish line, Grenada. And Grenada, as they continue to make the run, HP continues to hold steady as they go down uh, the back straight. Here comes Fusion. Here comes Finish Line, as they continue to make that move. Athlete there for Fusion, um, number twelve. That is. So let's see. But really and truly stepping on the throttle now. And really showing the difference in, in quality. I mean, and this is in fact, and this is not the first time we've seen him, though we saw him in one of the other distances. And really and truly, I mean, putting a marker, putting a really his, his foot down on this one and saying, and look at the concentration on his face. I mean, you would think that there was a, a thousand, or well, probably cheetahs running him in as, as one gazelle. But... It wasn't to be, but... This is serious running. Place. 200 meters ago, he decided that that's it. 
200 meters ago, that said, and he just took off. Yeah, and you saw the concentration. There was no relax. It was not a relaxed run. I mean, you would think having Rick recognizing that you have the race under control, oh, but no. you would relax and just tell himself, you know what? But, but you see, what is that is they do, though, Antoine, and you would agree, that they use each race as another opportunity. It's a marker. It's a, a marker. marker. Yes. So that's, that's who is in fact what they do. And you have the Sloan at number 12. Um, making his way in um, from runner, that should be Atkinson Pier. I, I, I must say, they're very impressive. Um, the, the middle and longer distances is not really a Caribbean thing, especially of late, but it's you are growing. beginning to see the growth. Yes, the, you've seen the, beginning the, to see the emergence. Growth. You've seen the emergence. So that was a completion of event number 71. The boys, 800, 800 meters we, of course, we are known in our region for producing at least one excellent 800-meter runner. And one to read him from Cuba. So the winner of this one from, f- from Frontline, Nicholas Frederick, in the time of 2 minutes, 07.10. And we look wait for the official time. But officially, it was Frederick from Frontline. Two minutes zero seven point one zero. Moving on to what is expected to be event number seventy two. Here, yeah, which is in fact the next batch of two hundred of eight hundred. Yes, event number seventy two. And they are coming fast and furious as we certainly as we attempt to manage what the time as we st- the program stretch late into this the Sunday evening sunset. And this is an open and international batch. It is of an open international. Now. Yes, some 26 of them um, representing um, Roses from St. Vincent, Guyana, um, HP from H, um, Frederick from HP, that's from Guyana. Lennon, Sass, Lennon Williams from Sass is in there. Ace is represented there by Kieran Charles. Altitude, Joshua Douglas. Um, another set, uh, athlete from Sass is we have J- Joshua Sylvester and J- Jordani Lewis. And so the Iddat represented by Mitram John. That's Iddat out of St. Vincent. You have Roses out of St. Vincent in Maverick Brown. Represented Mustang. A Sadron um, Bentic from St. Vincent, represented by Mus- Mustang, and then you have Fe- Phoenix Athletics Club also in there, another one of the um, athletes from that's so so it, it is the 800 meters international open 800 international open again, one remember these games uh the Horace Twit, our Twit from Trinidad and Tobago, 800 meter running man, 41 800 meters, he would have distinguished himself. And uh, over the years, we have we have we have seen um, Conrad was a good 800, good 800 uh, meters man also. So let's look at the field. We see at the front Alroy. Barbara from HP has 285. Next to him from Iddat is Metran John. Then Rose Academy is also in there in the person of Maverick Brown. Fusion is represented there. Fusion is also in the mix as well. So it's a full cast. And we'll see how the race unfolds. 800 meters. Open. Two laps. Combination and twin. Speed. Stamina. Very tactical race. Very tactical, yes. You can, you can break down the 800 meters into four 200s. 
two, four hundred, and so forth. The last race, um, the, there was six hundred meters at a, at a certain pace, and then the last two hundred, he just stepped on it at big time. Yeah, he literally, so there was a lot of, a lot of planning would, would go into some of these um, athletes' uh, execution. Some athletes get the, the execution spot on, yeah. and others. It's extremely important to run your own race, what it is you have practiced and practiced and practiced and so forth. You, can, then, get, you can get carried away. And that is true because if some athletes, you, you have a, a, a game plan, but then each in athlete comes with their individual plan. The question is, what do I do? Do I stick to mine or do I play chase and try to adjust? And that makes a big difference at the end, really, it does. If you step off your game plan to the extent that you have no control, it could be curtains. Well, uh, they are off the full flight. It's the 800 meters, and it's quite a, a bundle in there. We see this Kerry Matthews from Roses in Guyana is there. Um, Javon Harris, H, um, representing HP. There is... Brishon Frederick as they go down the motorway, down the back stretch. Um, and s certainly they would want to establish themselves as the go to ones. You've seen Ace isn't there quite early in the person of Michael Francois and his other compatriot, um, Kenron Charles. And they certainly stretch now following them. It's the athlete out of fusion. So it is ace, ace. This ace, ace. Fusion, HP. South City Rising Star is in there. Rose, Rose. And again, I, and we continue to see the strong presence of the athletes from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But we're looking at what's happening out front. Fusion, ace in second place. Ace in third who is going to hold strain. We know what Michael Francois has. Um, we know what Kevin Charles has. How is this one going into, how is it going to, is it going to turn out? Athlete there in the 800. He is in fact out of Phoenix Club. Uh, Lucas Reginald Morton, I think it, it is. And he's had some healthy performances um, during this meet already. And yes, really, yes. really healthy healthy performances, and there he is, literally storming away, storming away, um, and it's going to be an easy victory for him eventually as he crosses the finish line, and he would be followed. Um, so that's Reginald Morton, it is, followed by the two athletes from Ace, Michael Francois and Charles. Like, you know what you he, he, yes, and he, th this was this was an executed race that was with some planning. You, you can see the planning that would have gone into this, and well executed in the end from the athlete from Trinidad and Tobago. And we continue to highlight highlight the fact that he. The question is always about maintaining your plan, but is it? Would you ever, Antoine, ever encourage? If you are forced to change your plan, what, how do you go about doing that? If for some reason you have to. The trick really is to have a backup plan in case this happens, what do I do and so forth. Because evidently there will be, there will be the need for some adjustments and so on. And one has to, what, what really turns you off your game is when you have no game plan at all. You, your, your plan would have been distorted to the extent that you're not quite sure how to react and to, and, and to do anything different. But th this, as you said, this is, this is a significant um, a difference in times here. The winning athlete, uh, Mouton, uh, uh, from Trinidad and Tobago. That's Phoenix. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Phoenix Club, uh, 1 minute 53.4 seconds. And the second, the second place athlete is some five, some five seconds behind. So that's quite significant. Ex excellent race, not surprising um, for Moton. We, we, we've, we've seen him in the 400. Um, we saw him earlier in some of those shorter sprints. Um, so, so he's an excellent, we saw him in the 400. Uh, so, so you know certainly for an 800, um, he has Long what it takes. Medal. But we don't to for the medal presentation ceremony.
5,867 points. Silver medalist, Shayna Burns, United States of America. 6,130 points. Ladies and gentlemen, your gold medalist, Shari Hawkins, also United States of America. 6,216 points. We also extend congratulations to Colon Camona, Joma Camona, Puerto Rico, and Erin Marsh, United States of America. We extend appreciation for the fourth place winner, also the fifth place winner. At this juncture, We'd like to say thank you to Ms. Janelle Edwards, referee, and Mr. Daniel Michaud, technical delegate. Both represent NACAC, which has teamed up with the Grenada Athletic Association to host the NACAC combined events at the Whitsuntide Games. All the coaches, we thank you so very much for your support in executing the Whitsuntide Games 2023. Thank you very much, Mr. Honorable Andy Williams, Minister for Mobilization, Implementation, and Transformation. Again, what we were just looking at the medal presentation ceremony and medals presented to the winners of the NACAC, um, the heptathlon, that is, the NATA combined events, and I was part of this meet. Again, we're going to just go through. Um, funny, but if it was an event that was real, I was, I was, that, that where Carrie, out of the United States, she took the goal in that race. So we're going to give you the order that it came in. First place was Carrie Hawkins winning gold. Erin Marsh took silver. And from Puerto Rico, it was Elizabeth Felix that captured the third, the third spot. Uh, prior to that, we saw the completion of the Men's International Open uh, with a victory there for Morton out of Trinidad and Tobago in the 800. Second place going to Ma Michael Francois and Charles out of Ace in Grenada. Looking at the cross-section of the crowd, um, Certainly, they, they're here. Tomorrow is the public holiday. Um, so I guess persons that are active, why not come out? Um, come out, support athletics, be part of this growing conversation. Um, certainly, want to say thanks to the Royal, Royal Grenada Police Force. Um, and I guess while we're here, though, we do want to extend some sympathy, some, of course, condolence to the family. A family we heard of some a rather unfortunate incident that's taken place in the north of the island. And it's on, but we do hope that the families, they find the strength that it, that's needed. And I understand the p police is on the scene to uh, address the matter, but certainly we do hope that the, the family members, as it is, they find some comfort in this difficult time. So we are here. It's been happening. It is Whitsuntide Games 2023 inside of the Kirani James Athletics Stadium. We see the crew from the NACA crew still taking, <laughs> doing their photo ops. I'm telling you, when you come to Grenada, you need to take as much photo ops. I see um, uh, uh, Minister is certainly making sure he gets, he gets his, his opportunity in the limelight. Um, but as we get ready for some more events on, on, on the field, there's the javelin that's taking place while we speak. There's also the men's triple jump and that is supposed to be part of the conversation. And as we literally stretch, we, we stretch the program late into the evening. Um, the organizers have tried quite a bit to make sure that they stick to the program. But we know we've, we're behind just a bit, but we are still here. Again, we want to say thanks to those of you that are following um, this live feed on via TNR communication. We want to say thanks to you 
for being part of this conversation. So we see athletes on the field. We're trying to get it lined up for the next item that it is. I'm going to get some confirmation as to which particular event where we are in the evening. But certainly we've been having a whole lot of fun as the athletes, they make their way, as they make their way onto the field. That shouldn't be some of the sprints that we're getting back into. We're going to come from free, but these look as on the 15 ladies as we we see Concord. Concord is in there as we wait to the start list. Track Blazers on the inside. Out of, out, out of five, finish line is also there. Occupying lane number six, MVP. Is track club is also on the inside as we get ready for this final Another of these final, final events. Concord, Exceed, out of St. Vincent, finish line, track blazers, MVP. We're going to wait the official start of it. Wait the official start of it. So here we are for event number 43 is the, the girls 100 meters dash on the 17 finals. And I guess these from all finals it is as we go from here. The record in this one is 11.92 seconds. I'm set back in the year 2019 by Yolanda Lewis. The lean assignments. Amaya Chandler runs out of lean one for finish line in lane two performo from barbados in the person of kisha kiesha husbands out of barbados alina dicoto mvp runs out of lane number three symphony patrick from concord trinidad a top entry time 11.76 also in in there there's shaquania jacob from x x seed out of st vincent 12.29 um, Shade John, track blazer, 12.69. Um, Kamali Phillip, 12.80, runs out of lane 7. And for Schaefer, there's Keontae Williams out of lane number 8. What we can tell you, Joe, we're coming into these finals, um, the impressive athlete in, in this under 1,700 meters have been Symphony Patrick. I'm putting my money on her, and she has been really very, exceptional. Very, 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 very impressive. So let's see, let's see what happens and, in, into these finals now. And consistent. And yes. consistent with the time. Uh, she comes in here. 11.76 seconds. 11.76. If that holds true, this, is, this, this one's going to be over long before the rest of the field even recognizes it. So coming into these finals, the race really should be lane three, four, and five. This is strictly based on the times coming into this into these finals. Finish line at one. A performer of the Barbados is in two. MVP is in four. Concord Trinidad is in four, that is. Um, Exceed from Jamaica, from St. Vincent is in five. Track Blazer is in six. Finish line is in seven. And Schaefer is in eight. Your lane assignment for the next event on the track here, down here, inside of the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. The girls 100 meters dash in the under 17 category. So we keep our eyes also on the, the wind gauge because 11.76 here. I see the conditions this was run on the 11.92 the record in this event. We keep our eyes on lane number four out of Concord, Trinidad. Easy, easy is the call. Easy is the call. I'm certainly coming into 
from of Lane 3, Alina Di Cotto, 12.46. Symphony Patrick from Concord, a club out of Trinidad, 11.79. And Exceed, Shaquania Jacob, 12.29. So, who would hold nerves as they're back, as they cradle into the statin blocks? It's Chandler. All about, it's all about composure. Chandler, husbands, Patrick, Jacob, John, Philip, Williams. 100 meters for bragging rights. And they're up. And they are officially off clean start. In the middle, you keep, you keep an eye on them. Court de Coto, Patrick. But it's an easy one, as we called it, for Symphony Patrick from Concord out of Trinidad. True to form. True to form. As she came in here with a, with a, with a time of 11.76. We'll see what the official, t what she stopped the clock at for this one. We'll see what the official time is. But she was out of the blocks quite early and was run into her early into her run her running stride running out of lane number four and as we we did say true to form if it holds through it was going to be lights out before you know it and in fact so uh, see 11.98 so just off the record pace here 11.98 and the uh, wind speed is a legal wind speed but 11.98 or the winning time here so it was what we anticipated and she came through and she and she delivered event number 43 we move now to the boys event number 44 the boys on the 17 this and is a big one this is the big one this is for bragging rights let's call it as we see it as we look we hear so out of phoenix track club out of antigua there is judah ash there's michael redhead for track blazer occupying lane number three Nathan Hilaire for MVP sits in lane number four. Nestled in the middle of the pack, Ethan Sam from MVP coming with the fastest time, that of 10.82. Cleon Joseph for Phoenix Track Club out of Antigua. So we have two from Phoenix in here, 11.08. He, he sits in lane number five. Kyle Ned from SAS, 11.26. Um, Cameron Mathlin from MVP, 11.40. And completing the cast out of Carrick Athletics Club, Randy Jones. Your lineup, the game's record, 10.80. Rico, by Rico Moultrie in 2017. Rico Moultrie. Uh, um, he's he, up the Bahamas, up that side, yeah, I think. Yeah, he's in the Bahamas. Yeah? Yeah, he's somewhere in the Bahamas now, but he was off the... Was it the Westmoreland's, Westmoreland's ex-Westmoreland student? Yes. That's right. That's yes, right. yes. So... We wait with bated breath. We expect some fireworks in this one. Phoenix, uh, uh, track club from Antigua. Track Blazers, Grenada. MVP, Grenada. That's Hilaire. Sam, MVP. Phoenix, track club, Antigua. Sass is in there. MVP is here. And CSC, out, that's Carico Athletics Club. Lane number seven is... is a non starter in lane seven, Cameron Mathlin. Cameron Mathlin. From MVP f uh, 473. Uh, so there's a scratch. There's a scratch as of now for, in this one for Cameron Mathlin. Wow. We await. They seem, they seem so, so relaxed. They seem so relaxed. I just saw Sam lean across. I had a, I don't know, sure what is it he said to his, um, to uh, exactly the, that's Cleon Joseph um, from Phoenix Track Club. Um, In fact, um, one of the things that I've been spoken about, Sam, is his, his general demeanor. And this is not unusual for him to look totally relaxed at the starting block. Because he has a lot of top end speed. So even if he doesn't get a blazing start, you can expect him to at his top end speed to take care of whatever whatever deficiencies at the start he would have. So we look the cradle into the starting position. Phoenix track club, track blazer, MVP in three and four. Sam runs out of four for MVP. Cleon Joseph runs out of five. We keep our eyes in the middle of the pack. Three, four, and five. Three, four, and five. 
Hilaire, Sam, Joseph, who would create the, the upset. And they are off and they are running. Here they come. Cleo Joseph is making the early move. But as we say, Sam has a top-end speed that is difficult to beat. And if you have to beat him, it won't be today. Not inside of the Kirani James Athletics Stadium. He was pushed, in fact, by Cleon Joseph. Yeah, a very poor start, Sam did. Very poor poor start. But as you said, staggered, trying to find his, find his center of gravity and his balance. Of course, he's fighting there with Hille on the, on the outside, Cleon Joseph on the inside. But he, as you got to it, He had a really good start. Cleon Joseph was doing the early running. He did. He was out like a bullet from the, from the, from the blocks. And the official time, Ethan Sam from MVP, 10.85. Cleo Joseph from Phoenix Track Club out of Antigua, 10.99. And Kyle Ned from SAS took the third spot, 11.20. We had Mikhail Redhead from St. David's Track Blazers, 11.26. Nathan Hiller, MVP, 11.36. And Juna Ash from Phoenix Track Club. And Randy Jones from Karakou Athletics Club. There you have it. So two athletes dipping under the, the 11 second mark. Uh, Cleon Joseph, who had a brilliant start, it's simply put, a brilliant start. And as we said, um, the top and speed of Ethan Sam really clawed back uh, and, and he reeled him in. But he had a very poor start, a total opposite in terms of stats with, with Sam and Joseph. And good win speed, legal, legal win, uh, negative. So. On to the, on to the f 400 meters it is now. Should be going to the 400 meters on the 17 girls. There's a 400 on the 17 girls. There's the under 17 boys. Then there is a 200 meters. And then we move into the bigger boys. And then there should be a couple of relays. And, but either way, we not, the time is really, really not the issue here. The excitement, the fervor, the anticipation of what is next. That's what that's the, the conversation that's taking place inside of the athletic stadium. Yes. On paper, what you would expect is a Shafonia Houston to go away with this one, but there should be a keen battle for second place amongst four athletes. No, no, le no less than four. So the, the most of the running would be in lanes two, three, four, five, and six. Maya Noel, yes. Maya Noel, but Shafonia came in here with a blistering time, uh, 57 point, the best time that is 57.44. So we expect her to take this one, but it's second, third position. This is going to be quite competitive. Well, as I say, then over to the fat lady saying, I saw her somewhere in Dabo Hill, huh? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think she said she forgot her mobile phone and she's going back. But the fat lady, I understand, actually just gets in a text. She's somewhere by Gredneck. <laughs> uh, but she's not going to sing in mood today, uh, Bernard, so let's not, let's not worry Let's not let's 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 not worry let's not worry ourselves. We're getting ready for another event on the track. Uh, this is Whitson Tide Games 2023 inside of the Karate James Athletic Stadium. We saw the completion of the NAC to NAC um, combined events, and congratulations to Hawkins of the United States for capturing the gold medal in that one. But we get ready for event 51. Event number 51, the girls, 400 meters on the 17. And what we notice here, again, Joe, is that the representation here at these finals is right across the Caribbean. Right across the Caribbean. This St. Lucia, Grenada, uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Barbados. So this is right across the, re right across the region in these finals. Yeah. For some reason, though, the, the field officials seemed a little bit... I mean, the athletes were out and waiting... And the Lena Simons. And they seem so casual. Mm. Nobody. Mm. Let's, let's, let's leave them alone. Lena Simons. We're going to provide you with the Lena Simons for event number 51. Run out of lane number one. Aliyah McDowell for HP. Runs out of one. Run out of lane two, Mayfrey Monroe, Monroe, that is. For Exceed, that's from another club from St. Vincent, is in three. Um, Zakisha Kelly from Mustang is in, four, is in three. Again, Mustang out of St. Vincent. Shafona Houston, South City Rising Star. She sits in the middle of the pack in lane number four. 
Maya Noel has been in great shape. I mean, qualifying was not, she was not at the best, but we've seen her, we know if push, she can produce. Casey Robinson for it that out of St. Vincent, runs out of lane number four. Danita Francois from Albine Wildcats out of St. Lucia is in there. And Kayla McIntyre from finish line. She finishes the cast for this for event number 51, the girls' 400 meters dash. So keep your eyes peeled. But we see them. There's no starter in lane. Lane number two. Lane two is empty. Which, in fact, should be Monroe from Exceed from St. Vincent. From St. Vincent. So there's no Monroe, no lane two. All of the athletes seem to be in, yes. Lane six. I'm not seeing a representation in lane six. Lane six should, in fact, be occupied by Casey Robinson from Iddat. Iddat, a club out of St. Vincent. Well, we'd assume she's not on the track. That she won't be anytime soon. So lane two and lane six a scratch as of now. That's Casey Robinson. Um, it that and in lane two Matthew Monroe from Exceed but lane one is there three four five seven and eight so just to update the lanes for you McDowell HP is in one Kelly Mustang runs out of three Houston for Salt City Rising Star runs out of four Noel Schaefer Runs out of five. Danita Francois. Albain, the Abilene Wildcats out of St. Lucia occupies lane number seven. And Kayla McIntyre from finish line is nestled in lane number eight. Your lane assignments for the upcoming event on the track. So let's look at three, four, and five where major competition to take place. We expect lane four to be the winner here. And... Uh, three and five to compete for the minor medals. There should be an easy out in for Chiffonia. Should be an easy out in for Chiffonia. But time will tell. Time will tell. It's event number 51, the girls 400 meters dash in the under 17 category. Who would it be? Does Houston decide to hold form? Will she hold form? And claim back bragging rights? Or is there yet another twist to this one? And they're officially off. Clean start. They're off and running. 400 meters. The girls. And quiet of cast in there. McDowell, Kelly, Houston, Noel, Francois, and McIntyre as they motor down the back stretch. It is Houston making, starting to stretch the field, but she's pushed on the inside, inside. Um, but let's see, how does she respond? From Francois, from Ab Abilene Wildcats. We know she has an excellent finish. And as she gets to by the 100 meter, heading towards the 100 meter mark, it is Houston as Houston stepping on the gas. And we did intimate it was going to be an easy win for her. And certainly it is Houston. Houston, Chiffon Houston, it is running away with this one. Cool Cam Collective, like an easy walk on a Sunday afternoon with good cover on the from the from the from from the stadium, and in in finishing in second position, running out of lane number three, it was um, it's Akisha Kelly from Mustang, but easy win there for her. Not much of a sweat. Not much of a sweat from her. I think she's just looking for the official times now. I mean, she's seen a bit. So the time on this one, 56.35. 56.35. And that looks like a new record. 56.35. It is, in fact, the... And it's interesting that the previous record was held was held by Shanti Augustine. Shanti Augustine set last year. So
to listen to the fact a new record in, in the girls' 400 meters set now by Shafana Holstein in the time of 56.35 seconds. Kelly in 59.26. That's Kelly out of Mustang in and St. Vincent. Again, this was expected also. So this, this run through the, through the form. So it holds true to form. Congratulations um, to Chiffon Houston. And so then she's, she's pushed her name, put her names in, in the, record, the books. record books. Certainly In has. the 400 with a time of 56.35, eclipsing the old mark of 57.21. So congratulations to her. Up next is the 400 meters under 17 for boys. Under 70 for boys, 400 meters. The game's record here is 48.94 seconds. This was set in 2017 by Elijah Williams. Elijah Williams, who we will see a little bit later in the 200 meters. And this was set in 2017. And they, again, we can expect the running right in the, running right in the middle of the track. The lane assignments for the next event. Event number 52, the boys... 400 meters dash on the 17. And the prescribed lane assignments. Ruben Batista from VTC. That's Velocity Track Club. He runs out of one. Roberts for HP runs out of two. Quanel Peer from MVP runs out of lane number three. Aiden McIntosh for MVP runs out of lane number four. Caden McQueen, Fusion, runs out of lane number five. Genroy Lane from HP of the St. Vincent is nestled in lane number six on his outside. Amari Hercules from the grammar school in St. Vincent. And on the outside, Sidon James of Concord out of Trinidad occupies lane number eight. Oh, he seems to have two scratches. Lane six in Kenroy Lane from HP and lane eight. Then eight in Sidon James from Concord. Hmm. Right, one, two, three lanes. First three lanes, they're occupied. Lanes, uh, lanes four occupied. That's five sweet. occupied. One, two, three, four, five occupied. That's six sweet. scratch. Seven occupied and eight scratch. So six athletes in this one. So, Lane, Ganroy Lane from HP of St. Vincent. He's not in the final, listed to be here. Neither is James from Concord out of Trinidad. But it's the boys 400 meters dash in the under 17 category. A record of 48.94 seconds. That was set in 2017 by Elisha Williams. Let's see how they do. Let's see how this one pans out on, on the track. But we expect that McIntosh should take this one. Uh, he would have some competition really out of lane three. Of his, his MVP uh, comrade. His so it's Batista in one, Roberts in two, Pierre in three, McIntosh in four, McQueen in five, Hercules is in seven. VTC, HP, MVP in three, MVP in four, Fusion in five, and Hercules from the Grab School in St. Vincent is created in lane number six. As we await the start of the boys, 400 meters, under 17. And the competition really is MVP. And they are off. Nice, clean start from each and every one. We're looking at the action. The anticipation is in the middle of the pack. And uh, that's from Aiden Peer, from Quanell Peer, and Aiden McIntosh as they motor down the back straight. 400 meters. Who is it going to be? Hercules McQueen, that is out of fusion, is also where he's, he's left. He's been left out of the conversation. We looked at Hercules from the grammar school trying to hold his own. But here they come as they hit the top bend and make their way, make their way from home. 
It is Quan Ellen 3, McIntosh in 4. But it's going to be an easy one for McIntosh. He's been stretched now. Pear is trying to put on the step on the pedal. It is Pear, McIntosh. Pear, McIntosh. The two out of MVP. Pear is going to have, have this one. McIntosh takes the second takes second place. As we did say, it was going to... Then this is a bit of an upset, actually. It is. The anticipation is while they, they arrive, they, 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 uh, they, 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 uh, um, they're in the same club. In the same club. But in terms of the time, yeah. looking at the time, Pierre came in, McIntosh came with a time of 51.39. Pierre, 51.49. Well, it just on the day, he held through and he came away with the victory. Nothing close to the record, though. Well, but very good time, man. Officially. 50.54. Quanel, Quanel Pierre from MVB, 50.54. Aiden McIntosh. From MVP 51.07. Damari Roberts from HP out of St. Vincent 53.45. And Caden McIntosh, McQueen's, McQueen, sorry, out of Fusion 54.52. Your top finishes in the boys 400 meters in the under 17 category. McQueen would have ran exactly the same time that he did in the in the heat. That's quite interesting. So next events on the track will be a, the series of 200 meters, and we are going to start with the 200 uh, meters under 15 for girls. 200 meters under 15 for girls. Um, record of 22.72 seconds. That was set in 2022. K. Donna Douglas. Then that will be followed by the 200 meters uh, under 15 for boys. So for those of you that followed us, thank you for being part of this live production. Thanks for being. This, this is a TNR communication production. Please feel free to share the live. We come to you here live as the shadows continue to stretch across the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. It is day two, session two of the Whitsuntide Games inside of the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. Getting a nice view there of the cross-section of the fan base, the supporters. It's a good uh, crowd. It's a Sunday, uh, uh, a wet Sunday. This, this is actually a good crowd. You see the likes of Mr. Aaron Moses. He is up there, Lyndon Bob. As usual, we, there's always a strong presence of the Royal Grenada Police Force um, maintaining order. But we did say ex there is the expectation of the girls 200 meters. That, in fact, will be punctuated just a, for just a bit as we get ready for another medal presentation ceremony that comes up just about now. Event 62, Women's Discus Throw Open International. Bronze medalist, Nabia Pompey, exceed 25.91 meters. Silver medalist, Tokoro Beba, exceed. 27.99 meters. And your gold medalist, Jamilia Nicholas, representing St. David's Track Blazers. 35.27 meters. Event 60, Women's Triple Jump Open International. Bronze medalist, Aaliyah McDowell, High Performers. 
10.09 meters. Silver medalists, Kiana Bailey, Iddat, 10.37 meters. And your gold medalist, Brunel Thomas, Classic Lighting Caribbean, Salt City Rising Stars. 11.04 meters. Event 69, Women's 1500 Meters Open International. Bronze medalist, Kezian John, High Performers. Five minutes, 57.11 seconds. Silver medalist, Zakisha Kelly, Mustangs. Five minutes, 55.29 seconds. And your gold medalist, Kanisha Pascal, St. David Strack Blazers. Five minutes, 43.12 seconds. We move now to event 70, girls 800 meters, under 17. Presenting your bronze medalist, Ariana James, Fusion. Two minutes, 33.73 seconds. Silver medalist, Alien Gid Harry, St. David's Track Blazers. Two minutes, 30.36 seconds. And your gold medalist, Annalisa Brown, representing finish line. Two minutes, 27.62 seconds. Event 71, uh, event 71, boys, 800 meters under 17. Uh, presenting your bronze medalists, Glenroy Lane, high performers. Two minutes, 10.47 seconds. Two minutes, 10.47 seconds. Silver medalists, Jurel Clement. Karaku Athletics Committee, 2 minutes, 09.28 seconds. And your gold medalist, Nicholas Frederick, finish line. 2 minutes, 07.10 seconds. Event 72. Men's 800 meters open, international. Bronze medalist, Michael Francois, ace. Two minutes, 12 seconds. Silver medalist, Kieran Charles, also representing ace. One minute, 58.60 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, Announcing your gold medalist, Reginald Mouton, Phoenix Athletics, Trinidad and Tobago. A time of one minute, 53.40 seconds. We can back up to event 43, girls 100 meters, under 17. Bronze medalist, Alina Dakoto, 473 MVP, 12.45 seconds. Silver medalist, Shaquania Jacobs, Exceed, 12.33 seconds. And your gold medalist, Symphony Patrick, Concord, 11.98 seconds. Event 44, boys, 100 meters under 17. Bronze medalist, Kyle Neder, SAS. 
11.20 seconds. Silver medalist, Cleon Joseph, Phoenix, Athletics. A time of 10.99 seconds. And your gold medalist, Ethan Sam, 473 MVP. A time of 10.85 seconds. This is the end of this medal presentation. This is the end of this medal presentation. Of course, we are going to defer what's next to the other, according to my scripts at the moment. Thank you very much, Ms. Allison Felix, Chair, Accommodation Committee. With St. Tide Games. Thank you so very much. Thank you and welcome back as we get ready for action back on the track and on the field. We just we look, we just we just we were just viewing the another the medal presentation ceremony and uh, that has just been completed. We are in fact getting ready to is the girls 200 meters that's on the track now and we're just going to survey the field it's under 15. under 15 yes and i'm just surveying the field we're noticing that there is a number of um lanes that doesn't have at least a sign to them um random lane number eight eight is out four is out so it was five. One, two, three. So, so the lane assignments for even seven, not even realizing that's one of the field officials that's there, and um, the seven is actually out as well. So we do the lane assignment for the upcoming event on the track. Running out of lane number one, it is Nesbitt. That's naive. Naeem and Nesbitt from Exit out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We then move to lane number two, right out of there, is Tashauna Bascom from Track Blazers. Occupying the next lane, lane number three, it is Kenesha Richards from HP out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We moving right along to lane number six, Corana Patterson from Mustang. But it's interesting, while she says must have her, her uniform is sporting something else. What are they? So you should see some facts. Oh, so she's in fact in seven. From seven as Rachel Atien. Oh, she's in six. She's in six. But the names doesn't quite add up. It's it that isn't there either. Well, we do the lane assignment, the relative one, two, three, f six. And they are off. Velocity out of, out, out of numbers, out of number six. As, as they move on, running in the middle of the pack from South City Rising Stars. The names doesn't even match what's happening out there. But we're looking at lane number one, the speed star out there. And she's motoring away out in lane number one, chased by athlete in lane number three from South City Rising Star. And there's a push. Um, she made a push for it on the finish line. On the, f on the finish line, um, we are just going to make sure. I've noticed it was one of those where they got the names and athletes all mixed up. But there she is on the outside of lane number one. Nice, strong run. Uh, it's coming. They seem to have to push on the, the line there. This actually looks like the 200 meters open. Yeah, the that's that's a two hundred meters open. Yeah, that's the. So it's it's a out of lane six. That was Velocity Track Club. Casey Lambert. So, so this is correct now. It it it, it was um the two hundred meters yeah, open know. and international. The winning the winner in that one was was uh, Tisha Laborde, uh, twenty six point two two. Out of Mustang, a club in some, from Saint Vincent. And the, and the Grenadines.
Then you had Brinnell Thomas from South City Rising Star in second place. And if it was, if the if the time holds, then this would be a new stadium record and a new. No, I'm so sorry. It's twenty six point two two. We seem to we look at the lane assignment. So what is a reduced field? No. You know, as a choice for each of these <laughs> events, you at least really have to wait because you're never really quite sure. But okay. This is the 200 meters Open and International. Okay. This is the full. S this, this is the 200 Open and International. So we look, we do the lane assignments for you. Running out of lane number one. It is Aiden Peters from Ace out of two. Darren Morgan for HP from St. Vincent, running out of lane three. It is Shavin Charles out of lane three. Choi Mason runs out of lane number four for ace. Raheem McCalman, Stallion, runs out of lane number five. Akina Slater for HP out of St. Vincent, runs out of lane number six. Cyrus Charles occupies lane number seven. And Vernon Eiffel. Runs out of lane number eight for extreme velocity out of Barbados. Your lane assignment for the next event on track. The 200 meters open international. There's Peters, Morgan, Charles, Mason, McCalman, Slater, Cyrus, and Eiffel to complete the game is record here this is 20.59 and the stadium record is 20.16 we await extreme it's Eiffel in 8 Charles in 7 Slater in six. And uh, it, it's Dion Lendo, the late Dion Lendo. Well, pay some tribute to him, actually. He had graced our, our stadium here. And, you know, we, we know that Dion Lendo would have passed uh, after a turbo vehicle accident in the U.S. And so, but he's a record holder, the game's record holder here, 20.59. And Miguel Francis is a, sta he was a stadium record here. 20.16. Let's see what these young men will do in this one. Seeing the deep in conversation with field official Adrian. Let's await. We wait. In a bit of anticipation as they there's expectations for the for modification, the lights should be on. But so on paper they are all on the twenty-two. All, all sub twenty-two. Similarly, uh, uh, the times are quite similar, with the exception of Troy Mason, who is twenty-one sixteen. Twenty-one sixteen. It is a substantial difference to the others. So on paper, the race really is right in the middle of track. Again, unsurprisingly, that is uh, lane three, four, and five, with the ex expected result on paper here by time should be Troy Mason from Ace. Let's wait. We wouldn't preempt. They said to do so. Anything less would be uncivilized. Of course, getting into his gesticulation more and excite. You know, just trying to stay focused, I would assume. Each athlete have just have their own way. All right. You know, you, you see the difference in in previous rituals. So at least you, you look at Gay from the U.S., and he's all serious face. You, 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 you then look at Bolst in his glory days, all light, funny faces. But again, we wait. It's the men's 200 meters. Invitational. Again, you wondering, well, what's 
could be holding. But again, it's all happening live inside of the Kiwani James Athletic Stadium. And we are waiting the start of the 200 meters for men, open and international. We have a full suite of a full suite of uh, participants in this one. Lane one to eight. Indeed, the lane assignment. Aidan Peters runs out of one. Darren Morgan for HP from St. Vincent runs out of two. Shaven Charles runs out of three. Troy Mason is in four. McCallman is in five. Slater is in six. Charles runs out of lane seven. And Vernon Eiffel runs out of lane number eight for extreme velocity out of Barbados. We still await. See two of the athletes requesting change of blocks. You know, for, for some for some athletes, this sort of delay it can throw throw them off their rhythm. You know. Riley just waiting. That's the man expected to make light work of this, of this cast, out of lane four. Troy Mason comes in now, but now with a time of twenty one point six six. Twenty one point one six. From one six, expecting if ever to offer some resistance to him on his outside is Charles. Twenty one point four seven. And there is McCalman, 21.28. Yes. Uh, so we, we expect some, some good competition right in the middle there. It's between three and five with the expected win to Mason. But it's sprinting. Anything can happen. Well, we look at the trees and the background. Almost motionless. And this is good for, for sprinting. Excellent for sprinting as they go, as they cradle into the blocks for the start of the men's 200 meters inside of the Kiwani James Athletic Stadium, Whitson Tide Sunday. And they are off. Clean, even start for each, for all the athletes. There is Mason in the middle. Charles always is there. Mac Kalman is also there. As they head for home, Mason, it is. Look at him out in the middle of the pack. Who is it going to be? There he is. It is Mason still trying. He's been pushed out of lane number five. We did say, we did in fact say that it would take something exceptional from one of the other athletes to upset the mix, uh, which in fact looks as though it was out of lane number five. Is it McCallman? Let's keep our eyes So as they come, and Shavin Charles uh, pulled up midway with some form of injury. We're right about now. There's no, there's no. You can't tell exactly who is who is who is who right now, though. We'll wait for the official results. We we'll wait for the official times from this one. But you know, when it comes to all sporting events, uh, whether it's athletics or, or otherwise. We look at it, and it is, in fact, McCallman. And we did, in fact, say it would have to take something special from one of the others. Um, for Troy Mason, it wasn't the, one of his fastest of races, actually. He came in here with a time of 21.16. Um, McCallman came in um, with a time of 21.28. But, as I say, it is what it is. Congratulations to Raheem McCallman of Stallion. Um, winning that event in the time of 21.38. Troy Mason from Ace, 21.46. Um, McKean Slater taking in the third position. The next event on track will be 200 meters girls. So we are going back to the 200 meters for girls on the 20. Yes, in fact, of you, you can see that 
with the poise there. Running of lane number five from Phoenix Track Club in Antigua. Dowden. We do the full lane assignment. Event number 55. The girls 200 minutes dash under 20. It's a full flight. Running of lane number one. There's Kayla Flavini for VTC in one. Niobe Holder from Extreme Velocity from Barbados runs out of two. Kamisha Dominic for Track Blazers in four. Lybird from the British Virgin. She is, of course, one to compete. She is a terror on the track. We're looking forward to see the showdown between Lybird in four from the British Virgin Islands. There's Dowdy from Phoenix Track Club. Shanti Augustine in six for MVP. Tawana McLean from Performer from Barbados. And Rayhan Price from Extreme Velocity out of Barbados. I'm telling you, this one promises to be an excellent, excellent, excellent race. We've seen them through over the last two days, um, Bernard. And, you know, many, they said if you're Grenadian, you probably would naturally gravitate to Shante. But I'm telling you, my eyes is peeled on lane four and lane five. Four. Yeah, I would think. Lane four. I yeah. mean, I've, we've, we've, we've seen Lybird. She, she flies over the, the track. She moves as though she's gliding on water. So too, out of Phoenix Track Club, is Dalton out of Antigua. And I would not discount lane three, actually. So uh, the running to me would be lane three, four, five, and six. And six. The dark, the dark horse in this race is lanes three and lane, f and lane four. Let's see. Lane we'll three wait. and lane four for me. I'm a little different to draw here, but let's see lane three and lane four. Let's see how this one plans out. Flavini, Holder, Dominic, Lyburn, Dowden, Augustine, McLean, Price. It's the girls under 20, 200 meters. As they cradle into the blocks and await the status instructions. If you look hush as it transcends. And they are officially off. Lybird in four. Dowden in, in five. Shanti Augustine running out of six. McLean running out of seven. Well, it, are we here coming off the turn? It is, in fact, from the Phoenix Track Club. It is Dowden that is really flying, but she's in push from Lybird from the British Virgin Islands on the outside from Track Blazers. Eh, is, well, Track Blazers came in on the outside, and so too was Shanti Augustine from MVP on the inside. But it was an easy, easy, easy run there for um, the young under-20 star out of Phoenix Track Club in Antigua. We look at the replay, and she's steady. You look, you're, you're looking at um, Lybird, and she seemed a little bit more labored in her run. And But congratulations to... Young Dowden out of Antigua that, and the Phoenix Track Club. That was a tremendous run from Dowden there. And she has been solid, in fact. She has, in fact, been quite solid uh, throughout the meet. Excellent, excellent race there for her. We're going to get the official time. And, and she, she stopped the clock in a time of 24.17 seconds. Um, so it's PTC out of Antigua. There we have Lyburn from the British Virgin Islands and that would bring up the the rest of the pack another really 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 great really great great event so, so, so that was the end of event number 55 so Dowden Lybert and uh, Dominique that's that's the order gold and silver and bronze, and bronze. We move into event number 56. Under 20 under, boys. Under 20 boys. Let's look at the full lineup. This one promises to be quite an exciting one. Um, Keo Davis from Idat. This has been quite impressive. So too has been Jaden Phillip. Davis comes in here with a time of 21.53. Philip, 21.49. There is Kyle Lyle from chat 
This is going out to be of St. Vincent, 21.59. This is going to be very competitive. Elisha Williams, track blazers, 21.64. Tegan Peterkin out in, in lane one, 21.91. And completing the cast of the fusion, Samuel Green. And this is going to be very, very competitive. So it's Green, uh, Telemac, Beckles. <laughs> Davis, Philip, Lawrence, Williams, Peterkin. Uh, this is a stacked field of young men, but as we are noticing now, two lanes are empty, Telemac and Green. Yeah, I'm, looking and I'm, I'm looking and I'm saying there's no, there no presence of Telemac on field. No Green. Neither is the Green. So, the cast actually is from running from lane one, Peterkin in one, Elijah Williams in two, Lawrence three philip out of four davis out of five and the man himself ran out of lane six that has been exceptional they all have been is a man a manny mascal beckles for extreme velocity so, so there should be some the competition really should be three four five and six but indeed it ain't over till the fat lady sings and she has anything to say about that elijah would be con will be counting on himself. And to so probably, is Peter King. So is Peter King. So too is, Ka is Jaden Phillip. We know he has, he has some depth. Davis for Idat, 21.53. Mascal, Beckles, Otto Barbados. He has been quite steady yeah. in his performance over the last two days. Coming into these finals, Phillip looked remarkably good. So, so he really has a target on his back in this one. But he's surrounded by a really talented field. So let's see what happens here. Peterkin, Williams, Lawrence, Philip, Davis, Maskell, Beckles. The lane assignment for event number 56, the boys 200 meters. And they are officially off. It's the boys 200 meters. Who is it going to be? Taken in one. Williams, Elisha is in two. They make the bend. Looking in, in the middle of the pack. Kyle is there. Philip is also there. Who is it going to be? Philip has been, Kyle is, he's been, he's been pushed on the outside by the man. That's Davis. But it's going to be Philip that's going to dig deep. A victory there for Philip. That's we look uh, for the official time. He was literally pushed by Davis out there. All this outer side from it that. Um, so you have to be with Davis on one end, cut Lawrence on, on, the, on the other end. But the race, by the time they got to 60, 60 meters, it was all Philip digging deep in lane four. This is good running. This is good running. But Philip came into these finals well prepared. He, he was looking the better of the, of the athletes right through to these finals, and he delivered. 21.12. 21.12. Well, and if we are in fact, it is going to be, gonna be a, a new games a record. A new games record. Oh, unfortunately, the win is 2.2. So, <laughs> the win so, is 2.2, just slightly above. Slightly above. So, but the finishing time, Jaden Phillip from MVP, 21.12. Kyle Lawrence from chat, 21.30. Chat, a club out of St. Vincent. And Keo Davis out of Idad from St. Vincent, 21.50. And we have a man he must call Beckles. Of course, he is short. He's really been exceptional. Throughout. They all have been, have been in fact, 21.61. Uh, next on the track would be the 200 meters. Well, we, we need to get an, 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 an updated sheet, no doubt. But we see it that running out of lane number eight. MVP is in seven. MVP. HP is in five. Track Blazer. Track Blazer. So th this looked like um, the event that should have taken place earlier and didn't. So this really is a girls 200 
under 15. Girls under 15, 200. Girls under 15, 200. That's event number four. That's event number what? 53? Event number 53. So event number 53. And we are operating from, from lane 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And lane 1 is empty. Your lane assignments. 4. Event number 53. Nesbitt for Exceed runs Bascom for Track Blazer runs out of 2. R K Kenesha Richards for HP is in 3. Christopher Dixon. Atian Skerritt from Iddat. The order as they await and they are officially off. It is Iddat running over eight. Atian, Patterson, Dixon, Richards as they head home, heading towards the 100 meter mark. Running in the middle of the pack, right up for track blazer. And that is Kyle, Kylie Christopher. It is, but she's been pushed by two at least of HP on either side of her. Digging deep, uh, running out of lane four. And she's going to make it seem easy as it came almost to the end. Full track blaze of victory for Kayla Christopher. For Kayla Christopher. Uh, and that completes the order. And she was, in fact, pushed by Richards and Patterson and Dixon from HP. But she holds, she held. She, she, she came into these finals with the leading time. Came with the leading time. And she delivered. And she delivered victory there for Kayla Christopher from Track Blazers. She came in here at a time of 29.59. We'll see. 25.59. And in fact, um, she's not the, 26. The two HP, the two HP runners that straddled her, uh, they were the second and third best time. So this went through the form. It went through, 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 through the form. She now winning this one. That's Kayla Christopher from Track Blazers. 26 point. One six. Let's see. So this should be event number fifty four now. Uh, the boys. I see the likes of Kelis. Christoph Kelis is in there. Kamal. The under Omar. fifteen boys, two hundred. So it's the under fifteen boys. Running under the lights at the Kiwani James Athletic Stadium. The lane assignment. Rishon Daniel. Rishon Daniel runs out of lane one for club MVP. Ethan O'Geese, finish line, out of lane number two. Brewster for extreme velocity in Barbados, runs out of three. Christoph Kalis, Sass, is in four. Joseph for South City Rising Star, is in five. Omarion Richardson, six for Westerhall Secondary. Delron John, Sass, runs out of lane number seven. And Nathaniel Douglas for Fusion, runs out of lane number eight. Your lane assignment for the next event on the track is the boys' 200 meters dash in the under 15 category. Let's look for Kalist in lane four from Sass. Uh, South City Rising stars in, in Joseph in lane five and Brewster in lane three from extreme velocity. So it's three, four, and five, uh, uh, but don't count out lane seven either. Three, four, and five, but Delroy John, he is there, so you cannot count that Delroy John at any time in, in, in any of the sprint races. Well, you know, he, if he has anything to say about it, he is going to respond as well, because he is in the mix. So three, four, five, and seven. Uh, the the betting person would probably look at Delo and Drone to take this one, if not Kellyst. But the two SAS men, they are the leading lights in this one. It's the boys. 200 meters under 15. Daniel, Ogis, Brewster, Kellyst, Joseph, Richardson. Andre, you know, this. Douglas. This. this crop of young sprinters across the Caribbean. It's seen a lot for it speaks volume for, for what we can expect in the next few years. For athletics across the region. Yes. And it's not just nestled in one region like Jamaica as is the 
and Bahamas as a tradition. This is a, this is across the across the OECS and 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 Barbados and Trinidad. This is the breakout era, as you call it. So, John, and the off even start from all athletes even break. Who is it going to be? John is Delron. John is already starting making more waves on the outside in lane at number seven. So to his Kelly's out of Sass on the inside finish line on the outside. Um, extreme Velocity is also there. We'll be looking at Kelis in the middle. John on the outside. Sass 1, Sass 2. It is, in fact, Kelis on the inside. Kelis. And Delaron on the outside for Sass. Um, it's a 1-2 for Sass for them. They probably wouldn't matter how it, how it actually, the story, the, the, the story is actually written. Um, once it's written with Sass all over it, they are quite fine. And it is Kelis on the inside, Sass, um, lane seven. I think it's the first time I've ever seen, because running out of lane, lane seven, uh, the first time I've seen him that labored in his motions. Um, that's Delron. But and, and the win is back to the legal limits now. I, I tell you something, though. I hope the young man gets a lesson here. In the heats, he literally toyed with the field. And so he did not run to get... A, a different lane and he seems unaccustomed to running in a lane seven because he as you said he was fighting with himself he was quite labored and, not, and, and this was different from what we have seen for the past for the season actually for the season he was actually fighting himself but this is this was a this was a remarkable run from young Calista. He, he he just did what he had to do and in the end pulled off the victory so the man um, Adams is going to make way, make his way back, as we say. Uh, Bernard takes his leave as we continue. We just saw the completion there of the event number 54. Um, the boys, 200 meters dash in the under 15 category. In the under 15 category. So we have a few other races to, that we need to claw in. Um, there is, in fact, expected to be a medal presentation ceremony somewhere in the making. We just did a completion of the boys' 200 meters dash in the under 15. Um, so it means Adams, I'm just welcome back to Mr. Adams. There is the girls 4x1, boys 4x1, the men's 5,000, women's 4x4, and the men's 4x4, four four. Uh, so some five events, including a medal presentation ceremony, and that is on the roll call um, for the evening. Well, this seems as if it's going to be a long evening, um, very long evening for that matter with the 5,000 meters um, interspersed between the other events in addition to the medal ceremony. But, Joseph, I must comment that I did take time out to go up to the stadium um, into the stands and to view some of those races firsthand. And my word, they created a real excitement and buzz in the stands into 100 meter races. Each one in its own way created a tremendous um, air of excitement in the stands because so many um, names were there that people have high hopes for and looking toward to do um, well. And so that augurs well for um, track and field in, in Grenada and across the region. And to see, not just across the region, but to see our Grenadian athletes holding their own and excelling, um, that was really, really, really nice. Um, just going up to the stands and be part of the, the viewing public there. I heard screams. I heard... I didn't realize you were part of the madness that was taking place over there. No, it, I it wondered was to really myself what was good, happening. positive vibe up there, man. The, the folks, every name that were called that they knew, um, and they, some of those names are not household names. So whether you, you say Elisha Williams, or you say Telema, or you say Peterkin, or you say um, um, Shanti Augustine, or whichever of those names called, it rings something with the, um, the patrons, and hence they are able to to um, woo them on and encourage them to run better and faster. So that was really a, 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 an experience up there. I tell you, the last remaining experience that is still etched on my mind, it was doubling in that 200, the, the, the cast doubling 
Yeah, Lyburn, Lyburn, yeah. and Shanti Augustine. Augustine. I certainly, I mean, I wasn't expecting down into it to, to have any, any disappointment, uh, but certainly that's the sort of um, flavor that the games that they, you offer. It's not very often the likes of Shanti Augustine would race against outside of character. Yep. With, is she going to race against athletes that is in a different league? Yep. And yep. I'm not going to say whether better or whatever they are, but it's in a different league. And that's where growth comes in. It allows you to measure yourself against who you are and then juxtaposition that against other athletes. And then you, you decide, you know what? Let me take a, a page from the offering. Uh, but certainly, it's, we're stretching late into the evening. There Very. Is, there's a 5,000 meters straddled uh, between some, 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 some relays. But we are, in fact, getting ready now for what, in fact, seems to be a medal presentation ceremony. I would assume quite reasonably, yes, a medal presentation ceremony um, that we're getting ready for. So we send you down to the team at the bottom on field. Event 74, Men's Triple Jump Open International. Bronze medalist, Kadik Stevens, high performers. 13.26 meters. Silver medalist, Jadeen Ford, extreme velocity. 13.47 meters. And your gold medalist, Verol Sam, Excel, 13.96 meters. Event 73. Men's Javelin Throw Open International. Bronze medalists, Rayvon Telesford, St. David's Track Blazers. Sixty point six six meters. Silver medalists, Cameron Thomas, also representing St. David's Track Blazers. Sixty point eight two meters. And your gold medalist, Albert Reynolds, representing St. Lucia, 72.11 meters. We can back up to event 51, girls 400 meters under 17. Bronze medalist, Maya Noel, Shaper. One minute, 02.34 seconds. Silver medalist, Zakisha Kelly, Mustangs. 59.26 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, your gold medalist, Shafonia Houston. Classic Lighting Caribbean, South City Rising Stars, setting a new record. <laughs> Event 52, boys 400 meters under 17. Presenting your bronze medalists, Damari Roberts, high performers, 53.45 seconds. Silver medalist, Aidan McIntosh, 473 MVP, 51.02 seconds, 51.07 seconds. And your gold medalist, Quanel Pear, representing 473 MVP. A time of 50.54 seconds.
Event 57, Women's 200 Meters, Open International. Bronze medalist, Kiana John Iddat, 27.57 seconds. Silver medalist, Brunel Thomas, Classic Lighting Caribbean, South City Rising Stars, 26.25 seconds. And your gold medalist, Tia Laborde, Mustangs, 26.22 seconds. Event 53, girls 200 meters under 15. Presenting your bronze medalist, Kenesha Richards, high performers, 26.59 seconds. Silver medalist, Shakira Dixon, also representing high performers, 26.56 seconds. And your gold medalist, Kayla Christopher, representing St. David's Track Blazers. 26.16 seconds. Event 55, girls, 200 meters under 20. Bronze medalist. Kenesha Dominic, Kenesha Dominic, St. David's Track Blazers, 24.87 seconds. Silver medalist, Kayla Liburd, British Virgin Islands, 24.51 seconds. And your gold medalist, Giolina Dway. Phoenix, Trinidad, 24.17 seconds. Event 56, boys 200 meters under 20. Bronze medalist, Keo Davis, Idat, 21.50 seconds. Silver medalist, Kyle Lawrence, Chatoya, 21.30 seconds. And your gold medalist, Jaden Phillip, 473 MVP, a time of 21.12 seconds. Event 58, men's 200 meters, open international. Bronze medalists, Akini Slater, high performers, 21.85 seconds. Silver medalist, Troy Mason, ace, 21.46 seconds. And your gold medalists, Raheem McCalman, Stallions, a time of 21.38 seconds. Event 54, boys 200 meters under 15. Bronze medalist, Ethan Ogis, finish line. 23.96 seconds. Silver medalist, Delron John, Sass, 23.75 seconds. And your gold medalist, Christoph Kalis, also representing Sass, 23.67 seconds.
This is the end of this medal presentation. Thank you very much, Mr. Bernard Wilson, President, Grenada Olympic Committee. It's now 7.06 in Grenada and the rest of the Eastern Caribbean. We head back to the track. Let's join my colleague announcers upstairs. Thank you, Kenroy. I uh, appreciate that. We're here in the Zanid just about seven to eight minutes gone past the hour in the evening time as we stretch our way late in the evening on day two. Uh, some four or five events left, um, Adams. But it has been a really, really a day well spent. Um, and certainly, there's, there was no disappointment. I think the only disappointment you can safely say is for anybody who did not have the opportunity to be here at the National Stadium. I, I say my apologies, to, my apologies to them. In terms of performances, um, I wouldn't say we had disappointments. I think we had tremendous competition among the athletes from the various clubs and territories. That was good. If there's any one area I would love to see improve is uh, they need to find somewhere to, end, to have our stadium um, much more populated than it has been over the past two days. And of course, uh, ideas are always out there um, to, because when you, when you consider that you have the, the, the stores, the, the shops, the vendors, and they have to sell, as I would say, um, you've got to do everything you can to allow them to be successful also. And so whether you want to run promotions, drop prices, give discounts, um, all of those can improve the number of people that you can have coming into the stadium. And so the folks who are um, running the shops and have to pay the, the bills and so on, they, has a, they have a better chance of being able to pay the bills. So the authorities have to take a look at that in terms of what do you do to improve the attendance. Um, and we've seen that before, even at Intercol in some days, what could have been done to improve the, the attendance. Um, and this one, another, uh, um, another situation where what can we do to improve the attendance? And you, I don't think you have anything to lose by running discounts, promotions, um, and so on. Well, let's hope that the authorities, the owners of this meet, they would, they would hear and take heed Well, we get them ready for the next event on the track, which is, in fact, um, looks like the 4x1, is it under 20? It is, in fact, a 4x1. We're going we're gonna to get confirmation on it, but we can give you the athletes. Um, there is MVP in there. So to his performance in the finish line is also in there as they pedal the way down the back stretch. We'll make the first hand over, off and running. MVP all on the loans themselves down the, down the back stretch as they get ready for the second hand over. And they're pedaling away. But of course, you have out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. They are not going to let this be an easy one. We see Shante is on the third leg, making the final hand over. It is MVP plus velocity. Who is it going to be? Shante is on the outside. But a speed star from St. Vincent is on the inside. And she's literally motoring and pelting away. Will she catch her? Yes, no, yes, no. They take it to the finish line. This is, of course, one of the four to finishes. And that's the kind of... The, the sort of competition we've long been anticipating performance out of Barbados, MVP out of Grenada. We wait for the final, re the official results. Um, but this one, it lived up to what it, the anticipation was. It was, in fact, a cracker. Yes, it was a brilliant race um, in terms of the end result. They, they worked hard. I think um, um, the team from Grenada um, would want to look at what happened with the, the battle passing between first and second, second and third. And I think that's where they lost the race because they were leading at the first leg by quite a mile and then they had, MVP had a real issue with the handover in the second leg um, from first to second where the, the oncoming runner almost ran past the receiving runner. And that I think is what would have caused the problem because they were leading by quite a, a margin. And so performers won but MVP would have to um, figure out what can they do to get the battle around much more efficiently. Congratulations to performer out of Barbados. They stopped the clock at 48.67. MVP, 48.80. Finish line, 51.05.
and HP out of St. Vincent. In the, they stopped the clock on the time of 51.72. So we move from the 400 and this one I'm assuming has to be well, it should be the under-20 boys, really. Um, uh, well, I thought it was under-20, but I'm looking at them. I'm trying to... Well, it's definitely not... It's, it doesn't look as a 4 by 4 score. We just had a 4 by one mm -hmm. So it and has to be... It doesn't look like the under-20 either. It don't look like... It doesn't look like un under-20s in terms of the builds. So the action continues down here inside of the Kirani James Athletic Stadium as we continue to stretch the, tech, the clock. As the uh, folks see, it has been a rather long day, uh, but certainly it, all good things, all good things, in fact, they come, they come to an end as we look at the field. And certainly, Adams, it has been a really, 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 really great day. Yep. We say thanking the officials for another really great job as we look at the time and where we are. Uh, 15 minutes past the hour. Um, I can see it was supposed to be by, by 8 o'clock at least. Um, I would hope that we'll be here. Hopefully, by 8 o'clock. Um, yesterday, we left just a little bit after 8 o'clock. Quite a bit. Considering that there's maybe the 5,000 in the mix, we'll see, we'll see how that actually... The good part of the 5,000 is that it's a male... And so it probably might finish a little bit quicker. But it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is a five thousand. It's going to be some time still, anyhow. It is a five, a five thousand. Yes, 000, yes, no, no doubt. Um, so we are seeing that this has to be the under twenty, under twenty boys. There's Bolton one, HP in two, South City, Rising Star is in fact three. That's it. Sass is in four, Mustang in five, and they're off and they're running. It's a four by 100 meters um, on the 20 boys. As they go down the back straight, uh, making the first hand over. Who is it going to be? Mustang is in there. Sass is, is in there. Um, South City Rising Star is trying to, trying to catch. She's trying to catch. Extreme Velocity makes the first hand over. Um, that's Extreme Velocity running out of lane seven and still looking good. So too is Mustang out of lane number five. As they make the final handover, Sass is in there as well. But there you are. Extreme is chasing. Literally chasing. Extreme. Number five, number six. Take a look over at him and says, boy, you think you have what it takes. I am much better than you. A win there for Extreme. It, extreme and extreme over it that. Velocity over it that. Well, they've come. And they've conquered. They have shown what is the growth that there is in Caribbean athletics as as antoine says if this is what the junior crop looks like the future certainly looks good for athletics so it's a victory there for extreme velocity out of as you get the final handover extreme velocity running out of out out of to seven and it that it that out of lane number six barbados versus st vincent and i, I just kind of like he looked over um, not to say well Am I looking at you or am I looking at, looking at the finish line? The scoreboard? I don't know. But let's see. So congratulations to, to Extreme Velocity for that. That's Extreme Velocity out of, out of Barbados as there was a completion of the boys' 400 meters. We also had the completion of the girls' 400 meters. Um, so we're looking at the official results. Extreme Velocity, 42.13. Idat from St. Vincent, 42. Point three two, Mustang out of St. Vincent, 43.26, and Sass 
43.54. South City Rising Star, 49.92. HP of St. Vincent, 45.52. And Brendan up the rare, Bolts, 53.04. So the completion there of the boys' 400 meters and getting a, a nice view across section. Four by 100 meters. So, so it has been a really, really long day, for, a long day for many. Some could do with a nice coffee. I, I feel for a nice espresso, cinnamon flavored though. <laughs> Good yeah. cappuccino, hot. Yes, I can, <laughs> I can honestly deal with that right now. Good cappuccino, hot, hot. <laughs> oh, the bubble. I don't know if anybody was listening to us. Are you? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> They probably think we're joking. Eh? <laughs> no, but honestly, I could do it a good couple. Do you know hot? Yeah. They probably think that we are, that if they only know Adams, <laughs> they only know oh, they would goodness. come running to a rescue. Yeah, yes, yes. But I mean, all everything comes to yeah, that yeah. we're getting ready. Um, again, we see the officials. We just want to make them know that the truth of the matter is we 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 felt privileged to be able to bring it to them. Um, it, it really is an honor to be able to bring you the size, the songs, the competition. And so we are not in any way sore about anything at all. Oh, we no. we really, really good here. Um, and so on. So yeah. We really just want nice. to say that for those persons on on the face on the on the Facebook feed that we've exceeded our eight hour limit on the Facebook feed. So which we need to do. If you want the feed and it dropped off, you'll need to rejoin the other feed to ensure the continuity. It's not that we have ended the games or coverage abruptly. That isn't the case. It's just with Facebook. There is a time limit on broadcast, length of broadcast, and we have exceeded that, given that we've been doing this since 11 o'clock. Since this 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock this morning. Indeed, while we're there, there's a few, just a few more events um, to, to go, Adams, and certainly for those that are still on the live with us, I mean, the day has really been great. Um, there is some competitions, there's some names, and even for us locally, the clubs, uh, the Phoenix Track Club out of Antigua. Out of Antigua, Burnley out of Trinidad. Um, performers, Mus performers out of Barbados. Out of, they really have done well. They have been yes. exceptional. Yeah. Mustang, yeah. Um, it Concord, Concord out of Trinidad, out of Trinidad and Tobago. And who They've can well. uh, not remember um, Symphony Patrick from Concord? I mean, she looks beautiful. Um, she runs. She has a beautiful stride, beautiful form, and she's quick. I think if I, if I have to take. Um, athletes, the female athletes that stands out in my, in my head, and I'm going to leave Grenada for last. Uh, but I would probably start with Lybert out of um, and the, the British, British Virgin Islands. British Virgin Islands. Yes, then she looks good. She's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Then there's Dr. The out of PTC in Antigua. Antigua. She is, yes, she looks of well. Of course, too. Uh, Patrick. Symphony out of Trinidad. Symphony out of Trinidad. Really looks really, well. Really, 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 really mm. great. I mean, Shanti Augustine, exceptional. I like what I'm seeing with her. And and I'm like enjoying the fact, though, that you know, while a lot of the, the local fans may not be used to seeing her, not necessarily at the top of the podium, but she came, she competed, and that's what's important. And hopefully, you would want to go back to the join board and analyze. Review. And of course, you can't forget it. Dominic from St. David's Track Blazers, who Dominic represented us at, at Carifta, she was extremely good too as one of our star female athletes. Um, we cannot forget her. Of course, at the under 11, we cannot l forget living athletes at that young age. So, Leah Rose Charles yes. um, of South St. George Government School. Strong, athletic, very quick, um, strong mind. Um, she is, she's been one of the standout athletes also, winning both the 100 and the 200 meters. And there is Jael Peters. Uh, we confirmed the club that she represents. Mm. Uh, but she too has, has been exceptional over the last couple, last couple of days. Um, certainly this what about Jaden? Is it Jaden Phillip? The, he just won the 200. Um, he won the 400 also. I mean, he's, he represented us at Carifta. I think but it shows what me, consistency is about. He, to, to me, he's running even better now than le leading up to Carifa. And he's looking really, really, really good. Confidence um, is Philip there. is really, really confident now. He's not afraid of anybody, whether it's Telemark or Elisha. Um, he's not afraid of anybody. He's going to go out there and do his do. Well, let's see what's happening on the back end of the, of the track. We've seen the lineup for... That probably should be the 5,000 meters um, that we are lining up for. 
We do not necessarily have a starter list in here, but we can tell you SAS is in there. HP out of, out of Barbados. Um, South City Rising Star, finish line is there. Ace is also, also there. Um, just to give you an appreciation as to how they, they line up. So you have HP out of St. Vincent, 302, SAS, 609. And, of course, you do forgive us that we do not have the luxury of a finish list, but and some the of the other athletes would be Ace. Um, the one with the pink top, that should be Ace Track Club or MVP. Right. So finish line is there, and we'll see the 5,000 meters they are getting ready for. And let's hope that they can scotch this one for us. Yep. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, let, just to put it into context for those who are listening, you're not very aware of the 5,000 meters and what it entails, it is 12 and a half laps around the track. And um, it takes quite a lot. So you could say 13 laps. Um, and each lap, I mean, would take about a minute plus. So you're talking about 15, 16, 17 minutes. Um, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> take, um, take your time. So no rush. That's, that, that, that is the context. 12 and a half laps. Um, of a 400 track, 45,000 meters. And what we have seen them is settling into just a nice, nice um, rhythm, um, just getting the fit um, warming up pretty well. And um, that's what we're going to see. Um, usually, um, the strategy that would be employed is somebody going to kick the, the speed out of, 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 out of the other athletes. They decide, I don't want to get into a burner coming to the end. Would I kick it out? Would I take it out from the person who I know is a fast finisher? Um, so it seems as if the athlete from HP might just be trying that strategy, um, going out front and stretching the, 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 the field such that when it comes to the finish, his chance of winning becomes multiplied and better. Well, there are occasions when you try to stretch the field and the field does not respond. We saw that in Kenisha yesterday <laughs> where she decided she went for a charge and obviously from the first round, they could not keep up. We'll see how this one, how this one translates, translates itself as the, as, the, as the race unfolds. As I said, it's quite early in it. And we see HP out of St. Vincent is there. South City Rising Star, also there. SAS. You see East in the middle of the pack. Finish line is also there. So there is HP out front by his lonesome self. And the rest of the pack trotting along quite gingerly. Um, would wanted to make sure that they stay within sight of him. Because it means the further he progresses psychologically it may just take the wind out, out of you one of, the, one of the teams we have to pay attention to that, and that has done well joe even as we um comment on the running is that of the finish line team i don't think we have paid enough attention to and that must be a new club that has sprung up but they have some really good athletes and you could see um the brown distance runner um and Alisa brown from boca Secondary is there, and we've seen quite a few athletes from the finish line um, um, club doing well. So whoever is in charge of that um, club, we want to let them know we, we, we've seen it, and we, we're going to call it out as it is that you have been represented very well at this year's um, um, Whitsuntide Games 2023. We have over the last couple of years, and we've, we've continued to make the call at the top of our voices to highlight the fact that the club structure in Grenada, it is working, it has borne fruits, it continues to expand. They've recognized recognition that the program, it is working, and certainly um, kudos to all of the, all of the coaches. As it says, if it's, if it's not broken, don't fix it. The only thing, play, the only way we can go f to from here is to expand, extend the programs to other schools, other clubs, and look for um, expansive growth. And then, of course, we cannot leave out one of the clubs that have been there through thick and thin is Track Club. I mean, they've always been represented. They've been performing well over the years. And this year at um, Whitsuntide Games, 
it's no exception. They have done well, and those in charge of Ace Track Club, we also have to big them up too. And so I think this is a good time to big up those clubs that have been that are being led well and are being taught well, are being coached, and are giving good example as to what a club structure should be in Grenada. So Ace Track Club, big up to you too. Indeed, indeed, indeed. We want to say thanks to all of the officials on the field, those directly on the track, those assisting in, in providing um, some sort of hydration to the athletes as they make the round. We notice, of course, there's the HP athlete, that's HP out of St. Vincent. Um, whether or not he has achieved the, the strategy that was the, the, that was the ploy to try to test their will and commitment, maybe he's, he's noticed that they're not taking the bait. Nobody's going to try to exhaust themselves too early. So it's HP, Ace, SAS, South City Rising Star, as they continue to their journey around the National Stadium, 5,000 meters. There's SAS in there, finish line in there, Ace as well. Who is going to be the one that makes that decisive break? You're probably be thinking it's a bit early. I'm thinking when we get to maybe Adams around 9, 10. Mm, they would, they, the person who is confident will do it before 10. And we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how this one pans out. Who's got the will, the determination, the depth that says, do I hold on, hold to ground, move with a pack, or do I become a lone ranger and move out? There you have it out front. HP out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And the Grenadines. They all neatly bunched there. Sass is in there. South City Rising Star. That's the front end of the pack. And you notice they would, it would continue to, to thin out, huh? It is. Um, the usual um, you, you gonna, is going to thin out over the course of this 12 and a half laps. Um, you'll always have the back markers and you pick them out one by one. And as, as we see in these events, it's, it's a law of the jungle and only the strongest will survive. Only the strongest will survive. HP out of St. Vincent continues to, continues to take the lead. There is Ace isn't there. Sass third. South City Rising Star occupying the fourth position. As they go to make himself another lap, we see young Photo from Photo Media. He's there, um, ensuring he captures the sights, that is. He's only capturing sights. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you, Photo's just cap cap capturing sights of the event as they hear. As they go down the back straight, they continue just to gingerly move, move along. Um, and I think H they recognize that HP is a pretty strong runner. Um, they do not want to go past him. So what they're doing, as we would say, you, you call it drafting. They're drafting as much as possible. In essence, because they're able to draft from him, they're using up less energy because he's taking all of the forces ahead of them. Right. So they're drafting from him. And hopefully over time, um, that will allow them to have um, um, conserved enough more energy and be able to put out in the end. And so that's what they're doing for now. Would they go past him? It's left to be seen. The field continues to stretch. And the front pack, they've interchanged while well, saying interchange. Now you've seen um, Ace makes a move for the front. Sass is in there still, but HP still clinging along. Um, he's probably opting maybe if I allow them to, to take the frontal position for just a bit. But he's probably reconsidered. And maybe in his mind he's thinking, that might be a sign of weakness in me. That they might be thinking, no. And I remember saying earlier when, 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 um, Bron when Bernard was there, that of maintaining your strategy. What is your strategy? And very often, some runners, they're able to maintain it. Yeah. And if we were to, now that we've seen the 5,000 meters, maybe we can do a little bit of history which not too far back because uh, there are those who know before me. Um, we would have had the, in days gone by, the Ballantyne brothers, Paminos and Benedict Ballantyne. We have quite a few of the, those from Guyana who would have come. And you could have seen the progression that they made. Um, Paminos went on to world championships, um, international marathons, and so on and so forth. And I'm hopeful that this would usher in another golden era. 
um, days gone by, you had the Williams brothers um, who were really good distance runners um, in Grenada. Prior to them, you would have had those of Maitland and Pierre who would have been great. Morris Bull Williams, um, Conrad Francis, all of those who would have preceded what we have, what we are looking for is a new crop of distance runners in Grenada that we would have had that would mirror what we had in the past. Indeed, indeed. As we look at the front trio, as we did, we did say to you that the pack, they, they, they would stretch each other thin. So moving out front, they were front, the pack to the front, HP out of St. Vincent, being, of course, shadowed by Sass and Ace. Keeping up within in the shadows with them is the athlete out of South City Rising Star. Yeah, and the reason I call the Ballantine brothers is because HP is from St. Vincent also. So St. Vincent would have had a rich history of distance running through the Ballantine brothers as one that we can call on immediately. Indeed. We continue, they continue the little Sunday evening trek along the national stadium what you're looking this is the middle of the pack in fact that's the middle of the pack and but here we here they come as they make yet another round they've separated themselves they've separated themselves do not be fooled this is not the, the front end we're looking at the three just pass it is ace hp sass we continue to they continue to play the game of tag, cat and mouse, catch me if you can. That slight interchange in where they move. I mean, what has happened thus far? I don't think Sass ever did make the move. What we've seen is the interchange between Ace and HP. Well, Ace has taken the frontal position and he's been trailed by Sass. How does this one un unfold? Early times yet. It's a three five thousand meters inside of the Kirani James. Athletic Stadium. Say Adams, it's the law of the jungle. It, it would be nice to have gotten the names of those athletes. Um, we have the numbers, but we don't have a, a, a list of the names for those folks in the, this distance. It would have been really good because we're seeing the making of a very, very um, competitive um, climax to this event. Um, Ace, SAS, HP, in that order. And, and I don't think anyone has broken the other as yet. HP is in fact out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And you were just not too long ago, you were highlighting the fact of this rich legacy um, that the Vincentians can boast of. But it is East. And then hey, there's another name we should recall, Dog Charles, mm -hmm. out of St. Patrick. Out of St. Brilliant Patrick. distance runner, marathon whether they ma uh, on the track or on the road. Um, again, those are names that, we, that pop to mind of the legacy of road running and track running that we would have had over the years. But Ace seemed to be doing pretty well. He looks comfortable. That's what we can see. The athlete from SAS also looks very comfortable. Um, and <laughs> this is going to be a cracker with a small group of athletes at the front. Well, I'm not sure if it's, this is deliberate, but... HP out of St. Vincent were in the third position. Um, he seemed to be tiring a bit. I, I don't know. Or is They're he slowly grinding him down. Um, they're increasing the pace in that subtle way. And he hasn't found at present that, that strength to respond. Let's hope he has it in him. But they're slowly winding up the, the pace of the running now that we get into the latter stages of, uh, of the, these 10,000 meters, the 5,000 meters. Well, we did say as we move into the, the, the deep, the back end of the race, that you would see who's got the grit, who's got the testicular fortitude, who's got what it takes to dig deep and be able to produce something s spectacular as we go through this 10,000 10, meters. 5,000. 5, Ace is still there. Five, He's, yes, 10. Ace is Ace is still is still there. So too is the athlete from SAS. Five thousand. So too 5, is the athlete from SAS. As they continue to grind away slowly, they look quite settled in their deliberation. 
quite settled in fact you have so if it's you have HP on the inside he's still in third place South City Rising Star is still available and here you have HP still stepping on it a bit deciding and saying to himself I can't allow them to stretch me too far don't want to give me give me too much to do that's the front three that's they going to that's their lap and other the athletes so do not be confused for those of you that's just joining the race and the front three are ace to the front sass to the middle and now you have hp from st vincent that is has assumed the lead and in the distance we see the the teams they're making their way out for the relays as we go deep deep and, and truly into the evening of what has been two really great days of track and field inside the national stadium they continue to play that dogged game of cat and mouse catch me if you can they play tag they interchange and this is about the third change of lead yes and it tells you the intensity that's taking place in here and the mindset that they have um the athlete from hp he is digging deep um he thought he lost it gained it regained it now the head is bobbing so we know that the pressure the is pressure now is beginning to tell on him would he be able to see through to the end Let's see what is going to happen with that, those two athletes from um, Ace and Sass. They are really, really They're smooth. running smoothly and, 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 and um, showing that they are up to the challenge. So let's see what's going to happen. Um, once again, the athlete from HP, every time he gets to this straight, he seems to be putting on, um, increasing his, his speed. And this time he did not pass them. But I think this is the final lap. So let's see what he has in him. Well, the, the fact that he stayed with them when we thought he was, he was worn out thin. And there he goes. As they go down the back straight, he goes, he makes his way past them. Ace is still there. Sans is still there. The question is, who has the final kick? Are they going to conserve? HP is trying to, is trying to make a move. He's trying to set the tempo as he goes past. But here comes Sans. Sans is still in there. HP, Sans is there. And he's making a kick for it. So to his ace. Just gone past the athlete there from HP of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It is Sass being chased down by Ace. Sass chased by Ace. Who, who has what it takes? He's digging deep. You can see the grimace on the face. Ace is stretched. He's, those long legs, they are trying to cover as much ground as they're possible. But it is Ace, Sass in fact, Sass in fact, that is going to pull this one away comfortable really 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 accelerated run um strategy race complete strategy ex brilliant. executed brilliant it brilliant comes run. in second and third place should be hp an exhilarated run no doubt and um, indeed it was always a question of who has what it takes i mean what you, i think may have happened here adams for for H for the HP athlete, he may have over expend, expended himself a little bit too early in the early runs where he tried to stretch them thin, but they did not take the bait. No, they so he did was not. Forced to reel it back in. They 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 wounded him back in, and they showed that they their pace is they're gonna stick to pace. He could not keep up. He had to keep increasing decelerating, increasing, and he was doing himself more harm than good. So he did not have a final kick with the last um, 500 meters to go. And the athlete from SAS, who in the meantime was drafting of them all the time, and that's the, the, the one I was telling you about, mm -hmm. that concept of drafting. He drafted, he drafted, he did not have the confidence to go out front, but he was able to save those energies and kick through to the end. An excellent race, no, no doubt, as we look at the final athletes as they make their way over the finish line and certainly congratulations again it only shows and again adams he goes back to the point that you're making about the excitement of these uh middle these distance races and certainly because it shows there is the flip the back the turn yep. there are different sides of it what you see at the front at the beginning what you see in the middle 
and what eventually makes its way to the end may not always be the same. Correct. May not so be much the same. different emotions that you can experience in a 5,000 or 10,000 meters. And you don't have to look far. You, you look um, at, at those athletes from Kenya and Ethiopia and you see the, the strategy in the running and the emotions that take place because at some point you're trying to figure out well, whose strategy is going to win out? Well, but there goes another yes athlete, no, and we are happy to line. see him finish. And line. he's just coming in with full spirit, indeed. And that's, you want, that's what you want to see. I'm looking at um, the athletes from HP still on the ground, but he's atten being attended to now by the medical team. And that is quite, that is quite good because you hardly ever, you would ever would want to wish that anything onto what's happened to an athlete. Especially and at, 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 at any point. So, Miguel Cape. So the official, official results for you. Miguel Cape out of SAS in a time of 17 minutes, 04.95. Leveron Thorne from Ace, 17 minutes, 09.89. And you could Zachary, Zachary Hepburn from HP out of St. Vincent in third place in a time of 17 minutes, 16.18. Shaquem Williams, Sub City Rising Star, 17 minutes, 38.91. And to cover the top four, we did say to you, don't move a muscle. You probably thought it was enough, I don't know, to get some, maybe some chicken in the, <laughs> in the air fryer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you would have missed a tremendous. Um, if we are to give uh, 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 the most courageous run of the day, Zitri Hepburn from HP of St. Vincent. He would be at the most courageous run um, for the day. He did everything that he could have done um, to get a result. Um, it did not work out, but you cannot fault him for the courage. Um, so if you are called the most courageous runner of the day, it would be Zitri Hepburn of, um, of, of HP from St. Vincent. Medal presentation ceremony on its way. And your gold medalist, Performers Track Club. A time of 48.67 seconds. We can go now to event 66, boys four by 100 meter relay, under 20. Bronze medalist, Mustangs, 43.26 seconds. Silver medalist, Idat Academy, 42.32 seconds. And your gold medalist, Extreme Velocity. A time of 42.13 seconds.
This is the end of this medal presentation. Thank you very much, Ms. Nzinga Mawuto, Chair of the Liaison Committee, Whitsuntide Games. This is the second and final day of the Whitsuntide Games, right here at the Karani James Athletic Stadium in St. George, Grenada. Thank you so much for being part of the experience, for supporting excellence on uh, the track and field. What a day it's been. What a day. Indeed, Kenway, what a day, what a day. We can sing a number of songs. One that comes to mind, actually, is from, what's her name? Eri Erica Tabu. Erica... I get her name. What a day, what a day, oh what a day. I'm trying to she came out in the early in the early That's 90s. days gone by, isn't it? Okay. Good oh, days gone by. Okay, Adam. So okay. You just know you just know how no to problem. you just know the spoil But further. it was I agree, you know, it's <laughs> what a day. It's been a it's been a beautiful day. It's been a competitive day. Oh, it's it's actually been an Erica, exciting day. Erica Badu. I thought my memory was leaving me. Erica Badu. <laughs> What a day, what, yeah, what a, a day. <laughs> um, it's been a wonderful day, to be honest. Um, I think everybody can live here with their heads held high. Of course, there are always issues to be taken care of that we may not see. Um, there are always those areas that can be improved upon. But um, nonetheless, this leaves um, room for improvement. It, it shows what is possible um, if we can get it right and get it together. And um, Whitsuntide 2023 has indeed um, been a tremendous success in terms of the quality of competition that we have seen. Well, if the quality of the field is a reflection, a consideration of that which is to come, then we can safely say that Whitsuntide Games is in good hands, is well positioned. Athletics in the Caribbean is well positioned. We've seen that no longer there's, it's track and field just about Jamaica, the Cayman, the Bahamas. You've seen that the field has been stretched across the Caribbean and there is a new plethora of athletes, emerging athletes, that's ready to go forth and, and embrace their new frontier. But we're getting ready for what should be the penultimate event of the day, the, the penultimate event of the day, the women's 4x4, four four, and then we'll wrap with the men's 4x4. Four four. Um, we certainly, again, as we, we wait for it, and this is one of the races that can, it has a, its own way of unfolding itself. Um, but certainly, as we look over the last two days, Adams, um, there's so many that we can, we, can, we can talk about. Let's probably focus first, while we wait on it, the management of the meat. How has that been? Um, I, I would say that, the one, the organizers did a tremendous job. The day management, the day-to-day -day management um, has been, for all intents and purposes, it's been very good. I mean, there's always things that can be improved, Joe, and I don't think we, we attain perfection. We, perfection is a working process. So the officials, the judges, the starters, the, the, everyone, they can take a bow. They've done a good job. You know, overall, all things being equal, all things being considered, and they will get a really good passing grade. Grenada, I think, is well poised to host international events because we have, at, and we have judges and officials who are well learned, well versed, and they are showing it out here today. I normally try not to, refer, to even think about perfection, attempting perfection. I more tend to believe that excellence, I prefer to say, is always a work in pro progress. You try perfection, you will never get there. But if you try it at all times, to be excellent, to be exceptional, to be great at what you do, then it always, you will always find the room, uh, that ability to dig deep and deliver when, when the time comes. By now, on field, we're getting ready for the penultimate event of the day. It's the women's 4x4. Four four, and we're going to find... Um, where is men's 4 um, if I can call it up while you... Yes, uh, go ahead. It's MVP, finish line, HP, 
South City Rising Stars, Mustangs. We have one, two, three, four, four um, teams in this event. One, two, three, four, five teams. Um, Mustangs, South City Rising Stars, High Performance, Finish Line, and 473 MVP. That's what we have here. Five teams. Question as to what's on the field. Um, receive velocity isn't there. Um, maximum velocity. velocity. They're there. So maximum is, isn't there. We see, I see HP at the Barbados is there. Front, um, South City Rising Star is there. I see HP. I see Trick track blazers and there's mustangs mustangs Let's not see. track blazers isn't there but we have mustangs south city rising stars high performance out of st vincent finish line and mvp out of grenada they're off and they are officially off as we get down to the tail end of what has been an excellent two days of track and field it's the four by four and it's the penultimate event of the day certainly let's see how they manage this one Let's see how we manage this, this particular race. Very often these races, um, the question is where the, your better athletes are positioned. You've seen quite a strong leg out there. On, we, this athlete's running a very, very strong leg. That's Mustangs That's out Mustangs, front. That's Mustangs. But as we get to home, we see Frontline is making a push. So too is HP. MVP on the inside in lane number two. South City Rising Stars. But it is Frontline. Frontline that is going to take the button, button home first. She's been followed, hunted, literally been hunted by um, South City Rising Star. Frontline, South City Rising Star. For South City Rising Star, it is Shanti Augustine. How can she deliver another exceptional, exceptional performance? She's had mixed results, quite had some mixed results um, during, the, during, during the meet, but she's motoring her way down the back stretch. MVP, the person of Shanti Augustine. MVP is there, front line. Here comes HP in third, in fact, in third, in third position. Um, so fourth finish line. Fourth finish line. Uh, but we look at Shanti Augustine, a really exceptional run by her. But here comes front line. Here comes HP. Shanti Augustine keep holding form and steady as she makes the second hand over for MVP. As I said, and this is a really great run and showcases the, the, the quality of the athlete that she is. So, front line. HP makes a hand over. HP makes a hand over. Making another hand over is South City Rising Stars. As they go, friends, it is MVP and quite a decent, a really, really, really great lead there. Thanks to that exceptional run on the second leg by Shanti Augustine. I mean, she understood what's needed, but look at what's happening on the back stretch. MV MVP in cruise control, but on the back stretch is HP. That's going past front line. But it is MVP heading home to make the next hand over. The penultimate event of the day. The girls 4 by 400 meters inside of the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. She just pulls up right about now as she gets ready to make the next hand over. Let's see. These have been some exceptional running so far. Finish line is making their hand over hp is in the hunt to do, we're getting ready to do that but i can see it is finish line that has determined she is going to hunt down mvp we'll see how it pans out well look who is on the, the who is there for south city rising stars but it is mvp way out front mustangs just making their change over looking at the order mvp Large and in charge, in full control, being stretched there by front line. But who is it going to be in full control as she heads down the 100 meters, heads down the stretch, in full control, large and in control. Excellent run. MVP continues to be in, in the hunt. MVP continues in the hunt. But 
it is all over and done complete and excellent race there orchestrated by club mvp finish line is going to take second place and we're taking in the third place well it is south city rising star excellent run i am particularly impressed adams with the second leg by Shanti Augustin. Phenomenal run. Overall, um, MVP had a much deeper team, a, a stronger team. They had very few weak legs um, in their team, and that is why they were able to stretch, uh, with Shanti, of course, being the standout of the quartet. Um, so it shows with depth in numbers, and that's what brought them across the line. But you ask a thought for Shephonia Houston. Of South City Rising Stars taking the battle uh, in fourth position and, yes. and bringing it in, you know, really, uh, I mean, and the distance behind that she was, um, it really was a, uh, um, in fourth, yes, yeah, she took it in fourth or, or, or in fifth, fourth, I think Mustang was in fifth. And, um, but Shefonia just she did went an and exceptional she job. just did an exceptional job and came in brilliantly. But of course, the team, it's a team at the end of the day. MVP, the stronger team. That's for sure. And you spare a thought for South City Rising Stars not having the depth in numbers. Well, we get it ready for the final event of the day. We do this one, and it is curtain calls on the 2023 edition of the Whitson Tide Games inside of the National Stadium, Adams. Yeah. Um, um, we're going to see fireworks in this one because we have a couple of teams here, it's open, so we have a couple of teams. I see Grenada has its team, um, that specific team, and I'm wondering if they have two teams there. But you have HP, you have South City Rising Stars, um, they are there also. Um, so this is going to be a, an interesting, um, really, um, with some of the stronger athletes making up the Grenada team. You have HP, out of St. Vincent, have they done, they've done well, they really represented the clubs and the country, South City Rising Stars. I mean, you, you have to be really, really amazed at how they have come in leaps and bounds over the couple of years since they've been formed. Um, so that's another club that we need to hail out and let them know that we see them. We, we, we see the results of their work and we want to encourage them to continue working with our young people. South City Rising Stars. Um, really, really doing well. Shefonia Houston being a part of that team. Um, she, I think, would be one of the standout athletes and they have something that they can boast about, an athlete they can boast about. Indeed, indeed. We're getting ready for the final event on the day. The final event of Whitson Tides 2023. The final event of day two inside of the National Stadium. And certainly... We can only well imagine that it lives up to form. I can't ever imagine of any 4x4, maybe in other parts of the world, but certainly in the, here at the National Stadium, all 4x4s, whether it's at the na it's National Champs, whether it's an intercall, and we here at Whitson Tide Games, we, it promises and always provides a little extra spark. Correct. That is true. Um, we really, I mean... <laughs> I think the schools are developing a culture of competi competitiveness between them. We, we, we co collaborate when we have to. But when it comes to the track, it's all the friendship is gone because each of us want the best for ourselves. There's no, there's no friendship on the track. No, we, we, are, we are friends once you understand your own position is not to beat me. <laughs> so we can be friends, you know. Once you clearly understand that when we go out to compete, believe me, don't think, don't ever assume for a split second that I am going to allow you the luxury of performing or getting the better of me. At the end of the day, I want bragging rights just as much just as, as you. Just as much as yeah. you. And that's, and that's the good thing with those relationships. When you appreciate that, and there's no love lost in first and second, you win, I win, we've both excelled and we've done well. It, it, Leslie, if Leslie was here, he would say, he, during his time at school, there's nothing called being, he said, SAS didn't want to see a GBS. They were not friends. Do you want to? Uh, sweet <laughs> Lord. They were not friends. Why you want to introduce SAS and GBS into this? I mean, Leslie and I are not actually friends, you know. We're, we're, we're just colleagues. <laughs> they just were not friends. No. They didn't want to see a PBC at They just didn't want to see any. But they, it, it has changed over time where 
they move around so much. They interact so often the club that structure. the relationship has changed. The club structure yeah, has caused it to change. So they're friends in, in MVP, but they represent a different school at mm -hmm. Intercol. And so they, they, there is a certain amount of um, camaraderie between them, but that camaraderie is a still strong when it comes to rivalry. Yes? And so things have changed just that little bit um, um, in terms of how you deal with your friend um, who is representing, and they're off. Well, let us use quality to see. Yes, there's two Grenada teams. There are South City Rising Stars, and then there is HP in this one. So it's a Grenada team, um, South, um, High Performance out of St. Vincent, South City Rising Stars, and the other athlete, I want to believe this is what club is he representing, Joe. So it is Grenada, whether it's A or B. It is... High performance out of St. Vincent. It is South City Rising Stars. First leg of the 4x4 really for males. It's going to be a very tough one. The first leg, they're giving it everything that they got. Um, this has to be Troy Mason. He's stepping it up. His legs are really pumping high. Knees are high. Arms are really going. And he's handing over now. Let's see what this one does. But it, it seemed to be a tussle between... The Grenada team um, versus the high performance of St. Vincent. But South City Rising Stars, they're not giving an inch. They are in this race also. So it's the Grenada team. It is the high performance out of St. Vincent. This is a beautiful stride going down the back straight. Really wonderful. Taking the bend now at this time, the back bend. It is a beautiful stride. This, Kirani should be looking at this. And he might be saying, wow, why not in my time? Those guys are not looking too bad at all. So it is a Grenada team, followed by High Performance, who is increasing his speed and he thinks that he has some opportunity to catch him, but I don't think he will. The form will carry him through. So it is a Grenada team. It's now on the third leg. So it's High Performance, a, a baton kind of issue here. But let's see what would happen. High Performance out of St. Vincent is really doing well. <laughs> but there goes the Grenada athlete. Um, down the back straight, arms moving, legs are pumping, he's looking brilliant, and the locks are flowing in the wind, not too long, of course, <laughs> not much of it, but wow, there he goes around the back bend, um, he's looking brilliant here, he's not giving inch, no quarter, he's deciding, this is it, I'm going to give it all I got, that's just one lap, lap that I have, and he's looking absolutely fantastic, this is a good run, Joe, really, really good run phenomenal run and I think that I will give the cushion to the Grenada team to be able to stride through to the finish but let's see what this one is going to do again he wants to do a good time South City Rising Stars have picked the battle third let's see could they catch high performance out of St. Vincent so it is the Grenada team it is high performance out of St. Vincent South City Rising Stars arm is the final leg down the back straight He's looking good. Those arms are moving well. His legs are moving. The knees are nice and high as he makes the back bend. Wonderful looking run. He, he's emulating what was done in the previous um, lap. Man, he's going for time. He's not giving an inch, no quarter. This is a brilliant run. The day is ending on a high, Joe. It, it, really it ending, ending on a high. On a high. Um, I think we all privileged to be here to see... Um, with Suntide 2023, wonderful run by the Grenada 4x4 athlete. And there goes South City Rising Stars. They may just come in second. Brilliant run by South City Rising Stars, followed by high performance of St. Vincent. Um, we have ended the day on a high, Joe. Wonderful run, wonderful entertainment, good execution. And we could not have asked for better. Well, you could ask for it if you want. It may just be that you've just been gullible. After such a performance, literally, I think that was the punctuating mark on the event. Yesterday, we were, uh, we were talking about icing on the cake. Well, this is not even icing on the cake. This is a trip to Disneyland that is deserving from this sort of performance. A sort of performance that sort of encapsulates um, the experience over the last two days, that of um, Whitsuntide Games. The sort of performance that literally stamps and really punctuates and stands out as to what we've seen over the, over the last two days, really, 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 and truly. It brings the curtains down, and just about the time when that allows us, you see, you see, you see the smiles, the camaraderie, um, literally. Uh, folks are starting to move in, in the stand. But just looking at them, um, it's a wonderful bunch that has spent the last two days 
And what they've recognized now, that this final race literally is what they say goodbye to each other. They may exchange numbers, WhatsApp, but certainly you know that the friendships, are going, the friendships will continue. Man, this is absolutely beautiful to see the camaraderie among all of the athletes from the various islands. Um, Spare of Thought, South City Rising Stars, they rose to the challenge. I am I'm impressed with what they've done. They did not give up. You thought they could have given up after the second leg and third leg, but they did not. And they really pounded the, the track and, and able to come in at, at in second position. This is a phenomenal job by South City Rising Stars. Spare a thought for high performance. They really gave it all that they got out of St. Vincent. I think they will go home with a head. Heads held high. I think not just, uh, not just in the 4x4, four four, but I think all of the athletes, the 900 of them, uh, that's well, 900 that, partici plus, that participated in Whitsuntide Games 2023 inside of the National Stadium. The 45 plus clubs, that 40 plus clubs that has been here. The organizers, the Grenada Athletics Association, they have done an, ex an exceptional job, fantastic job. Of course, they are powered by Puma, the fans, all of the athletes. I mean, we'll take the next few minutes, Adams, and we just sort of straddle, play with some of the athletes. I mean, that has really stood out over the last couple of days. You get, you have the first go. Well, I mean, I might sound like a broken record because I start with the females. Um, and we cannot forget um, Concord Athletic and that exceptional talent they brought out of Trinidad with them. Symphony Patrick, she looks good. She looks strong. She looks a, a, a real specimen of an athlete. I think she can go very, very far. We cannot forget Shefonia Houston. We cannot forget um, Leah Rose Charles. We cannot forget the younger ones um, who have come and have participated. So from the female end, we've had some tremendous. There is Dowdy or Dowich out of Antigua. She looks a brilliant athlete. And there's a, another athlete out of the BVI. Uh, Liburd. Liburd. She looks absolutely a, a, a talent for the future. So those are some of the female athletes that, I, that I can come to mind almost immediately. And as we scroll through the paper, I know we'll be able to find more. But out of the male section, who would you think of? But even before that, I certainly would want to add at the junior end of it, together with Leah Rose Charles, you would want to add um, Jael Peters out of, out, out of Burnley. You've, you've seen some talents and you see them and you know with the right coaching, they are going to excel. You look in the male, in the male, in the male division, and certainly there has been some really, really, really great, great, great performances. Um, Ethan Sam, the Ogies, a lot of the athletes that they've come and they've literally set themselves, set themselves apart. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get his name, but it was some of the athletes out of a lot, many of the athletes out of St. Vincent. You're looking at the clubs, Mustang out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, they were phenomenal. Out of Trinidad, Burnley, they, they, they come not as strong and contingent as is the squad from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but they came prepared to deliver. They were really, really, you saw performances from Pope and a lot of the, of, of the other athletes. And certainly, if this, in fact, is what athletics in the Caribbean, if this is the representation of what it is, I say it has been well. We look now at the Greenwood Athletics Association. They, the, 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 the idea, the, they wanted to allow the Whitsuntide Games to be a template for which sets the tone for, inter, for character 2023. I think they have done that in all regards. Management of the game um, today, some 45, what is it, 8 o'clock now? Yes, so it's some, just um, 10 past 8. So we're some 45 minutes off the, off the schedule. And, but I think they've done a really an excellent job. The associations, all of the, 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 the other players that's been part of this conversation, they have just been, they have just been phenomenal. Yep, we cannot forget the, I mean, sometimes we don't give enough credit to the officials in terms of all that they have to go through, the decisions that they have to make. Um, some of those decisions we will not agree with, we may not agree with, but they have to make the, um, hard, tough decisions. And um, I, I, I don't think we can fault them at all. And I know, um, and I know when you say hard and tough decision, you, <laughs> you that's, that's not a metaphor or some expression. It's I, actually literally. That, this is personal. 
<laughs> literally, it's all right. I must have. Oh my goodness, George. You took it hard. You took it hard. I mean, it is uh, what it is. It Cyril is Cox is. is my friend. Um, I, I love Cyril. He's been doing a phenomenal job with the um, with the uh, the the, the um, cameras to ensure that we get everything right. So we have to heal up Cyril Cox. Um, the, the technical director of the games, I'm not so sure, I think it might be John L. John L. Uh -huh. um, technical director, he's not, I know he's always on cue. He really wants to do well. And I think overall he's achieved his objective. Organizing committee president um, of the um, Grenada Athletic Association, Mr. Conrad Francis, and all of the, the, we have to look at those who sponsored. I think national lottery authorities um, come to mind. Um, we have to big them up and let them know that they, what they're doing is not going on notice and, and we want to be there to encourage them to, to do um, as much as they can to improve our young ones, our young athletes. Uh -huh. Well, Grenada, Carrie Peter Martin, the rest of the Eastern Caribbean, wherever you are, this journey started just around 11 o'clock on Saturday. We went through day one. Here we are at the back end of day two of what was in, it has been, in fact, a really, really phenomenal two days of Whitson Tides inside of the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. Some 900 athletes from some 45 clubs, clubs representing from the BVI. Unfortunately for St. Kitts, they were not able to be here. We say hats off to the fans, the organizers, wherever you are. We say thanks to our production team, cameramen, the entire TNI communication to you, wherever you are, that was part of this broadcast on behalf of the organizers, management of, this, of, of the games and the production teams. We have on behalf of Adams, myself, and not forgetting Antoine. Antoine. We say so long, everybody. It's been great being with you for the next two days. We now shift our focus to Kaifta 2023, 24, and silly, not forgetting now that the dust has settled, the energies and the emotions will continue to be written across the tablets of our hearts for years to come that, in fact, Wet Tide 2023 was an exceptional one, and we were all proud to be part of this event. Until then, so long, everybody. God bless. Mrs. Vida Bruno Victor, Chair of the Local Organizing Committee for the Carifta Games 2024. Event 76, women's 4x400 four meter relay, open international. Bronze medalist, classic lighting Caribbean, South City Rising Stars. Four minutes, 18.91 seconds. Silver medalist, finish line, 4 minutes, 16.08 seconds. And your gold medalist, 473 MVP, 4 minutes, 05.11 seconds.
Event 75, men's 5,000 meter run, Open International. Bronze medalist, Zitri Hepburn, high performers. 17 minutes, 16.18 seconds. Silver medalist, Livron Thorn, ace, 17 minutes, 09.89 seconds. And your gold medalist, Miguel Cape, representing SAS, 17 minutes, 04.95 seconds. Event 77, men's 4x400 four meter relay, Open International. Bronze medalist, high performance. 3 minutes, 22.96 seconds. Silver medalist, Classic Lighting Caribbean, South City Rising Stars. 3 minutes, 21.60 seconds. And your gold medalist, Grenada International. A time of 3 minutes, 13.29 seconds. Thank you very much, Mrs. Vida Bruno Victor, Chair of the Local Organizing Committee for the Carifta Games in 2024. A very important announcement. We're asking for a coach from finish line to report to the medical room on the ground floor. It's important you do so immediately. A coach from the club finish line, please report to the medical room on the ground floor immediately. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second and final day of the Whitsuntide Games 2023. We thank you so very much for being part of this very important occasion, celebrating excellence on the track and field. Thank you so very much to NACAC, of course, the Grenada Athletic Association has collaborated with NACAC in 2023 to stage the NACAC combined events. So thank you so very much. TNR Communications, on behalf of the organizing team, thank you so very much. My colleague announcers, Russell John, Neela Etienne, and Kerry Frank. Thank you, everybody. Get home safely and do join us in 2024. Good night from St. George, Grenada.